Hello and welcome to Gordon School here for the under 18 sevens competition 2024. And uh, we're going to have a cracking afternoon and evening of rugby for you here. Some top quality sevens from some of the best schools from around the country getting involved here. First game is going to be up on to pitch one here. Only the one pitch with the weather. So we have gone down and luckily the artificial pitch here has mean we're able to go ahead despite the torrents of rain we've had today, which has just let up just before we've gone live. First game, Gordons versus Reading Bluecoat. And uh, I'm not alone in the commentary box today. So uh, introduce yourself to everyone at home. Uh, thanks, Tom. Uh, I'm Sam. Nice to meet all of you. Uh, Sam Walkney. Uh, first time in the uh, commentator's booth for uh, Next Gen. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to some of the skill on show today. Can't wait. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be an absolutely brilliant showdown here in some of the top teams. It's uh, a few that have pulled out from the weather and the ones that remain are only the top quality ones that are trying to get that trophy today. So we're really looking forward to some quality rugby here. Already a few teams out on the pitch, you can see, warming themselves up. It's really important. Obviously, this is the school seven season, the seven season normally throughout the summer. But uh, really important that these lads warm themselves up properly, make sure they stay warm throughout the tournament. One of those issues with the sevens tournament is staying warm throughout the day with the gaps in between the games. So as a player yourself, how have you found that in the past? Yeah, I mean, so having recently played at schoolboy level, it's always so important with these long days. You've got to stay warm. You've got to stay ready to go out and give it your all. Um, and just just by chucking on some trackies or just running up and down the side, it's so um, so important to you. Do we understand, Andre? Yeah, it certainly is. It's really important. And uh, these lads will have uh, no doubt a wealth of experience. These guys looking at other sevens tournaments, they'll be well into their seven season already. And uh, obviously the fact that we've got the artificial pitch here means we do have a, uh, a perfect playing surface, despite being potentially a bit slippery with the rain we've had today. Say just uh, five minutes or so before we went live, it was absolute torrential rain here, a little bit of hail around as well. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure most of the teams are very, very happy that we're not playing on the soil today. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely. We know that that pitch last year was very wet, and so they'd be glad that they're going to be on this pitch here. And so. Hopefully, we will have some awesome rugby on show. So the teams here, we've got some top, top quality in the different areas of the country that have all come down here to Surrey to compete this year. Under-16s uh, competition a couple of weeks ago and uh, a really big showdown over there. And we hope to have exactly the same here. As always, the uh, match officials provided by uh, Sevens referee. So uh, we hope to have some top quality officiating today. And uh, trust me, I know them personally. So if they don't, I will uh, make sure they pay for it. So <laughs> first referee for the uh, first fixture, Mr. Darrell Chapman of the PGMOT. Often seen out in the championship, previously in the premiership as well. So. Uh, the perfect person to start us off. So the team starting to uh, set themselves up <laughs> out on the field. Gordon School on the left-hand side of your screen and the blue coats on the right-hand side are going to get us underway. Really interesting to see how, how Gordon's get on today, obviously with that spike of Harlequins players always running through their team. Always interesting to see how they defend home turf. Yeah, certainly, obviously, the uh, under-18s not too successful last weekend in the academy finals so uh, I'm sure that for their score they'll be wanting to prove a bit and immediately the blue coats are caught in front of the kicker at the kickoff so free kick in the middle to Gordon's straight away 
They tap and come to this near side as they look to distribute that ball, just cutting back inside here. As Tackle they look to carry there. forward and a nice wrap around the ankles to bring the man oh. down, but it's easy to find the space. And just cruising forward to score underneath the posts. That is Morgan Purnell there. 30 seconds before we had our first try already. Just shows that we're going to have an absolute cracker here today. And the uh, conversion out, you can see here, just cut in. The uh, blue coat player just holding off and just got caught. Took the dummy and left the space in the middle. So he's just able to just walk it in under the post. Just saw that little gap in there. Great work from nine, just picking off the space. And then we have another kickoff for Gordon's here. Gordon's uh, being careful there, holding a good meter or so back. But great, a great challenge. Work up into the air in the air and grabbing that ball out. And that gets Gordon's into the 22 now, darts down the blind side. Offload bounces up, but into the hands eventually. Still keeping that ball alive, but unfortunately, just, just knocked it on there. I was very unlucky. Great play down from uh, Gordon's down this left hand side. Good carries, good positive intent on the carries, um, but unlucky just that little knock on there. Now, the blue station there as well. And uh, there is a player down. They've got to be careful there, Gordon's. You know, the, these kids are, are young. You know, these, these, these boys are, are still pretty young in their careers, but, you know, frustrations will leak in, but kicking the ball away is not going to help. At a top level of sevens, these referees will be hot on getting these guys. They will make sure they're kicking that ball away in an opportunity, especially on a penalty. Mm. You're likely to spend two minutes on the sideline. Yeah, I mean, especially in these, in these long days where you have a lot of the sim same referees circulating about, you always want them on your side. Certainly, and uh, first scrum here then. Solid base on both sides. Gordon tried to put in a bit of pressure, but down the blind side, the blue coats go. A little grubber through to try and find some space in behind. Covered well by Gordon's. Looking to go back to that far side now. Moving that ball out, little dummy and charge forwards and slipping out of that tackle. And Gordon's running their second try. Great play again, just using that blind side. Just spotting the space, as what Gordon's doing really well so far, just using that space that they've worked by carrying strong and then working out the mismatch either in the middle of the pitch or out wide. Yeah, great work to dummy, just uh, get that man in. Second dummy came in, sold that first defender and the second tackler afterwards just slipped off off Finn Healy there as he runs in to score their second try. Gordon's kick off again, here we go, up into the sky. Just outside the uh, 22, the ball lands, so a little bit of space to decide what to do here for the Blue Coats, but carries into contact, Ooh. tries to offload, but supporting player not ready for that there. Sometimes that's used a bit of a technique by these teams, but clearly it wasn't ready. You just see that there with, uh, with the long loopy passes. You, you really cannot, cannot risk it today with the ball feeling like a bar of soap. There we go again. And again, it's uh, a fine rain that we've got here now. And uh, that's going to make that ball extra greasy and difficult to deal with. Luckily, me and Tom are underneath the tent, so we don't have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we, we've got to, you know, obviously it's for the equipment, obviously. Um, but I am glad to be underneath in protection. As well as, obviously, uh, the uh, limitless kit to uh, keep us warm and dry as well. Just readjust there. <laughs> so, ball pops cleanly out the back of the scrum. Try to uh, just go down that narrow side there. Trying to cut back inside that first defender but brought down eventually strong carry forwards getting over five meters there forward into the 22 the blue coat's got an opportunity here to try and find a bit of space on this near side wrapped up well in the tackle and brought to ground Good oh line. lovely line great line <laughs> It's just brought back here. Oh, the offload to uh, keep the ball alive, but there is a player down, so we do have to come back. 
Referee uh, Daryl Chapman himself is a uh, school teacher. So uh, very used to the welfare of students and young people. So it will uh, imagine come back for a scrum where they last had the ball, the blue coats. This is unfortunate now. He, he, he talked about at the beginning of the game, just especially in this type of weather with the warm ups, just not being able to maintain that energy. And we seem to have a little muscle injury here. So, uh, yeah, as the uh, referee just confirmed, we'll be a scrum over there. And uh, you can start to see that rain coming down. These lads are uh, getting nice and <laughs> nice and soggy at the moment, unfortunately. Didn't look great as he went down in that mm. tackle there. He kept that ball held in nice and tight and didn't seem to want to let go. Fantastic, and, uh, fantastic line from uh, Blue Coats. They're so really building momentum there. Just a shame they were stopped in their tracks. Right, take a drink. Take a drink, guys. Yeah, take getting into the right spaces, now. finally getting yeah. up into the Gordon's 22, mm -hmm. and then uh, just not quite ground, able to obviously get it. But um, he, he was tackled. Yeah, as the referee has explained there, he's been tackled and gone to ground and just uh, just caught his head a little bit. So we'll uh, we'll lead into that conversation. Yeah. I know, yeah. So uh, as we just have a little bit of break here, we'll just uh, we'll just take you through to uh, a couple of adverts just to cover the time. We'll make sure that this young man gets himself sorted out and uh, he gets all the attention that he deserves. Um, and we'll be back with you very shortly. guys. So uh, the uh, injured player being uh, taken off the field. Ollie Collins there just uh, getting the treatment he yeah, needs. Crouch. Hopefully and as a expect swift return. Oh, yeah, hopefully so, but as expected, it will be a scrub Set. to the blue coats. And that. Uh, just see on the uh, lens oh, of the yeah. camera there, no the rain team. that's getting through to it. So I do apologise for uh, for the blurriness, but we can still see what's going on. Some cracking rugby as Blue Coats look to try and move forward here. Inside the 22, lovely little dummy. And a penalty offside from Gordon's there. And you see that's much quicker, normally play a lot more advantage, but sevens is a different game to fifteens. Referee's going to play that as soon as possible if nothing's coming immediately. Away now, you can see already move. the ground that Blue Coats have made and the benefit they've had from the early penalty. Oh, and oh, what a steal. just a loose pass a there. Intercepted. Charging forward's going to go all the way, you'd imagine. And scores under the post. And converted. And the conversion as well. It's a shame for shame for blue coats, but I mean, fantastic D from uh, from Gordon's there. Just positive tackle after positive tackle, really defended their line well, and then just picked off the men, uh, and that results in a in a score. Yeah, blue coats just getting too drawn in there. I think really, just uh, trying to cut their line back inside. Actually, they had much more space on the outside. Another good challenge from Gordon's off the kickoff, and they've, they've won it back as well. Here yeah. we go. 
Brilliant work. Wow, what? That's a great score underneath the post. Oh, absolutely beautiful way to get back in. Straight away. I see there's obviously a little bit of a theme here. Just watch the kickoff here. Up into the air, nice and short. Gives the opportunity for his teammates to get onto that ball. Leaps high and taps it up and regathers and then just a lovely pace through. A little step to the right. And it's just the afterburners to get him. A little hitch kick at the end to avoid the tap tackle and underneath the posts. Back into the action here. Blue Coats this time able to uh, safely receive oh, the kickoff. Two, get out. And a penalty not rolling away. Harry Stevens caught there by the referee. Oh, and this I think is going to be a yellow card. First time in the to tournament. Wait, no, 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 no. I think Play that is ball. Robbie Hefferman that's making his way off the field. Play. May seem harsh, but this is the way that we play sevens at the top Play level. Not held properly. Penalties and uh, properly. cards are going to happen. And not held in the tackle. I think he don't think he quite believe it himself there, really, but okay. not held and is able to get through and score the first try. Ollie Preston under the post, I think. I mean, fantastic work there. Really making uh, time, making no good reason. work out of the less numbers that Gordon have, Gordon's have got. Um, and just, yeah, straight underneath. And the conversion goes wide, and that does take us to half time here. So you watch the uh, replay here. So he just carries forward. Hitch, hitch kicks through really another tough. tackle there, and is able to drop the ball down over the line for the Blue Coats first it's try. Too much aggression. After the ball by green so half time here then, yeah? and uh, with a yellow card for Gordon's, right with a half time score, Gordon's running away with it here, 28 points to five over the Reading Bluecoats. So the uh, team's lining up, ready for the second half here. And uh, this time we Gordon's who kick us off from right to left on your screens. And uh, Gordon's the stronger team of the first half. Really making the most of these uh, kickoffs here as he sends one high into the sky again. And there's going to be another challenge. Oh, very unlucky there. Just straight through the bread basket. Uh, Blue coat player was never going to get that ball just knew that the ensuing Gordon's player was coming through shortly. Again, fantastic D by Gordon's here. Just really positive tackle, positive tackle, and just making sure that Gordon's can't spread that ball wide. But here we go. And again, they've just umbrellaed that defence and really come off off their line. A high tackle penalty given there to the Blue Coats. So they get a penalty and they get some space on that. Far side, backwards ball doesn't always. quite go to hand, but it goes Second backwards. Knock on. Thank you. But then it does get knocked on in Second one's a knock on. the so attempt to scoop it up, so it will be a scrum to Gordon's on the far side. There's no option. Gordon's still down a man hit. They're just uh, reorganising themselves. So less space outside here for them. Crouch. But we know what they can do from that first Five. half display. They can really Set. put the magic in. See what they oh, can do. Oh, and they go down here. the blind, blind side again. So much space. That's a simple reverse on the restart, please. Good gas down that blind side there. And the score under the post. Absolutely beautiful. Saw yep. the space, exploited it. 
Conversion added as well. You watch here, the nine just picks out the space beautifully. Um, that, oh, blue coat nine really should be watching the uh, yeah, the blind side there, but Gordon's picking out the picking out the numbers perfectly and not choosing to spread it with a man down is probably the right idea. Let's go. Yeah, Let's not go. the first time that uh, Let's go, mate. Ben Sherry has decided to try and snipe and find some space. Not, Another kick off. Charged backwards always <laughs> towards and batted back by Gordon's just over the 10 meter line, and now they're finding space oh, again. Zuko Rob underneath the post. <laughs> Oh, it's Sorry, an man. absolutely dominant display here from Gordon. Slippy, slippy. I think they're starting to enjoy this a little bit. Mm. Even with the weather, they're like sliding in underneath the posts and Guys, you need to get enjoying out this. To the side, please. To the side. As you watch here, kickoff. Literally pinpoint on the 10 metre line, batted back. Picked up little step across, okay, second step again. Fantastic feet. Just see how it's such an easy picture for him to be able to make that step. Both players on their heels, never moving on their toes, never having the opportunity to try and make that tackle. As soon as he made that footwork, he was away. And uh, tackle release. No. Let's go with the ball now. 13, no clear. Move. Again, those penalties coming in thick, thick and fast here. <laughs> And this will be a yellow card. You three. Number three. For number yeah, three. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You go. Not oh, ten. number three. <laughs> uh, lucky there, because I thought for a second Sorry. that Robbie Efferman was going to end up with a second yellow card. But uh, luckily, the referee picks out Finn Healy instead. Back was always play on. Ball pop backwards, and we good need to play. But there's good pressure off. still from Get Gordon's in defence. Move. Again, penalty for not rolling away. They've got to be quicker here. Their defence is strong, but play. giving away the penalties. That's lucky that Bluco can't do much with it at the moment. Oh, try to find a space here. here. Lovely quick pass. They've surely got the gas on the outside. There we go. Into the corner. <sighs> Lovely stuff. Again, just using the extra men, working that ball on the outside and then supplying the gas. Always a surefire way to win a sevens game. Yeah, it certainly is, and they uh, need to do something. A 47-5 scoreline is pretty strong. Unlucky with that drop goal out in the wide. Here we As go. You can see how they're just taking it, just trying to move forward. That tackle came in, we need a new one. and it was very nearly a double yellow there. We thought, but no. Luckily, the uh, referee picked out uh, conveniently uh, picked out another player. Let's go. Behind him. Thank you. Lovely. Kick off. Sent deep this He's time by uh, Luko. Timing's good. They try and spin that ball out a bit more. Broccoli is the word. Here we go. Gordon's trying Should to I work out their own Should 22 here. Good tackle again. Sorry, huh? Now Gordon's spreading the ball wide. Little miss, uh, miss array pass there. Good tackle. Gordon's just working their way down the pitch here. Here we go. Ball comes back inside. Gordon's just waiting for the ball. Good defence again from Blue Coat. Oh, okay. oh, just on the floor there. Very unlucky. Again, yeah, strong to carry forward and mm. oh yeah, it's just come from the boot. You get taught from a very young age about how key presentation is, even in, even in a sevens game. And with the ball as wet as it is today, you really, really got to hold on to it, especially when you're going to ground. Yeah, it's so important. At least that's like a man coming in as well to watch the feet are going. Backwards first. Greasy ball being naughty again as. Luke try to come down this near Always side. Backwards play on. Always backwards play on. Just touch. And then carried into touch. touch. <laughs> Defend this line for me, Blue. Oh, they tried to go for the quick one there, but Someone decided the not to. Someone here. Blue, you're defending this line. This so line here. 30 right. seconds or so That's left in this game, Fine. and it's a quite a clear victory here for Gordon's. Blue, Blue. 
Blue coat do uh, hey, blue. Other side of the do manage to get themselves yeah. two tries. Ball looped over the top and taken. You move five. You shouldn't have been there. You weren't in the channel. Move. Oh, and blue coat no just man in the tunnel, in the channel rather. So free kick and taken quickly here. Long time working away out tackle there. Some just such strong ball, ball carriers, aren't they? Just breaking through the tackle, Fantastic shrugging off try. defenders, and they're going to finish on a high here, Gordons. They're going to breach the 50-point mark. Yeah. It's time anyway. Yeah, there's no rush. And that will be confirmation from the referee. That is full time. Conversion added, and there we go. Goodness me. Rampant display from Gordon's there, just unbelievable. Yeah, so strong. And see, they've gone down that far splash. side. Their ability to carry through contact and Get really exploit the space. So, four time score here then. Gordon score 54, Reading Blue Coat 10. A dominant display from Gordon's, from the hosts. Goodness me, it's hard to tell always at the start of a competition, but it, with a fixture and a score like that, they're going to certainly hold themselves in a pretty high regard for the rest of the tournament. I mean, you can see, uh, you can see exactly what their game plan is for the whole of the tournament. Get those tries, get that kickoff going, challenge, win the ball back, and then and then pick out the numbers in the middle of the pitch or out wide. Um, unfortunately for Blue Coat there, they were just a lot, use the ball a lot better Richard? in the wider channels. Richard, you ready? Richard? No? Okay, okay in the next game, as the uh, two teams make their way onto the field, after that last game you know he's gonna have to do something to beat that with some of the skill and the quality display that we just saw but we know that the rest of this competition has some top quality teams in it in this game now we have last year's champions of the of the tournament Wellington College come up against worst school Massive challenge for both teams. Certainly is, and obviously Wellington wanted to continue their success from last year and remain strong here. Worth will definitely want an upset early on here. Some good rugby pedigree themselves, but certainly a challenge in this first game. And again, first kick of the game, same as the first one. In front of the kicker, really quick. Free kick there from the referee. Worth move the ball down to this near side here. Worth in the navy strip going from left to right on your screens. Just clear as well there. Not rolling away from Wellington College. Decided to come back down this near side now, Worth. Oh, oh the ball going loose and... Very unlucky there. Knocked on, playing now worth quick advantage, advantage here to Worth, slipping through the hands, but going nowhere, so we will come back for that knock on. Uh, Chris Morris. And we just see both teams coming out absolutely flying here. Wellington making big shots, uh, Worth carrying with intent, looking like it's going to be a very high quality game here. Yeah, it certainly will be. Crunch! As we introduce the dulcet tones of uh, Mr. Christopher Mulroy, the referee for this fixture. It's worth moving the ball out to that. Look like they're going out to the far side, but they cut back inside, and there's lots of uh, bodies in the way. Head contact with his dick in penalty only, low force, where you are. Back it's lovely go. to hear the explanation from the referee there. It was high head contact, but. A massive dip from the ball carrier and a low body height from the tackler meant that they'd done everything they could. Play on. Play on. He's Not just running to off. Yeah, just running to each other there and holding. Turnover penalty, holding on to the ball. Make sure he leaves his hands to his, yeah. 
A little reminder for the referee there to make sure it actually leaves your hands. I've been caught out one too many of those. <laughs> <laughs> everyone will try and get away with it, but not everyone will. This is fantastic oh. beat here from Wellington. If they use it wide, surely in for a, t for a try here. Oh, it's a... It's good, good line D Outside from Worth. Way. It was good work, but I think just giving that missed pass has meant that... Oh, and a penalty has gone Worth's way. I think that missed pass there just allowed Worth to drift in their defence. It lost that space. They didn't have enough speed on that ball to be able to get it out to the wide spaces and actually push through. On you. Come on, you way, Mike. We yeah, got a yellow card there as well, actually. Yeah, it looks so. Oh, throwing the ball away. Yeah. Right. And uh, as we said in the last game, Tom, you really want these referees on your side, and they're going to be on you today. No messing around. They're, they're referees, five by sevens referee. These guys do sevens tournaments all throughout the year, all across the world. So these guys know exactly what they're doing. And uh, they're going to referee this uh, top standard possible. Christopher Moroy is, uh, well, a couple of months ago, but fresh back from Dubai Sevens. Beyond the ball, never lifted. And uh, the attempts there at the turnover, but it was uh, off his feet. <coughs> oh, and that's just not oh, going to happen yeah. there for Worth. Knock on scrum gold inside. Worth are seeing the spaces here, and they've got, as, as we saw in that last replay, or as we saw in that last play, they had numbers out wide, but they just couldn't pick it out. Elbows run the Unfortunately, floor, lifted, right? we come back for a Wellington scrum on the 22. Yeah, and uh, as I say, Cromwich there, Chris Mulroy, the referee. Name up in lights. Crunch! Five! <laughs> great attacking opportunity here for Good scrum Wellington by Wellington. College. The ball doesn't quite go to hand, though. But they've still got the space, oh goodness me, have they got the pace around the outside? Oh! Decided I can't go through them. I'm just going to go all the way around. And they couldn't catch him. Supreme gas on the outside there. And again, a man down, that is extremely difficult to do. Yeah, yeah. They've just seen the space on the outside and he's on. thought, why not? Yellow back on. Yeah, certainly have. And the uh, yellow card will be back on as well. Conversion successful. So first blood goes to Wellington College. <laughs> so here we know it scrums in sevens on this far side. It's going to create so much space on the outside, and despite having less numbers, you can see he just turns yeah. on the gas. Leave it, After leave that it, little go on the outside. Little goosey can unlock anything, hey Tom? <laughs> Certainly can. Let's play. Certainly can. Yes, please, fellas, let's go. So, done better there to stay behind the uh, kicker. Backwards from blue pressure on the receiver. And Good shot from Wellington there. Goals. It has put that real strong pressure onto Worth hit. As they look to move that ball out to that far side. Getting out of their 22 now. Two men to bring him down, but he is eventually brought down. Lots a little bit isolated. Keep moving, keep moving. Let go. He's been dragged back, but the ball does come cleanly for Worth in the end. <laughs> Again, moving it to this near side. They have an extra man if they can draw in, but not enough space. The whitewash just coming a bit too close here. And being penned into their 22 now. Oh, and a turnover, turnover from, Wellington. from Wellington College. What can they do with this? Ball loose. No, oh, no. It's a bit scruffy now. Ball backwards. Leave it. First draw the rugby You're boys. The that ball's loose ball. on the floor. Just dive Not straight here. onto it. Here. Everyone trying to just grab it or kick it. It does end up with a penalty to Wellington College. Ball pop back inside and a strong carry through. And down they go. Wellington in for the score again. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, you can see from the off here that these Wellington boys have really come out to play today and they really fancy retaining their title. Water off, please. Yeah, certainly late. this You're too is late. a You're too late. much stronger competition. The... Uh, <laughs> Water trying to come on <laughs> halfway through, and the referee making very clear you've got to be quicker next time, lads. Ten Far too on late. It's only seven Five. minutes and a half, lads. You'll be okay. 
you can last the 15 seconds we have left in this half as the ball goes a little bit longer this little time a little bit deeper taken well by worth and not the best pass down to the feet but it is taken well and carry forward lovely step back inside fantastic feet still trying to dance around but eventually a huge hit comes in oh and worth just not getting that ball to hand and that will take us to half time hit well definitely a stronger performance from wellington college in this first half but worth showing us they have the potential here to do something exciting not had the opportunity yet with enough time with the ball in play and ball in hand so half time score here wellington college 14 worth score nil Timing. Wait. That one minute of half time always Wait, is quicker than you expect. Which does mean we get some more quality rugby straight back on your screens. And uh, this time it's worth caught in front of the kicker. Backwards, play on. Teams struggling there, aren't they? Both both uh, games now. We've had free kicks for in front of the kicker. It's uh, something that's really nailed down on in sevens. I suppose wow. it's uh, it's just the boys raring to go out and make a shot, I suppose. Yeah, a little bit too eager, but uh, worth using the space. Oh, Lovely dummy and cut between the dummy. two. Really strong chase here from Worth, but I don't think he's going to get there. Just able to glide underneath the post there. Fantastic score from Wellington again, just as we've seen uh, in uh, both games today so far, just picking out the numbers, seeing where the space is, and then a little dummy or a little, a little sidestep can uh, unlock so much possibility. Yeah, certainly can. Just ties in those players and done the right thing there. They know that they have to rely on their inside man, but just unfortunate that. Here we go, kick off again from Wellington. Wellington have eight on the pitch. We're coming oh. back. Oh. <laughs> you got eight on. Too many bees on the pitch. Oh. We see. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Seems to be a, been a miscommunication between the staff and and players. Number eight jogs off slowly. Yeah, so ends up with a penalty. Two worth on the halfway line. Can they take this opportunity here now? Three tries behind. They need to do something. Good offload from the floor there from Worth. Just a bit stuck in the middle of the pitch here. Good shot again from Wellington there. And coming out loose and the ball hacked through. Pressure on the man here. He tries to do uh, everything he can to get away from those ensuing defenders, but brought down eventually. They decide in the end, boot to ball is the only option. So our first one we've Not seen now. today. Not now. A lot of space in the. I I I've seen a lot of space in the backfield today actually. But we haven't. That's our first kick we've had to kind of clear our lines today. Yeah, often not employed in sevens often, but it's definitely an opportunity that some people can exploit. Especially that space is available on the back and a slight knock on from Wellington means that Worth have the ball now. Yeah, how quickly that advantage was over as well. As soon as you make ground, you've got the advantage. We Good play feet. on. Nice step back inside. And, oh, just didn't back himself on the gas and brought down behind him there. 
no, no release there. Another penalty to Earth. Put them off and yeah, no clear release there from Wellington College. There. These lads will be there. drilled hard in those sorts of areas, so they'll be mm. disappointed to be penalised there, I'm sure. But you've got to be clean. Oh, great dummy. Nice dummy to get it through. Lucky to no get that pass no, away. Mm. Still no hands. Worth Good just work. slowly working their way back into the game here, getting more hand on ball. Well, he's just... relentless from Wellington College, though. They are just eager to get that ball back. Almost letting Worth do what they need to do, letting Worth make the mistake themselves here. Which is uh, what's happened to Worth so far, and go. what happens again. There you go. Yes, yes. <laughs> Blue subs. Real shame. Thank you. Mark's here. As you said, worth really trying to build something nicely there, but just just Come making on. the mistake Come there on. with the handling. That pass yeah, a little yeah, bit no too far and bouncing off the floor and over here, over here. sliding off the hands. Over here, over here. Probably something we're going to see First quite a lot good. today. Second scrum, we lost the space. Let's get it back, please. And uh, nine. Make the creed feed credible for me. Come up then, Blue. Here. Crouch! Five! Wellington set, set very deep here. And I see Wait. some strong rock carries onto the ball. They've gone down the open side. Look Great at that space and drawing ball. in the defenders. <laughs> and they will surely have their fourth. Fantastic training ground move from Welly there. <laughs> And uh, you see that these boys have probably been drilled, as you were saying, Tom, in these areas um, when they get a scrum and on a half or, or in their own half, just to be able to work the ball wide uh, two. and grab some space while they can. Yeah, certainly. And uh, I see just going through there and is able to coast in to score the try. Shane, because Worth been doing some really nice things, just not been able to get it together. It's uh, these credits Wellington though, they have really put that pressure on. Good and take. A great take under pressure there. Move 12. Good work, two helping in. A minute and a half left on the clock. Just uh, oh, more mistakes creeping in here for Worth, but good, good pick up off the floor there. <laughs> Advantage forwards. Luckily, just giving the ball away. No hands, eight. No hands, eight. Trying to move that ball Advantage back over Jerry to Earth. that far side. Inside, inside. Little step back in to try and draw the defence in, but too many men over that far side. No space. No way Fast through. Competition. Look like they're going to come back to the near side here. Off to put boot to ball instead, though. All covered well by no, Worth. Tackle. Great little bit of invention there from uh, from Wellington, just to put that little grabber in. But now we see Worth back on the counter attack and Karen with speed and power. Oh, just great cover tackle. He's got no support. First, and it's meant that they've lost the ball. Really disappointing. A good opportunity there for Worth, and they just weren't able to get the support in to be successful and now Wellington College have the opportunity swallowed up in a tackle and it does force the knock on again great D from uh, from Welly when the uh, when Worth came up on the counter there just smothered them completely turned the ball over yeah they certainly did and uh, a, uh, a strong performance from Wellington College doing the basics really really well and bringing in some of those uh, training ground moves as well and they are victorious here in this second game. 28 points in the over Worth. Worth did, did some Cheers really boys. nice stuff, but just not able to get Thank through. You. Yeah, they, they started building yeah, towards, in, uh, towards the end of the second half, but just, as I said, Wellington just smothering them in yeah, defence, yeah. not allowing them any away. space or time at all to, to break the line. Oh, and uh, yeah, they come out strong victors. Uh, yeah, certainly is. Richard, referee Mike offside, cheers. So the next game here will be Brighton College versus Rams. 
RFC will be coming up in a minute or so's time. <coughs> and uh, do apologise, you heard any poor language there from the referee Mike towards the end. Next referee is Mark Fusil, M-A-R-C Fusil. F-U-S-I-L. Okay, so the teams entering the field. <coughs> Brighton College and Rams RFC. Brighton College in there. Uh, clear. Sort of, I'm trying to think, was it Maroony, Bluey yeah, kit? Yeah, kind of A little of strike like for that. gold in there as well. Yeah. Just kind of could up. make a decision, just sort of uh, close their eyes and made a pick. Uh, Rams in a lovely sort of uh, shade of blue and black with the white shoulders. And we've just had Wellington College, who were last year's champions. Now we have last year's runners-up from this tournament, Brighton College. <laughs> and a little... Uh, Good warm up, boys. Mark Hughes, all the referee. Mark for M A R C because he's a Frenchman, <laughs> despite being ginger. So, kicked off from Brighton, and again, much like Gordon's, competing for that ball, and it's going to lead to them having a great opportunity here immediately. Fantastic gas on the outside. Oh, and down. What are we? 17 seconds into this game, beats the first game already. 32 seconds we had from Gordon's in the first fixture. 17 seconds in this game hit from Brighton College. Goodness me, Come what out. a start. Absolutely firing there, Tom. And I, I don't think Rams have known what hit them, to be honest. Um, I mean, uh, great retrieval off the kickoff. Oh, he's oh, it's just skimmed down the left-hand side of the post there. Um, Unlucky. But yeah, great kickoff return again. Great pressure on it. Um, allowed Brighton to work the space out wide and then just absolute gas and takes the man on, puts it down in the corner. Almost a very good tap tackle in the end, but just managed to ride it. Oh, hoisted high. Yes, boys. And uh, just a knock on that, so it will be a scrum. Two rams. Just falls off red in the air, scrum down black ball. Again, Brighton competing for the ball in the air. They're off the kickoff. Lads, all I ask is keep the gap all the way through, please, until set. Crouch. Bind. Set. What a strong shove there from uh, Brighton, but it's uh, illegally done so. Attacked quickly by Rams. Charges forwards, but brought down. Another penalty, here we go. Not clearly releasing. So penalty awarded to Rams and yeah, getting charging oh, forward. No. Oh, just ball tucked Very under unlucky. the armpit and it just slips out in the tackle. Yeah, I mean, we'll say it once, we'll say it again. Um, really important to keep that ball in two hands today, especially with the conditions. Certainly is. Especially if you're going for a strong carry, but pace again oh. on the outside is a covering tackler across, but. Oh, Sonny didn't want to take the tackle there. <laughs> and uh, Brighton get their second score. Really working uh, yeah, the ball nicely down this left-hand side now. I mean, that's twice now where you just move it to the gas man and he, and he does what he does on the outside. We, uh, we would bring you some information on the players, but unfortunately... Brighton haven't brought over their team sheet to us, so if you are from Brighton and you know anyone from Brighton, drop them a message and get them to bring it over. We've got a lovely big tent with Next Gen on it, so. Easily spotted. I mean, yeah, you just look at this replay here and moving out wide, pick them off. Great little 
foot, great with a bit of footwork there as well. Yeah. <coughs> and a successful conversion as well. So building their lead here. Good recovery from the kickoff by or retainment of uh, the kickoff by Rams. He is, they try and carry forward. Two men to bring it down and tries to get that offload. Not the first time we've seen that today. Just a little mi miscommunication on the floor and with the with the next man over. Tries to give the offload and he thinks he's rocking over. It's just a very unfortunate. Just a little bit of experience here that some of these players need to uh, bring in in terms of the conditions. Crouch. That ball being popped off so Point. quickly means that there's little opportunity for that Set. supporting player to adjust themselves to be able to receive that ball. It's a good shove from, from Rams, but Brighton still the ball here. Oh, and just so simple. In the hands, cut back inside. Oh, does he get down in the corner? Yes, he does. I think Brighton have a favourite side of the pitch, don't you, Tom? <laughs> I do think so. It's a bit confusing for a second. There's about three flags in the corner for some reason. <laughs> thought he was shy of the try line, yeah, but no, he did get over. And yeah, just making it interesting for their uh, their kicker. Lovely strike on the ball. Oh, and he, he does get it over from, as well from the touchline from downtown. Fantastic kick there. I mean, yeah, just Brighton exploiting the space again. Really kind of just doing the simple things right as Wellington did in the last huh? game, just and yeah, using the simple Ooh. hands oh, wait, and then down in the corner. Yeah, those flags don't make it, <laughs> don't make it easy, do they, Tom? No. <coughs> ten. You can see in that situation there, just how much those scrums and sevens drawing all those players create so much space playing on the same pitch you'd normally have 15 players on so it does make a massive difference just at high one red and a high tackle here means that a penalty to rams and they All put on. boot to ball finding the space in behind there is covering from brighton oh Ooh. and it's just knocked on and uh, i'm not Got quite sure what he's trying to do there kicking it into touch but That's what you agree it will be a scrum to rams that's exactly uh, kind of the <laughs> risk Lost reward points. that you talk about when you kick in sevens. Just gambling on the other uh, team making that little mistake and then you gain so many yards. So the first um, and now Rams have the a scrum inside the Brighton <laughs> half. Let's see if they can capitalise. Uh, I'll move, I'll move, I'll move. So the uh, Crouch. scrum this time just uh, been a bit messy so far. So. Set. Want the clean ball out here. Rams with the ball. Good shove. Another Brighton strong there. shove there Thank from Brighton, advantage. but the ball does come out cleanly for Rams and a little Ooh. cut back inside. Over. Someone needs some longer starts as he slips onto the floor and the kick in behind. Once again, covered by Brighton. Well worked on the way out. Easy boys, get up, get up. Rams dropping back to prepare for the return kick, but doesn't come in and. Brighton keep the ball in hand and try and find a space themselves. And the ball just going forwards there. It's interesting oh. to see there actually, as soon as kind of uh, Brighton That's turned the ball over in their, in their 22, Ram's default was to drop two men into the backfield. Uh, you don't really see that a lot in sevens. No, not at all. Yeah. Again, it's uh, perhaps an element of just trying to get that balance out of 15s mode and into sevens mode. Mm. but. Anyway, we do take us into half time here, and it is Brighton College who are the stronger. 19 points to nil here just over Rams. Just out scrum time, that's all
So the uh, second half getting underway very shortly. And uh, Brighton College, we said the stronger in this game here in the first half. Yeah, Rams I'd not able to get on the scoreboard. But a tough day at the office so far for them. I definitely say so, but there's definitely <coughs> building blocks for, for Rams to come on here. Um, and they've, they've shown signs of playing some really positive rugby as the kick goes up. Brighton shifting wide again. Oh, great feet. Oh, Fantastic feet. And he's oh, struggles away too. Slides down to ground, but eventually brought to ground. Good Brilliant. work from Rams there to lead the ball and just drop it onto the floor. Often some people will try and be clever, but uh, can't be too clever when the referees are always watching you closely. No space on that far side, that pass just going to the feet. So good pressure here from Rams. Not giving up uh, much space, trying to find it on the outside though, Brighton still. And they are caught in touch. Quite unlucky, yeah. Draft Mike. Cheers, Rich. Mike, you happy with them, yeah? Hoisted high into the air and it is plucked up by Rams. They're just catching that ball so stationary at the moment. They're not getting enough going forward and this defence from Brighton puts really that pressure on. Time. They've lost 10 metres already. Got to find some space here and carry forwards. Good defence again from Brighton. Just really up on their toes. Straight into the face. Oh, and that's a four. Just a little knock on that. Good I've spot by the referee. Definitely thought Brighton were away there. <coughs> this slippery, greasy First ball is just mm. slipping out the hands, yeah. especially when it's been on the floor. It is indeed, yeah. Making life difficult for some of these guys. Crouch. Bind. Stand up, boys. Nice and simple. Just keep the gap until set. All right, we're done a pre-engage. Keep it nice and safe. Crouch. Here we go again. Brighton put in the scrum in the Rams half. Lads, it's simple scrummaging, all right? Just make sure you're engaged, find your game. Referee just, uh, just trying to get this uh, game moving here. Simple scrummaging, he says. Well, I don't think I'd ever see him in the front row, so. <laughs> Good hands. Brighton move this ball out here. Just uh, moving that ball around, trying to find that space. They have gone backwards, but they know that they can do something special and a little step and breaking through, drawing in those defenders, that pass not going to hand, still going backwards. Get up here, Theo, get up here. This is towards the end there as well. Oh. I was just about to say this is what sets Brighton apart from the rest, from uh, a lot of the teams in the tournament, being able to play relentlessly with the ball. But um, just goes a bit, just goes a tad forward there. Might just a little bit too to relentlessly, perhaps, yeah. to get the pass it forward. <laughs> but a ring of changes brought in for Rams. Thank you. Time back on fourth pass off Brighton. Crouch. Bind. <laughs> Set. A much cleaner scrum this time. Oh, cuts back in, but again, caught the ball stationary, so not making enough ground here, Rams. So just trying to do what they can. Ball comes loose at the back there. Up to get the kick get through. Get a line now! Get a line! Get a bit of pressure on here, onto Brighton. He's a little bit isolated, able to get that ball away. Brighton do have numbers on this outside here. <laughs> Good defence by Rams, just covering the space quite quickly as they lost the ball. Really good work and now comes on a bit of pace. Seen the uh, covering defenders coming across and decided to look for that support. Oh, if you're going to rush forward with a tackle like that, you want to make sure it hits. Oh. Oh. 
That would have been a blockbuster of a try there, but just dropped the ball at a crucial moment. Some lovely footwork there. Do you still have the ball there, Rams? Four red, no clear release. Clear penalty there for the referee, and Rams have an opportunity here. They have a little bit of space on this near side if they can draw in the defenders. Unable to use the space, and now they look to come back the other way. Great carry there. Strong through the middle. So one hit on it. The uh, yeah. ooh, steal was attempted, but it was not forwards. <laughs> Just trying to carry through the middle here, and they do get over the line. Fantastic. Almost assisted there. Was almost carried across. Yeah. By Brighton. Yeah. 15s esque, I'd say actually, and um, just. Brighton parked up in the corner, then decided we will carry with intent until we get to the line. Um, that's exactly what they did. Just a uh, kind of sequence of, of, uh, of really strong carrying from uh, larger larger units in, uh, in that Rams team. The ball just spills out. One carry, two carry, last one over the line. Fantastic fight from, uh, from Rams to get back into the game here. Certainly is, because this game is by no means out of their reach. What was that, Warren? No banter. Not much time left, but... <laughs> Kick hoisted high into the air and... Lovely <laughs> work there. I don't know if that was a bit of a game plan, but... The pressure and carrying across, but the momentum brought him into touch. Right on the edge of the paint, please. Edge of the paint, yeah, dead line out. Another line out opportunity. Rams here in Brighton territory. Let's see if it's a good line out. Not Just not spilled on the floor. Great there. distribution there, was it? But. Still got the ball here, Rams. Strong pressure in the in D again from Brighton. And uh, much as they're trying to get back into this game here, they're running out of time here. It's just that Rams, that final pass for, for Rams at the moment. Once the ball goes wide, just being able to capitalise. But Brighton back with the ball here and working it well. Just slowing up, seeing where the space is. They know they have time in the scoreboard on their side here. Score advantage. Brighton and just comes loose. That's no advantage. Boys. And that'll be full time. <laughs> there we go. The runners up from last year taking the result here in this game um, Brighton coming out 19-7 victors there
Here we go then. Next game coming up here. Hayes versus Bishop's Wordsworth. They make their way onto the field. <coughs> Me and Tom are celebrating in the booth here because we have a team sheet from Bishop's Wor Bishop Wordsworth. Only one. Only one. Only one. Sheet. So Only one. We'll be very detailed for <laughs> Bishop's Wordsworth and no, absolutely nothing for Hayes. Mr. Harry Groves in the middle. The uh, man, formerly of Plymouth, now from the Midlands. Oh, a little grubber on the kickoff. Interesting. So, well, I haven't seen that for a while in sevens. And another, the, another kick goes through there. And it's me. It's time to uh, put some boots ball here. Lovely step. Fantastic feet on the outside. Vantage oh, carry. In and a knock on there. And Vantage being played here. This game has come up absolutely fiery. Oh, just coming loose there, unlucky. Do your time off, Darrell. Yeah, here's Matt. Come on, follow that boy. Uh, the referee is uh, recently promoted to the Nine. National Crouch. League Match Official Team Associates list. Bind. So Sense. some top quality officials out here today. So again, it lets the boys just play rugby, and that's what we want to see. As the ball spills out the back yeah, here. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Trying to charge forwards now. <sighs> Thundering carry just there. Again, we see the nine picking blind from that scrum. Ball's just been worked out wide here. Fantastic feet. Oh, trying to tip it back inside. And just going to touch. Taking oh, it quickly. Take it quickly. Ooh. Oh, not yeah, going to hand. Oh, he's brought down, dragged no. down by the shirts. Again, choosing to put uh, boot to ball and find that space in behind. Oh, and yeah, here's why. Oh, that was very <laughs> lax there. And it has looked like it's come off. Oh, the pop inside. Try time. Oh, on the first try. Yeah. That's we're going light and dark. Please, yeah, it's going to throw me otherwise. Stay still, 20. That's. Sinks the kick off as well. Fantastic. Yeah, as expected, the conversion successful. So the kick behind. He just tries to really nonchalant pick that ball up and mm. scoop it into his left hand. Ball comes out loose and he's pounced upon. Yeah, which is coming. Hayes charging forwards. Mm. And they are able to get the first try of this game. I'm going to sound like a bit of a dad right now, but a kick is only as good as its chase, I've been told, for many a year. And Hayes had an absolutely fantastic kick chase there, and it really, really worked well. Certainly did, and a good pressure on this kickoff as well. Play on. Stay. He's taken well, but... Bishop still have the ball as they look to bring it out his far side, and just knocked on there. Yeah, use the cross of the lines, please. Just trying to move that ball into the wide spaces, but unable to keep his hands on the ball there. As we know today, that ball is an impossible mistress. Certainly is. And just taking a look, as much as we got the team sheet as well. I think Bish's words are a nickname, because I think there's about 17 set mullets in this team. <laughs> Uh, creeping Set. into the uh, schoolboy game, as we know, but goodness me. A Wham reunion concert or something. <laughs> <laughs> there are certainly some quality ones out there, and there's some quality rugby going on as well. So, no, back. Hayes with the opportunity here again, and here just find the space. Yeah. In the Bishop's defence, and they get over for their second try. Hayes really exploiting the speed of ball here, and um, just... As we, uh, when the replay comes up, we can watch that after this kick. 
just the speed of the ball off the ground once something's set um, just creates a load of holes. As we see, strong carry, quick ruck over, ball comes out, here we go. Little, little pocket of space in between that guard and that one. Switch of direction and back to that far side. Oh, yeah. oh thought just he just kept it touch. in, but the foot was in Hold touch. Up, please, thank you. Oh, gutting that. <laughs> Here come Hayes again. Good hands. Just working the ball, see if they can find something down this left flank. Oh, and they've come back inside now. Good, hand, good use of the handoff there. And again. Again, just working the ball out to this left-hand side. Another kick in behind. Let's see if this one works they know out. The success it's had did hold up to begin with. It looks like it's just rolled out. Take it. And gone it's dead. Gone 22. Again, it's, it's, it's that boot to ball is solely based on a Take kind it. of risk, risk reward basis. And for, so far, it's worked in Hayes's favour today. But as we see there, it can, it can always change and go long. Or Parks here, gents. Certainly can. It looked like it was just going to hold up there mm, sometimes yeah. if it can bounce on that forward point to the ball. And Crouch. Bishop's now up. Bind. Lined up on this near side. Set. You can see if they try and uh, do something different here. Let's go we're again. Just come a off reset. Cross the knee. Massive shove from well, Hayes there. Let's come off his knee as he's putting it. Strong shove. Crouch. Crouch. Bind. Set. Cleaning out the back this time for Bishops, and they decide to put boot to ball this time. And Great kick. Pace onto it. Oh, <laughs> tries to keep it in. Touch first. Good invention by Bishop Wordsworth there Not to just that, get out. You. You're on the edge, the time is yours. Line out here. Well, I may have overestimated. I think I'm counting four mallets at the moment on the field. <laughs> just from uh, Bishops. <laughs> Got to get these stats on point. Yeah. But that does bring us to half time. And uh, Hayes has Knock been on. the stronger in this first half. A uh, couple of clever bits of play, using the boot on the ball really successfully. Mm. And that has given them their two try lead of 14 points to nil here over Bishop's Wordsworth. Gents, who's playing in the scrum? Need a better picture, please. We're driving square, we're not taking that space, okay? Pass the message off for me. Scrum time, we need a better picture. We're driving straight, we're not going early. Yeah, agreed. Time on. And the uh, referee's whistle gets underway for the second half again. Oh, he seems to be doing this. Oh. Oh. Oh, just slipped out straight away again through the bread basket. I think he just saw the man coming there. No advantage, knock on More focused legal. on what he was going to do with the ball instead of actually catching it. You're absolutely fine, just no advantage. 
Here we go, yeah. gents. He's on the kickoff again, setting up to go one way and switching and coming back the other. Okay, our standards come up from the first half. It's clearly, we respect a the space, tactic they're okay, trying to employ here. Both behind to the left. To the left, please. Thank you. Crouch. Bind. Set. Wow, that ball just going. Fantastic pick up on the floor. Yeah, great work to pick that up off the loose ball again, stop, stop, using boot to ball. Stop, 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 stop. Kicking in behind and we take it well, finding space on the outside. The corner. And diving in the corner for the try. Fantastic try there. And um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean Hayes just Who's using that little little kick option Leave now and again. Anymore, you're leaving the Obviously was their game plan coming into it today, having seen the ball being a bit slippy. That's behind the ball, all behind just the try line. have a guess that there might be a one or two mistakes in the backfield. <laughs> and he's sunk the kick as well. It's me. He's kicking. Some of his kicking today has been absolutely on point. From a drop kick as well. <laughs> no what, some of these lads could probably teach some of the international boys a thing or two. <laughs> Definitely. Thanks, Mike. This time, setting up and going to the far side with the kick and hoisted high just outside the 22. Strong pressure on. Uh, Matt wants to ground as they try and find the space on the outside now. Great bit of footwork on the outside there. Brilliant from Josh Gothard, Gothard and he's still carrying through. Brought down to ground, he's still in field. Scooped up by his teammates. Ball being distributed out now. Oh, oh dear. I think we know what's going to happen here. We've seen this before. Yeah. Okay. Time off. All right. I think it's going to be a conversation here. Time off. Between the referee and his assistant. It's a clear yellow card. Okay, penalty try. Yeah. As okay, I no suspected. Cover, we'll try. No cover. It will be a penalty try. Shane is clearly. Henry Knight was clear in in the corner. Thanks, for vicious words worth. Hang on, but that on. does give us the penalty try. Now Bishop Wordsworth back into the game here. Fantastic bit of work down the left side, left hand side. And uh, yeah, that penalty try. So All an good. automatic seven points there for Bishop Wordsworth. Gets them onto the scoreboard. We know they would have scored it anyway, most likely, hence why the penalty try has been awarded. And uh, Hayes now down to six men for the next couple of minutes. Again, just slowing up the ball here. Just working away around Bishop Wordsworth. See if they can find any holes. Hayes know here they can run down the clock a little bit. They've got the advantage on the scoreboard and they know that with the man down, they want to try and eat away that time as much as possible. Now they look to try and make some space around the outside. A little offload on the inside of the hand. A lovely strong hand off there. Got a man coming over on the tackle Cover here. across from Henry Knight, not enough. Carry through the attempted last ditch tackle there from Josh Gothard, but another strong hand off. Just under. Very unfortunate for Bishop Wordsworth there. Just caught on the break a little bit. Although, not to take anything away from Hayes' attack there. Just extremely powerful, great step inside here. Just a little hand off. Sees the man coming across to make the tackle. Just plays it wide. See these players though, all quite upright. They're just easy targets for the offload, for the handoff rather. Yeah, cool. As, uh, no, 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 no. Vicious words worth make a substitution. Agreed. <laughs> Interesting oh, kickoff from uh, from uh, Hayes there. It's one of those ones where you put it up <laughs> into the air and and quite hard to catch. Just kind of spinning in a very awkward Here's awkward Mark. way. As we have. Badger marks here. Uh, scrum down 
with a Bishop Wordsworth put in in their own half. Hold. Thank you. Let's go. Nine to closer. Again, let's see if Bishop Wordsworth Crouch. can make use of it. Uh, has he got an extra? Yeah, extra man here. Set. I think the yellow card is oh, back on. No, it's back on. Back three on. men in the backs there. Sorry, so my mistake. Not so much space. Advantage. Uh, oh, that is high a tackle above the sternum. High tackle there. Penalty only. Very yeah, upright in his Ooh. position there. Charge, charge down. down. Fantastic. Oh, great work. <laughs> Oh, there's a phrase about nails and coffins here. Goodness me. Just as Bishop's words were, they're trying to get themselves back into this game. Hayes come in, great work to get high and block the kick there as we watch the replay. It was so obvious. He even pointed it out. <laughs> he even pointed away one of the right kick to go. Off. Two, three, four, oh, five, six, it's just made it so obvious for the Hayes players to be able to get that nice high jump. Scooping up the ball and sprinting through to get down over the line. Taken well take. there by Henry Knight. Lovely work and support Ooh. there and a carry forward by Charlie Payton as he charges towards the try line. He is being hunted down. He is brought down. Try that. Great try by Bishop Wordsworth. Still not done yet. Not finished yet. That's the statement they've just put out there. <laughs> Certainly oh, yeah. not, but the clock is not on their side no. at the moment no. with the scoreline just looking a bit too Can far for them. There, yeah. Oh, well, this uh, conversion not being struck particularly well, and that does bring us to full time hit. Yeah, Look at the pace through, he's just pushing all the way. Charlie Payden eventually brought down and a bit high there in the tackle, but mm. it does get down over the line, so easy try to be awarded. So full time here then, Hayes, the stronger of the two sides coming out. Victors, 35 points to 12 over Bishop's Wordsworth. Wasn't a trip, I got banged. <laughs> Okay, so the team's made their way onto the field. Gordons and Brighton College, the home boys. And the crowd is out and loud for this home side. Maybe you've got a couple of drums down there as well to try and uh, get some atmosphere going down here. The rain has stopped and see the sun trying to breach its way through the trees. This should be a massive game, Tom. Yeah, both sides winning out their first games. Obviously, Gordon scored with a strong, dominant 49 points to 10 win in the first game. And uh, Brighton College, 19 points to 7 over Rams. So put a bit of perspective on that first score for Gordons in this game. If they come out strong here too, we know they are serious contenders. 
point. Kick off Ball kicked, hoisted high and long. And oh, 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 they Theo Pavey, oh. under, oh, Poovy underneath the post. Fantastic feet there. Corners did this in their first game as well. Getting an early try on the scoreboard. Doing the same again. Conversion added. Hey, watch some of this footwork here. Just fun, just unreal. And then just allowed to stroll underneath the post. Gives it a bit of milk as well. Here we go. Ball's been hoisted back up. Brighton with their first oh, chance. A little slip there and the surface still greasy from the rain we've just had. Oh, and the ball comes loose and Gordon's are going to pounce again. Oh. They get over the line. Oh, and it's a penalty. Offside, I think they're the call from the referee. Brighton just getting away with it here. Under a lot of pressure from this Gordon's team. Oh, that kick. Long into the space in here behind. And look at the pace of Brighton here. Another little kick. It's nearly brought him to ground. Just short of the line. Picks it up and dots it down. Fantastic invention uh, from, uh, from uh, Brighton there. Just to see the space in the backfield and go, you know what, we're going to put the ball in behind. And when you've got gas like that, usually works out. Kick gone over as well, I just think there. Yeah, great kick in behind there. Just beating for pace. Making sure on the pick up there and just dotting it underneath the post or just outside the post. Great Brighton. Kick. Hoisted high. Brighton back in it now in front of this loud home crowd. Gordon's just working the ball wide. Oh, Here we go. Tying in those defenders. Still live here for Gordon's. Oh, lovely little step there to try and just tie in those defenders. He's brought down to ground, but gains another five meters. Starts to bring it back to this near side now, just trying to carry forwards, looking for that space, trying to break through the gap, but is brought to ground. Sliding tackle. Attempt to counter up there from. And we have Brighton, a, a bit of a kerfuffle over on this near side. We have a flag in from the uh, assistant referee here. Can't hear what he's going on at the moment, but I think it's in relation to that tip tackle there. Might be a card coming up here. It is, it's a yeah. yellow card to number 11. Zuko Rob. Oh dear, it was a... Slightly WWE-esque there from, from the... The Gordon's winger. Yeah, a little bit of niggle there in the in the rock, and it just got driven through and taken. And now it looks like Brighton are going to take the opportunity here, but it's great work Fantastic to cover across cover the defence from Gordon. They've gone quickly. Great work to go quickly, exploiting this space where they can. They know they're down a man. Oh, I'm trying to get them back on that far side, and breaking through the tackle. This will be He's tried. Got support, goes to the dummy. Ooh. The offload comes in, great cover though in defence. Gordon's just slowly working their way out of the pitch again from this from this set. Oh, our ball has come out loose there, I think. Oh, Gordon's get the penalty. Number one, move it, move it. A tap and taken quickly, trying to find space in this new side. The big man, Jed Saunders, tries to carry forward, still going. Brought down eventually. Corner's just trying to probe for space at the moment. Tackle. Looking to go to the right-hand side and just trying to find some space over there. Harry Stevens now 
carrying forward, Paul down on the five. Working hard here, Gordons with a man down. Step back inside that time from Pernell. No! Again, Brighton trying to steal that ball with little success. Here's the big man again. Oh, Fantastic carry. Jet Brighton Zone is just, just lost their go forward there and deep. Mm. Allow the big man to oh, come forwards. Kick. And Saunders of that kind of space in front of him and that close to the try line, he'd back him to get over. And get over, he did. Back on. Slowly turning back into 15s there with the just massive, get the ball to the big man and let him carry. Let him put the ball over the line. I think Gordon's ran out of options there. They had to kind of use what they could. Mm. They tried to try and find some space with a man down that makes it so much more difficult. And the Thank end, you. it was Saunders that was the man for the job. See here, he just takes a little shift of direction, breaks around the corner of that tackle, and gets over the line. You've got 10 seconds to take the kick. Beautiful yeah. work. Gordon's to kick off again here. <laughs> kick off taken and trying right. to distribute out and cutting back in this near side now. Trying to keep that ball moving. Slightly wayward pass there, but Brighton still got it. Yeah, pass is not quite going to hand here, and great pressure from Gordon's as well. Can they get the turnover? The yes, they can. This. And Pernell just slightly goes towards the line here. Great discipline not to try and carry forward. Oh, and I think that's going to be held up. Yes, it is. Again. Brighton just playing with fire in their own, in their own half and almost being punished for it again. Yeah, great turnover there initially. And that uh, carries forward, it nearly reached out for that ball. Ball has popped up. Good deal on their own line from Brighton there. Certainly is, and that brings us to half time. A quick turnaround of one minute. But it is Gordons who have a one try lead here, converted try lead. 14 points to seven over Brighton College here in the first half. So back on the way here with the second half and the ball hoisted high from Gordon's kicking to left to right on your screens. That's a great take down, down the side. Yeah, oh, Brighton right, want to get in here with another strong tackle there and strong pressure as well from Gordon's hit. Offside. Just shifted out wide here now. No advantage coming in, calling from the assistant referee for an offside. Offside from Gordon's. Brighton have come out in the second half absolutely flying. Just shifted out wide again with some pace and he's going to walk into the corner and absolutely great bit of gas down the side, down his right hand side um, from Brighton College and they're in for the score in the corner. Yeah, getting themselves back into this game. It's going to be a difficult conversion, but uh, this is the Come opportunity out. to draw it up. Thank you. Let's see if he can sink this from 
and quite a way out. We have seen it this weekend, or oh, this uh, evening, but that Just one wayward. pulled to the right-hand side of the post, so it stays with Gordon's with a narrow two-point lead, that extra conversion counting at the moment. Just trying to find that space, just getting rid of them. Ball hoisted high again. Not quite 10 though, so Brighton are going to be penalised here. Let's see what Gordon's want to do with it. Yeah, again, a, a sevens variation here. Free kick if your uh, kick up doesn't go 10 metres. So an easier opportunity here for Gordon's. Now they move into the Brighton half for the first time in Great Gordon hand in the second half. And a lovely offload leads to some lovely footwork. Charging forward and then taken into touch. Two, don't do that. A little Black word mark. of warning for the referee there. No. For, uh, Black mark. Someone wants yeah. to do something silly. Great bit of footwork from James Goldsworth there. Um, just dancing his way down the left-hand side. And the ball now moved out again. Ball has been booted down the field. It's a great chase. And the right decision taken this time. The first person has actually dived up the floor for that ball today and carried them forward another 20 metres. Great work from Gordon's here. Lovely work to keep that ball alive. The offload coming through. Oh, he's got threat, Gordon's. They're keeping that ball in two hands. They're showing the defence. So look, I'm ready to pass if I need to. Drawing those defenders in. Oh, instead just decides to carry. Offload comes away. Easy. And it will be a successful try. Easy walk in for Zico Rod there. And some great play, just, just finding the holes in uh, the Brighton defence, picking them off, and then in we go in the corner. Absolutely great work there from Gordon's, just that perseverance, as I say. Just watch them as they carry on through the rest of this game. They're just keeping that ball out in front of them, clearly ready to make that pass. Conversion not successful, unfortunately. But uh, the scoreboard is still in their favour here. 19 points to 12. Gordon's lead hit in the second half. Ooh. Again, picked up by Brighton. It's their opportunity here to put themselves back into the contention. Oh, great pace. Fantastic. Good work from Gordon, though, to keep them wide, keep them in a position where they have to work hard to get that conversion. And you just see here what happens when you change your kickoff by the smallest bit and you try and risk something. And it can all come tumbling down very quickly on you. Oh, oh, oh. absolutely nailed that absolutely kick. Absolutely slotted as well. Beautiful work. So that does bring us level now. 19 points apiece, you can see. It was a strong chase there from Zuko Rob, but not unable to get the hands onto the ball. Into the corner and score. Oh, good work from Brighton there to knock it backwards so they get to retain possession from the kickoff. Can they carry some momentum here? Trying to move forward, getting pushed back now. Just pulling out of the contact there quite wisely. And now here come Brighton again with Bruce Ball. Oh, and here we go. In. Oh, just unable to be picked up there and scooped in the end by Gordon's That's lovely a great offload. offload. Oh, and that is a crunching tackle. Absolutely huge that was. Great bosh end? into touch. Oh. Say that again. <laughs> There will be a line out now to Brighton. Just when you thought that Gordon's going to try and swing it back towards their favour. Oh, and they do steal the line out, though. Here's the danger man, Zuko Rob. 
dancing feet on the outside. And a humongous carry to put him into the corner. Goodness me. What a powerful, powerful man. Charging forwards. Easy. And just runs over him like a freight train. Goodness me. You've got 10 seconds. That was such a strong carry. Yes. Let's see if they can put this over. Oh, yes! And slotted as well. Oh, lovely work. A fantastic <laughs> score and conversion there from Gordon's. Okay, time Make the up. most of that lead. Time is up. Give themselves that seven point advantage, that little buffer now. Yeah, that Brighton watch. know they're going to do something really special. Clocks in the red. <laughs> Fantastic power. piece of personal and skill no there. surprise here. They go deep, but it goes straight into touch. Goodness me. Oh, Gordon's are giving them a way back into the game. A nice idea. The door is open now. Can Brighton execute here? Can they try and get themselves into this game again? Oh. Great Beautiful piece hands of hands. Through the tackle. Just about keeping the ball alive here for Brighton. See if oh, oh, it's come loose. Oh. Penalty. Play the arm that's led to that loose bit of play there, and offside, and this number will be 12. a yellow card as well. Offside. We and it's the number 12, Robbie Hefferman. Wait, please, no, 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 wait. Who gets sent to? The sin bin. So they'll have to finish this game now with six men. Defending a seven point lead. Little goosey there. Oh, and the penalty goes Gordon's way. Crossing from Brighton. Crossing. Time is up. Tap it first. Time is dead. And they just boot it into touch, and that will be full time. We just watched the replay here. He just tries to step back inside. Thank you. That's very unfortunate. As he goes through, uses his man, and you can just tell there he's completely, it's so obvious. Mm. Got to be more careful, these boys here, but it does mean the Gordon's able to retain their victory. But a much tighter game than the first fixture they had, so a much bigger test. But Gordon's hit, come out victorious, 26 points to 19 over Brighton College. What a game! Fantastic <laughs> game there. And next game coming up here, Wellington College versus Hayes School. This is another blockbuster. Two very big schools coming up against each other here. Both having big victories in their first game. <coughs> and we have also recently received the Hayes team sheet. fixture as both teams make their way onto the field Wellington College and Hayes school and as I said we now have a team sheet for Hayes so thank you very much to those boys some lovely little details in here as well so we can give you a real good back down background on some of these players almost an essay on each player it's fantastic what accounts really is that what is going to happen out on the pitch out there We do an honourable mention as well for Liam Elder, Saracen's under-18s player. He's not here today because he's in a Scotland camp. Well, good luck Very to him up impressive. there. Here we and go. It is Wellington College to get us underway, kicking from right to left on your screens in the lovely gold and black hoops. 
Hayes looked to distribute that ball out to that far side now, already tried to find the space. Charging up to the 10 meter line, high tackle immediately picked up by the referee and off we go and calling for it on the far side kick. here, Ben, ben Adamson. Adamson. Kick coming in, it's just the bounce not quite going the way he wanted, but it has been picked up by Hayes. Great out of the handoff right oh, there. And he's oh, just lovely work, little handoff, charging forwards and scoring over the line. And it's a player that we don't have down on the sheet. <laughs> All the praise we gave to Hayes a second ago. Yeah. But anyway, it's a player, it's from Hayes, and they get the conversion as well. Great work. Again, we see the usefulness of uh, boot to ball. Just gaining a lot of yards, a lot of momentum for Hayes. Allows them to have a mismatch out on this right-hand side. Um, and then just walk in under the post. <laughs> Hayes to kick off again here. Just put up into the sky. Good take from Welly. Brought down by the uh, tails and held in the tackle and trying to get back up again. And Hayes go quickly here, trying to find the space. Charging forwards and it's the try score again on the outside. But forward pass oh, forward pass. Forward pass called scrub. That was a forward pass from Ease okay. Valente. Mark is there. Just, uh, just drifting that pass forwards. Quit. Five. Set. Always backwards. Ball comes loose from Wellington there, and good pressure from Hayes hit. Looking to try and move that ball. It does go loose, but it is backwards. So we continue here. But Hayes pinning Wellington deep no, into their off. half hit. See if Wellington can get out here. Good oh. use of footwork there. <laughs> and he's just glided through the Hayes dip defence. He's been chased down though, but not quite going to get there, unfortunately. That's is a fan Adamson. fantastic score from Wellington there. I mean, just really unreal feet. <laughs> Good work from Hayes though as well to get back. I mean, you've got two men there really working hard to get back and defend. Adamson and Towers both working, but can't stop Wellington College Sorry. getting underneath the posts. See, it's just great work there to just change direction and move and yes. little in and out yes. and you're just gone. And then the gas to get on the outside is... <laughs> And a conversion added as well, so seven points apiece hit. A high and short kick and pressure coming in, but a lovely high jump from Adamson there. Ball distributed out down the line now, trying to move it and find some space, perhaps on that far side, but Oof. instead we cut back in and a strong carry forward here from Johnson. Ball moved out through the hands of McNamara. Well, well kept there. there. And the lovely Back offload into comes in. Oh. Oh. Almost squeezed through that. <laughs> <laughs> Initially, the pressure coming through from Welly there was strong enough, but unfortunately, the second man was offside, so penalty awarded the weight of Hayes. Trying to get that ball out there. It's coming out a little bit slow here for Hayes, but oh, oh. just pass going in behind the man, going loose. And then so it is knocked on, man. but it has gone forward Second from gone. Hayes first. Time's off. So it will be a scrum to Wellington as we take time off for the injury. Oh, yeah. And a uh, quick word about that man in the middle. No this is Steve Randall from, uh, from Kent. Yeah. It's not a long journey today. Up. Recently uh, got a new job as a, a pilot yeah. for British Airways, leaving the police force. And uh, he's commanding the game here. We'll see me commanding an aircraft. As we just make sure that this uh, player is uh, 
looks like. All okay. Looks a little, might be a pectoral shoulder yeah. issue, something like that. Just getting some uh, attention from the physio now. It's uh, great to see these lads. He picked up straight away that he had a little niggle. And Sorry, going on. I think about five years ago even that actually that this player probably would have carried on and tried to continue in the game, really tried to support his team yeah. and thought that going down injured would be an issue for his uh, teammates, but actually they're really aware of how important it is to look after themselves, look after their bodies, the longevity of tournaments like these, so they pick up those injuries or they pick up little niggles that they flag it up to the support staff immediately. Yeah, exactly. And um, uh, it's so important because obviously these boys are, some of them still in year 12, possibly year 13 and they've got a long rugby careers ahead of them so it's really important these long days to just have a physio looking out for the boys the whole time certainly is a clean scrum initially from wellington college but they're struggling here inside their 22 trying to find a space on the outside here now ball bounce passes out and the little flow back inside as they look to move it back to the far side now again hands are going directly to the ball but it has been picked up well here got numbers on this outside here lovely offload can Hayes make the cover no good pace as well fantastic electric electric from Wellington to get out of their own half out there 22 there certainly was the pressure was coming in there from Hayes really really pushing hard and you can just see how out of nothing Wellington have turned on a switch and just fired into into the lead here. Uh, we'll watch here, see that loose ball, just just managed to keep hold of it, breaks through that first tackle, the little offload. And it's that pace and the cut back inside, you can see how the Hayes player's just been caught. Shoulders, hips twisted to the outside and they're able to cut back in. And dart straight in and get underneath the posts. Here. Nice guy. And then we just wait for someone to do his laces. He needs to go now. Important if you're, uh, if that's a kicking foot. Yep. Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> good hands there in the end by Lawless. Oh, just bobbling up off the kickoff. Again, trying to find space. Strong on the... carry from Hayes there. Oh, 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 beautiful it's still there. Though. Pinch that straight out of his hands. And yeah. Wellington College charging towards the try line now. Risky Tried offload. to get the offload in, but it didn't quite work. Hayes now with the possession, but deep inside there, 22. Side entry. And there's the pressure coming through. Side entry, Side entry from Hayes. See if Wellington can capitalise, capitalise now. Well carried and great ball over the top there in the middle of the tackle. Great score from Wellington College who take a two try lead now. Um, really, really good from Wellington there. Just capitalising on being on the front foot uh, and allowing the pressure to come and just slowly moving the ball wide with some good offloads as well. Yeah, really strong work. And the conversion just falling short. Just short. Unlucky there, but as we locked the replay, and see the penalty coming in. Ball comes loose and quick thinking they just go move the ball across to this near side. Could this have easily tried to drag those defenders across but steps back inside, creates that space. Fantastic ball out wide there in the middle of a tackle. It's quite a hard skill to do. Yeah, properly backed himself there, didn't he? Well, half time here then and it's Wellington College that at the moment are the stronger of the two sides. They lead 19 points to seven over Hayes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Josh off. Wellington ready. Hayes. Oh, what a take. What a take immediately in this second half from Hayes. Hayes just bringing the ball back now. Could go through the middle here with uh, Admonson. Oh, lost forwards. Oh, unlucky. Wellington now have the ball. It was Finley with that grasp out of the air. Now, Wellington have numbers on out wide here. If they can use it. Good tackle though from the from the Hayes number two. No lift play on. Trying to get that yes. steal is out. Zero. The ball is out, so it's taken by Hayes. Scrum advantage only. Ball coming slightly forward off of uh, Wellington there, so it's a score advantage to Hayes. Carry forward again. McNamara into contact. Trying to move that ball out, trying to find a space now. Raw the pass going to the floor. Really need to go to hand there. Yeah, Not the best from Singh. Huh? And it will be yeah, a line out yeah. to Wellington College. Again, Hayes just really showing some positive signs here. But um, not being able to capitalise and making these small silly little mistakes in the final in the final third of the pitch. Um, here we go. Wellington trying to play out now in their own try line. Ball's being taken on. Ooh. And that might be a bit high from Singh. Direct finish, yeah, come on. And we are going to have a yellow card in this game here for the number 15, Singh, for Hayes. <laughs> Wellington penalty here. Here we go, Wellington again, working that ball wide. Great bit of pace here. Just saw he sport. Oh, yeah, as suspected, just lost forwards there. So, will be a scrum to Hayes with the man down. Yes. Pass it. Here we go. It's a Hayes put in here, as Set. Tom said, with a man down. Good scrum. See if they can use the ball. Good strong carry again from Adamson in the middle of the park. Just turned over though by Wellington, which is a massive shame. Wellington coming out quickly on the counter here. Stepping back inside, back and forth. Good cover tackle though by Hayes. And another penalty to Wellington. Hayes, uh, Hayes really underneath the cosh here with uh, with a man down. Wellington looking to find that space out on the far side. Now they cut back inside and straight through the middle they go. Finding oh. that three try lead. There we go. Underneath the post for a, for a walk in there. <laughs> just come off the back of this penalty with a man down they are so hard to to defend nice little switch on the play there yellow cards on next play. confirmation from the referee there the yellow card will be on in the next play yeah. off. as a uh, Hayes player has just received a little bit of treatment okay you can tell we're getting into the Early evening now, the steam coming off the player's breath. And uh, calling for the assistant referee there in front of the kickoff. Not the first time when it's been called, a little bit too eager there. Thank you. Hayes now with the opportunity, strong carry Ooh. through, tried to get the offload in, but just, you know, it's just dropped the ball in behind him there. Finley. Another strong carry from McNamara, who's really been putting in the hard yards this game. And he's nice. down on his knees now. Let's see if Hayes can do something here with a man down. Into the hands of Johnson. 
Good hand off there. Hayes just slowing the ball up a bit. See if they can find any avenues. Good carry. Great offload. They've got a number out wide here. Keeping that ball alive here, Hayes, really well. He was never holding play on. And, uh, yeah, Wellington trying to play the penalty there, but the referee not buying it. The uh, tap tackle nearly came in there, but the ball was offloaded away well there by Wellington College. Slightly rushed hands in through here, but Wellington still had the ball on the counter attack. They've yeah. taken it wide, the gas is on. And he's put the pedal down and is able to walk in underneath the post for a fourth try for, oh uh, no, fifth try for Wellington. Sorry, yeah, that mistake. scramble defence there from Hayes was always going to leave gaps and space and in the end it worked out that it was on that far side. The conversion added again as well, pushing their lead out even further here, Wellington College. And you see, it was just about trying to find where that space was and it was mm. then a battle of power and speed. And they're just able to power away there, Wellington. So, 33 points to seven. It's looking a really dominant display here now from Wellington. Hayes has done some really nice stuff, but just not been able to be as clinical as Wellington in finding that space and exploiting it. Now carrying forward, trying to keep that ball alive, and it will be a penalty for offside. Bit of footballing skill there as he ticky tackers it past the defender on the floor. <laughs> oh, boot to ball again, a lovely kick through and some great pace here. Good oh, but just slightly overran Wellington. it and it's now going to leave some space here for Wellington. Good tackle for McMahon again. Oh. oh, McNamara really has put in the hard yards in this game and some great work in defence and it's some lovely footwork though by Wellington College. One man to beat. Can oh, he go? A little bit of footwork and the offload. Hey, Goodness we'll me. Just dot that ball down underneath the post again. I feel like uh, Hayes have been their own worst enemy in this game. Just really not capitalising on their on their big chances. Yeah, and, they uh, really have. It's just see here that step back inside, another step in this side here and sees he's got one man, little dummy, just fixes the defender to the left-hand side and just is able to power through. Mm. And down underneath the sticks. There we go. All finished up. Wellington 40, Hayes 7. And the uh, next fixture we've got coming up for you here, Reading Bluecoat School versus Rams RFC. It's a local derby. Certainly is. We look forward to seeing that coming up very, very shortly. Here we go. 
Both teams running out for this local Reading derby. Rams, formerly known as Enzians until a couple of uh, seasons ago, come up against Reading Bluecoat. Um, should be a very exciting game and Rams have the kickoff here. Yeah, Rams on the right hand side of your screen with the white sleeves, black into blue kit and the blue coat on the left hand side who are receiving the kickoff. High into the sky from Rams. Good take. A lot of pressure and straight on the there into as touch. Well. Fantastic kick chase from Rams there. And Rams have the throw in in the Reading Blue Coat half. Send the big man up. Great work taken well as they come forward there to be able to get in front of the other man to secure that line out, make sure it's nice and safe. And it's out to the far side now, keeping the ball alive through the tackle. Lovely step back inside. Oh, and the pass just goes forwards. Lovely spot by scrum. the referee down, there. Please. Full pass. Scrambling. So it will be a scrum to the blue coats. On the line, please. Come closer. Thank you. Crunch! Point! Set! Balls, Bill's out the back here for the blue coats to cut back inside. He wasn't advantage. quite expecting Unlucky. that. No advantage. Knock on. Oh, the first rule if you're going to run a dummy line, you should always expect the ball. Yeah, I saw that. Have, um... Mark here, please, guys. Make sure we're striking and not kicking, please, okay? Here we go. Rams put in. It in the blue coat. Half. Point. Set. Stay on side nine. And again, as we've seen many a time today, nine, the nine from Rams choosing to go blind. Can they play out now? Great carry in midfield from Rams. Huge shot though from the Reading Bluecoat man. Again backwards. And the ball is slowly being worked wide. Good carry again from Rams. Ball's just gone forward though from the Rams men. Unluckily, they were building something very exciting in this uh, down in this corner here. But it will be a scrum with a blue coat put in. Just there, ball goes a tad bit forward. Subbed off, are you going off? Thank you. Just got an injured man for Rams Come here on. coming off. Move that way, okay? Crunch. Here we go again, Point. back into the action. Set. There's a blue coat scrum. Oh, strong shove from <laughs> Rams there, but it has resulted in a Number four, not driving straight. penalty. There we go. Four black, not driving straight. Number four from Rams, as we heard from the referee there, not not uh, driving straight in the scrum. Well, some risky offload, oh. but it's come off for the Reading blue coat. Okay, four pass, AR call. Good. Ball's just been uh, knocked down. forwards there. And a great bit of handling Black from uh, Alex Main there just to grab that offload before okay, so it hit the floor. Make sure you're driving straight, not driving in, okay? Uh, 1.5 metres. So I'll I think the ball forward, okay? has slightly gone forward. Make sure you're driving straight. Yeah, please. the referee just uh, reminding Good. the players there that this is still under 18s Point. rugby, so can't drive beyond a metre and a half. Early engage. Oh, an early engagement Penalty there. Advantage. Oh, sorry, free kick advantage. That would have been a turnover there, but unfortunately never no, ten no, no, in the no, first no, place. Wait, 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 wait. wait nine. <laughs> Very <laughs> eager, but as it's gone back another ten meters, 
Okay. And uh, it is a free kick because it's come from a free kick. So he goes straight back to a free kick rather than a penalty for the offside. A strong carry towards there. Ball down short to the line. Stair goes himself from the nine. Dies over the line. Fantastic try. Great work. Great, oh, great yeah, work. Yeah, Brilliant. Really dominant carries there coming in from Rams. And the conversion as well. You see here on the replay, um, Rams just work really quickly off the off the free kick. Great <laughs> carry there with the with the bump off. And then it's just a matter of getting that ball over the line. Blue coat tried their hardest indeed, but just a bit too <laughs> strong from the, um, from Rams. <laughs> And it'll be a Rams kick off again. Send it up into the sky. Come on, Rams! Just a slight knock on as well from uh, Jack Brand, the uh, the number ten for Reading Bluecoat. And it'll be another Rams put in. Let's see if the uh, nine chooses to go blind again here. Set. Yeah, another attacking platform here for Rams. Keeping that ball alive, Almost. it's just getting Stop advantage. knocked no advantage. on there in the end, Knock despite on. the initial attempt to keep hold of the ball, and it does end up in a scrum. There has been a bit of a theme today, Tom, with that kind of final pass, don't you think? Just being able to hit that hit that man coming around or going, make that final ball Stop in the in the in the, in the final third of the pitch. Crunch. Yeah, it is a real shame from some of these lads who are doing all the right things and just just not able to get that last pass in. Oh, again. Play on, backwards. Play on, play on. That just not going to hand again. That dummy runner just being a little bit too tight. And Here we go with Alex May. charging forwards. With the gas. And he's just brought down. Tackle release move. Beautiful work to get that hand on the ball and bring the man down. Off your feet, yeah, you got Very unlucky, yeah, Gone to ground and then tried to push that ball up and ends up in the penalty. And now an opportunity for Rams brought down by the collar. Got to be careful here. Ooh. And a huge hit off the ball from um, Patrick Wisner there. Yeah, late tackle, I think that is. It's coming in. And it's going to be a yellow card. Oh dear. It might have looked quite impressive on camera, but as we know, you're not going to get away with anything in this tournament with the eagle eyes of these referees. Yeah, you've got three pairs of eyes on you here. Thank you. All three talking about that tackle no doubt and helping the Good referee hands. lovely offload through there and it's going to lead to their second try here for Rams yeah. beautiful work looks for anyone's money like he's been dragged down in the tackle into touch but gets that offload away and allows for their second try yeah great work down the flank here uh, from Rams really exploiting the space um, and kind of quickly exploiting the space as well with that yellow card. Just being able to work the ball wide where that man would have been. Um, and we go into half time here with Rams with a two score lead. Yeah, we watch here, the replay tries to just get that a little bit so nearly in touch, gets it off road away. Perfect timing. And that little stutter from the Rams 10 just allows him that bit more space to be able to career down the flank. So it does, and that takes well, us to half time then here. Great work from both sides, but it is Ram at the moment that have just taken that advantage, okay. taking the depleted red and blue coat side. And it is Rams who have the lead here 14 points yeah. to nil Ready? at half time. Let's go, please. Let's go, please. 
Who got ball? <laughs> so, uh, Mike, ready? About to get underway yeah. again here for the second Captain. half. Say, Rams, the stronger of the two sides in the first half, but it is running blue coats who kick off from right to left on your screens. Ooh. Rounds aside, put boot to ball and then straight Leave away. And it is a strong charge forwards on despite every attempt. Oh, uh, it's a knock on first. Oh. It's going to knock on first. Goodness what a way me. To, what a way. What a way Let's to look at the it. replay. The Taken well from the kick off, a lovely ball. kick through and immediately charging forwards. Another little dink through. The ball just doesn't quite carry enough attempt from Bluecoats there to get oh. the kick in. Oh, and actually has ended up tripping the man there. Right. And that's what's led to the knock on, I think, on Six. the floor. And then knocked it on as he put it down over the line as well. Mm. That's, no, a, just that's a difficult one. You're only going to see that with our slow mo. So. Yeah. Unfortunately, our referees don't have that yet. <laughs> don't, don't have TMO this year, maybe next year. Yet is a key word. Good carrying out of the out of the five from uh, from Reading Blueco here again. Alex Ma Alex Main. No clear release and four. Uh, penalty awarded there. No clear release and four black, no uh, release. opportunity to get out of j jail here for Blueco. But they are brought down in the tackle. Another Second penalty. Pen. Another penalty for not rolling away this time. The same player. Take it off the knee. Down black ball. And they've just been <laughs> caught yeah. sleeping Middle. again. We've had it once already today. The yeah, ball has to come back. out of your hands, boys. Oh, I think on this time, he's even trying to take back. it off the knee, which take is... Oh, uh, right. You may be able to do it in under 12s, yeah. but perhaps not in under 18s at this sort of level. Um, yeah. And the referee, no sympathy at all. Straight away with a scrum, no chance mm. to take it again. But uh, you do hope that the boys at this level would be able to do that and right, it's led to a free kick as well so Rams an opportunity here now they haven't got much space on this near side but breaking through two tacklers the offload came through and now moving it across the field to the far side and it'll step back inside the offload oh a strong, massive massive offload there but it does find the green green grass brought down in the corner Still alive here for Rams, another and a, looping pass. And a massive shot there from Bluecoat. Again, they're really putting up their numbers in D here, but under the post, Rams go. Just escaped the, the oncoming rushing defenders and was allowed to slowly stride into the, uh, into the try line. And oh, just off the post there. I think it's still gone through as well. Yeah, the uh, sound of the whistle there confirms it from the referee as we watch here. A wide pass, and thought he might try and go around the outside there himself. Just back inside twice, and great evasion from the yeah. uh, from the Rams pass. number four. I think it is there. Do you mean? Okay. <coughs> yeah, when you ready? And Rams will have the kickoff again. Up we go. Ooh. Some advantage. And just a fumble off the kickoff there from running blue coat again. Yeah, the pressure coming in from Rams there definitely would have had a factor in his mind in terms of receiving that kickoff. Yep. Number eight, always upright. High tackle on the five. Yeah, always upright, says the referee, so it's a clear high tackle. No mitigation to be applied. And so Rams. far, Rams just <laughs> edging it in this local derby, although. Oh, I really thought that Jack Brand was away there, but just bringing it back First knock on by Black. for Second a knock on. Ah, uh, so there we go. So sorry, she's gone blue, sorry. A little uh, knock, on, knock on there. First knock on was by Rams, but the second one just before they picked it up and managed to try and.
break away the there. The second knock on did come in from Reading Blue Coat, so it will be a scrum. But to the Blue Coats. Keep that gap, please. Crunch! Bind! Set! Ball spills out the back and moving inside and lovely little offload there and trying to find the space. This is Good properly... support this time from Blue Coat. And again, moving forward, more support once again, a strong carry forwards. Ball still moving, the referee <laughs> having to tiptoe out of the way there. Strong carry again from Alex Main. And, uh, Hands on the floor. Oh, and it oh, Donald's unlucky. turn over there, but hands gone onto the floor before they have got into the ball, so therefore it's a penalty to any blue coats. That's a huge shot from Rams and D there. Trying to use the footwork here, ready blue coat, and not working well for them at the moment in the near side. They try to go down the blind now, getting uh, five metres forward. Oh, hard just coming into that contact area not upright on. has really not helped, but it has been knocked on now by Rams. Ready, blue coat still with possession. Got it wrong. Number 10, black, not rolling. Tight angle, meaning that the uh, kick comes to the side of the posts. Crucial points that Reading Bluecoat needed there. Mm. Nice carry there from uh, Patrick Weisner, having been booked already this game, coming on Thank and you. making it, coming back off the out of the sim bin and making an impact. And um, Jack Brand will kick off here into the sky. Good take from Rams. Just struggling to put this uh, this unit from Rams down. Ball's, Ball's just come out. That's a good scrag tackle from, from Bluecoat again. But the spaces are opening up quite quickly. Good feet there from the Rams. <laughs> Here we go. Ball's being looped wide. They do have the numbers for it. He's chosen to go inside by himself. Great feet. And a good little offload to send his mate into the try line. And the Blue Coats players diving all over the place to try and make those tackles. You can just see they're absolutely knackered out there. 14 minutes of rugby doesn't seem like much, but goodness me, when there's seven men on a pitch the size you normally play 15, trust me, it is tough. Mm. And uh, we just see the uh, try light here. Great <laughs> bit of hands and uh, footwork from Rams and then just an easy walk in underneath the post. Fantastic play. Rams come out of the victor there in that local derby, uh, 28 to five. What? Blue coat put up a fight, fight, but it wasn't enough. Welcome back here. We now have Worth versus Bishop Wordsworth. 
and um, seems to be coming out hot and heavy. Here we go. Now, Bishop Wordsworth just working the ball wide here. Oh, slightly past the rate. Good footwork into this touchline here. And the ball's just come out of the hands here. And it will be a worth put in at this line out. See if, just a platform to see if they can capitalize on this defense here. Good lift and a good dispatch from the nine. Here we go, Worth working the ball wide. And a great tackle from Bishop Worth, but a good, good offload down the flank. Here we go. Just stopped outside the five. Worth working the ball out again into the middle of the pitch. Good hands. And a good handoff down here in the corner. Slowly being dragged just short of the try line. Worth choosing to come back inside. The try line is there. Oh, but the ball's just been knocked on. Fantastic play from Worth to get down into this corner. Just very unlucky to come in here and the ball's just been knocked on. So we're gonna have a scrum with the Bishop Wordsworth put in on their own five meter line. Here we go. Bishop Wordsworth put in here. And the ball's come drib the ball's come dribbling out. It's a long, loopy ball inside their own try line. Can he beat him on the outside? No. Nope. Chooses to come back inside. Oh, it's a fantastic bit of footwork. And the offload just comes scrawling out. Again, another long loopy ball trying to get out of their own their own uh, end zone here. But here we go with the wheels on the outside. He's passed the halfway and the chase has stopped. What a piece of individual brilliance there from the Bishop Wordsworth number number nine. Just had that gas to get out on the outside. But slightly risky play there from Bishop Wordsworth. Chucking long balls inside their own five meter line. And finally got it out to number nine on the wing. Uh, and that allowed them to use his gas on the outside. Here we go, the kickoff from Bishop Wordsworth. And the ball just bouncing around in the Worth half. Worth have dived on it though. Oh, and it's a knock on. Bishop Wordsworth finding joy in the Worth half again. So it will be a put in in a dangerous position inside the Worth 22. Good push from Worth there, causing a bit of disruption in the scrum. And it's just a knock on there with a Worth put in. Fantastic effort from the boys in the scrum there to, when when it mattered, just just push the, boy, push the um, Bishop Wordsworth, boys, off the ball. <laughs> Have another scrum here. Again, quite messy. Worth working the ball wide. Then pulling out, going back in the other way. Good carry and good tackle. <laughs> 
And a, a scrag on the nine there. Oh, and the Worth have found a pocket of space here. And it's just a high tackle there from the Bishop Wordsworth defence. Now Worth can go if they use the ball quickly. And a nice little switch on the edge there. Oh, and they've just found a pocket of space. But the, again, the, the offline doesn't quite come off. Worth working the ball again down the outside. And, uh, sorry about that. Bishop Wordsworth storming down this left-hand side with a brilliant try there. Back into this game, or back on top in this game even, sorry. Here we go, number nine for Bishop Wordsworth, just... Sinking the kick as well. Fantastic play there. But yeah, they just turn over there. The offload didn't quite come off. And uh, Bishop Wordsworth were allowed to go from there. Just a cheeky pick. And it's the number nine again with the gas down the sideline. Here's the high kickoff. And the ball just dribbles out of play. Worth have been building something, it, much much similar to their last game. They are building something. But they just can't quite capitalise in that in that final pass. Whereas Bishop Wordsworth, with the gas on the outside, have been able to really push on in this game. But we have a Worth line out here. And they choose to go to the back. But unfortunately, the ball is not straight off the throw. And that will be a turnover. As you see, the floodlights are slowly coming on here as we get into the later evening. And another good scrum from Worth, really making the most out of these opposition scrums. They've managed to turn the ball over again. Ball dribbles out into... And the referee is given a penalty to Worth. Quick hands, working the ball out wide. Coming back inside. Worth looking very promising here. <laughs> Moving the ball blind again. Good hands on the touchline there. Worth building and building into this Bishop Wordsworth. Bishop Wordsworth back being able to steal the ball back though. Ooh, and an inventive touch, inventive touch on the ball, but it's worked out. Now, now the winger on this side, number 12. And he's got a man with him. Just playing with the ball. That pass, that pass is a bit awry, but... And they've chosen to put the ball out and send us into the half. Bishop Wordsworth on top here. 14-0 up, two tries in. Worth building slowly, but not being able to capitalise. Bishop Wordsworth, 14, worth nil.
and the referee has Left or right. called the half time Let's go, guys. over. Worth a bit slow to come come back into play. Still getting instructions from their coming your way, Chris. From their staff. Bishop Wordsworth to kick off for us here. Been a really exciting game so far. Worth just not okay. being able to capitalise in that last bit. And again, we see another team who have been penalised for blue. having a man in front of the ball. And we get another free kick, which is a, a very good platform for Worth to play off. And he's the Worth man has spotted some base through the middle here with a very strong carry. Little offload out to his teammate. And again, Worth just spotting these little gaps of space in between in the middle of the pitch. Good feet there, but brought down by the Bishop Wordsworth man. Oh, and the ball's just been knocked on. Not quite. Out wide again. We are coming in looking for a switch. Seven blue. And another worth penalty. Offside Bishop Wordsworth. Number seven. Sorry, come on your watch. We're here, fellas. Let's go. Let's go, yellow. Mark's here. And they have chosen to scrum. Really good. Step up, please, Blue. Crouch! Bind! Set! Here we go. Bishop Wordsworth put in at the scrum here. Can they get out of their own 22? Ball comes out. It's Tunnel to the winger. Same way. <laughs> Tunnel. No, no, because we haven't got 1.5, okay? We're. Yeah. And it's a scrum penalty. Here. Up here. Yeah, got it. Just hold. Four Bishop Wordsworth again. Okay. Another Cross. opportunity Bind. for them to get out. Set. Pulls out. Here we go. And again, that is a knock-on from Bishop Wordsworth in their own in their own five-meter line, basically, or just Crouch. off, actually. Bind. And Worth Set. could be no able to capitalise here with Leave men nine. on both sides of the ball. Oh, the ball's just dribbled out again. Good feet to get out of the situation. Worth just holding the ball in the middle of the pitch. Spotted a gap in the middle, and that's great feet and a great try for Worth to get back into this game. Fantastic work way, from the Worth just outside man. The post. Just spotted that little gap of space in, in between the in between the Bishop Wordsworth defenders under. and the ball has just gone under the uh, the crossbar there. That might be quite important. Ball's just dribbled out. No conversion. Absolutely come from nothing. Spots a little gap of space. Great feet in and out underneath the post. Well, that misconversion could be the decider. Ball up into the sky here. Well taken for Bishop Wordsworth. Now shipped out. Got a man on the outside here. Chooses to come back in. Middle of the pitch now, Bishop Wordsworth. Using that ball, put, chooses to put a boot on it. Worth other man covering. Oh, but the ball's got out of his hands. And again. Knock on as he went to gather it. You'll play, yep. On the blue line. Let's go, Blues. One more, please, fellas. Come on. <coughs> yeah. Here we go. Worth putting at the scrum inside their own half. Set. Big scrum from Bishop Wordsworth, but it's just wheeled a yeah, tiny bit. 
Yellow hooker. Yellow hooker, I need your foot back. Don't leave it out. On the blue. Crouch. Here we go. Five. Worth putting again. Set. To get out of their own half. Good clean ball out of the scrum. Here's an opportunity for a danger man for Worth. Plays the ball. Little delay on the, on the step. Good feet. Finds a little way through. Comes back inside, offloads. Ooh. Ball's gone backwards. For Worth, still trying to play out. And now going back to the blind side. Penalty to Worth. <laughs> Just coming back this way now. Into the try scorer's hands. Good, good hands. Good, good hand off as well. Strong carry. Almost being pushed into touch though. Ball comes out for Wur. Uh, still working in their own half here. Just trying to work away round this Bishop Wordsworth defence. Good feet again. Just retaining the ball. Bishop Wordsworth know they can slow this up and, and, and D for the rest of the game. They have the time and score on their side, but that's a fantastic offload in there. And that's unlucky for Worth. Just a little knock on in the tackle. Let's go, please. Wasn't here, able yellow. to hold the ball. Uh, again, we'll say that ball is hard to deal with today. It's, although it's stopped raining, it's very Let's still, go, it's one, one, quite more. slippy. You just need to watch yourself as you're going into contact Let's with go. the ball today. Anyway, we have a Bishop Wordsworth putting at the scrum here, just on the right-hand side of the halfway line. Set. Good scrum from Bishop Wordsworth. Ball comes out. Big pass. And more men coming over. Here we go. Good carry, good intent on that. And a little dummy inside. Tries to go blind. Ball comes out again. Number six, Bishop Wordsworth. Good little offload there. Good handoff again. Bishop Wordsworth really putting in the hard work here in attack, really carrying with intent. Winger coming off his wing. Now the danger man for Bishop Wordsworth, number nine, running at the defence. Can he figure a way out? And he's just gone into touch there. And that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, Bishop Wordsworth, 14, worth five. A great effort from Bishop Wordsworth. Just not enough from Worth today. Although they had a bit of fight back in the in the second half, just wasn't enough. Yes, sir. Well done, boys. Good game. Cheers, boys. Cheers, boys. Thank you. So the next game here then, Gordons versus Reading Rams. Rams will be kicking off from right to left on your screens with the uh, black and blue strip with the white sleeves. Gordons in the black and green 
as the referee gets us underway. Oh, and pressure came in there from Rams that meant that Gordon's fumbled the ball there on the end of that yeah. kick. Rams line out. Oh, it's uh, not taken well at the top, and Gordon's moved the ball out. Trying to find some space, but the pass goes forwards. And it will be a scrum to Rams, a let off there for the Rams. Fine, properly. Fine, fine, properly. Crouch! Referee just reminding there that Monty bind. clean and proper bind on both sides there in the scrum. Ball pops out the back and it's good pressure from the nine from Gordon's. The kick gets blocked and up into the air and it's Away. Rams that come back down with it. Trying to find space on that far side but cuts back inside and Strong tackle there. No, too late. By Hefferman. Another strong tackle by Heffernan, but the ball's still alive. The kick over the top now by Rams. But too much on it, and it does bounce out and into touch. Quick line out taken now by Gordons. Trying to exploit some space here and charging forwards. Lovely pop back inside. A little dig through with the boots. Cleared up though by Rams. Lovely little bit to play through Rob and Purnell there, but it hasn't come off for Gordon's. And uh, the attempt at the turnover unsuccessful, penalty given away, no rolling away from the tackler. So Rams with the penalty and now with the ball. Knock on there. We will come back for a Scrum to Gordon's. <laughs> the referee say Dr. Ben Moore. Going all the way down from Liverpool just for this tournament. <laughs> Gordon's in absolutely no rush to get that yeah, ball back to Rams. So, <laughs> crouch, bind, scrum opportunity Set. for Gordon's. Ball comes out, and uh, despite the pressure from the nine from Rams, the ball is distributed and coming forward was Rob, and the ball has been offloaded. Out now, moving into this wide space, Gordon. Charges forwards. Oh, great work. To get underneath the sticks to make that conversion. All the better. Beautiful work down this near side. The initial carry by Zuko Rob. Goals worth to finish off, and the conversion is successful. So look at the replay hit. Oh just charging forwards, and it just goes through the hands of Saunders, drawing in that defender nicely, and then just some hard running by Goldsworth. Get underneath the sticks. Kick lofted high and attempted to try and stop it there and set it up with a knock on by Gordon's and it'll be a score advantage to Rams. Advantage over. And Rams up to kick here and Gordon's do have a man back, although the ball does not go cleanly into his hands. Allows Rams to get up and put the pressure on. Although shrugs off that first tackler. Breaks through the second tackle, but the offload doesn't quite go to hand. Ball again, the ball coming out loose once again from 
Gordon's here off the boot of Baldwin. Trying to face him, find some space forwards. A little tap off the boot by Zuko Rob, and he does get that ball down underneath the sticks. For Gordon's second try. Oh, the conversion goes under. You can see the good work here. A strong carry forward initially. That's another replay of the previous try. Lofted high and short, opted to tap back with the ensuing defenders and cleared up well by Rams here. Tackle! Gordon's keeping that defensive pressure on here. They have the up on the scoreboard, but it's a breakaway here from Rams. Cover coming across from Gordon's great tackle by Slate. Pressure still coming in here from Gordon's. Oh, Goldsworth has left in his own to defend the short side hit. Good tackle by Povey, but the offload was able to get away. Oh, and the tackle is slipped off and scored in the corner. Oh, goodness me. Great work to cover across there from... Ben Sherry, but unfortunately unable to bring the man to ground before the line, and the try is scored. <coughs> and the strike is just pulled to the right-hand side, and that does take us to half-time. But we look here, it's that big offload going halfway across the field and just trying to move that ball into the space here. Ball has been brought across and is scored in the corner. So carrying forwards there, looking to see the space they have in front of them. Nice decision to cut inside and eat up all that space. And just covering coming across there from Noah Slay, but unable to bring the man down. So half time then. And Gordons have taken a, a little hit at the end there, but they still are in the lead. 12 points to five over Rams. Your responsibility to kick off. So Ready? here we go, second half about to get underway here. Gordon's kicking off from right to left on your screens, kick hoisted high and pinpoint just over the 10 meter line. Oh, and yeah. it is a penalty. Oh. That was a fantastic take by, the, uh, by the Boobie. Boobie and, um, <laughs> decided to discard the boot. He's going to play with a, with, in, the, in a sock. Uh, it's a, yeah. a strong decision, considering they had the penalty, but. That is interesting from uh, from Theo Peavy, the number four there. Especially but. with the conditions here, but <laughs> oh. nonetheless, it may not matter. He's come to retrieve his boot because oh. his teammate, oh, he's going to score. Yes, he is. Fantastic try. <laughs> Beautiful work. Strong carry forward. A spin and dive to get the ball down over the line. And I think that's James Goldsworth again. Until he uh, moves a little bit further up the pitch, and I can see the number on the back. I 
I think yeah, it, it was. You can tell by the purple boots. They add some flair, apparently. <laughs> the extras added as well, so extending the lead out even further here. Pleased to say that the uh, stray boot has been retrieved as well. <laughs> Great bit of footwork and power there to just put the ball, get the ball down underneath the post. Uh, really stakes Gordon's claim in this game after that uh, conceding try in the end of the first half. And again, strong pressure on from Gordon's has forced the knock on there from Rams. And now we also see the downpour is slowly okay? coming back, which, I mean... We're not too fussed about underneath the tent, but <laughs> the players might be. Yeah, it's definitely, we've had a bit of a period here where the pitch has been able to dry out somewhat and the uh, play's been slightly Shit. easier, but the rain comes back once again. Clean ball out the back for Gordon's and they move it out to the line, a little step through and break it through the first tackle. Brought down by two men in the end. Ball comes out cleanly and another tackle missed, the second. Breaking That's a through. fantastic run from Gordon's here. Nearly broke through three tackles there. Moving the ball out to this near side now. Trying to find some space on the outside, but instead Hefferman cuts back in. Move! And a penalty, penalty. to yeah. Gordon's. Not rolling away. It's clear and obvious. There, there. It's another opportunity for a score here. Can they get in? Quick tap the... and let's go again from Gordon's. Try to find some space on that far side. Darts through the middle. Oh, lovely hands. Oh. Very unlucky from Tom, Tom Baldwin there. Just great bit of footwork to get in. And then the hands don't quite come off in the end. With some lovely quick hands, despite the uh, oncoming defenders, but just unable to receive that pass cleanly. And it results in the knock on and the subsequent scrum. If you can quite hear it as well, this Gordon's crowd are still out in full force with the drums, supporting their school all the way through. Yeah, despite the rain, the umbrellas have popped back up along the touchline here. Cheers, yeah, every good rugby mother or father should have an umbrella in the car. Crouch! Right of passage, isn't it? Bind! Set! So a defensive scrum here inside their 22 for Rams. Pressure on. <laughs> Oh. And a great shove from Gordon's there, winning the scrum penalty back. Allowing from Gordon's keeping on that pressure, and now they're going to keep the finger on the pulse hit. Can they make more of an indent on the scoreboard and push their lead up that little bit further? Oh, that's a good bit of attention. Breaking through the gap. Great take, to though. Scoop it up. Oh, that was a uh, nice pass. Just ended up down by the feet, unfortunately. And also forward, says the referee as well. So it will be a, a scrub. As, uh, yeah, fine. Just ball slips out of the hand there. And it's very unlucky because I think if he gets the pass away, he's almost in for a, for a whole length of the pitch try. Yeah, certainly Crouch. had a good opportunity there, just unable to. And Bind. again, this rain impacting Set. the play here, unfortunately. Oh, and the ball has come out. And round the blind side we go. Fantastic. Gordon's getting themselves back on the scoreboard once again. That's number four for Gordon's now. And they're really putting their foot down in a statement in this game. Showed some absolutely yeah, Roger, unbelievable mate. footwork and power yeah. to get into all these tries. Yeah, and it's Ben Sherry that has gone down that blind side and he's going to uh, attempt to convert his own try here. A nice try caught the boot, but it has just slipped okay. down to the right-hand side of the upright, so unable to extend their lead any further. Very interesting to see uh, the very mixed 
amount of year of age groups in this Gordon's team. Yeah, it's they've got a good bit of wealth from different age groups here, haven't they? It's um, a few lads in there as well who've uh, played within the Quinns Academy, as you'd expect. Gordon's obviously being the a school for uh, oh, the Quins. Oh, Quins. And here we go, here's the big man back again, Jed Saunders. Oh. Score advantage. That is unlucky. Just again, ball slipping away from, from him in the tackle. Move. But now Rams have an opportunity. Ooh. Good bit of invention Ooh. there, but very Not unlucky. Bad. And we'll come back for the penalty. Yeah, just again, that yeah. rain coming in, playing its part. It's not a heavy rain at the moment. It is a it is a light, but uh, strong. Time's nearly dead. Drizzle. <laughs> yeah. You know when you're British when you have many many, many ways words. to describe the rain. Blue ball. There will be a round scrum. Pay, pay attention, and there won't be an in issue. Their own. <laughs> Crouch. <laughs> and the referee just reminded the players that. Set. Pay attention, it won't be an issue about who's going to take this scrum. You do hear that quite a lot in school, to be fair. Lou said, mate, yeah. Lou said, down. You hear it personally, or? No, no. I've sort of grown out of that, I think, now. <laughs> but, uh, Gordon's infringing at the scrum and giving away the penalty, and the ball going to Rams. Not much they can do in this game now. It's beyond them, unfortunately. Tackle! Now the clock is in the red. They certainly can uh, do something for their pride here and try to charge forward, but they... This Gordon's, tackle here. Not done. Gordon's defense is absolutely on top. And there we go. <laughs> An absolutely astounding victory for Gordon's again. Um, but coming out 24-5 20, victors against this Rams team. Gordon's today looking very strong. Um, unlucky for Rams, just wasn't enough firepower to get down into that Gordon's half and put some points on the board. Gordon's 24, Rams 5. And here we go. Yeah. Wellington are coming up against Bishop Wordsworth. Uh, We've know. had a tough run today. Um, Wellington no more second, so sorry. easing through. Um, but this should okay. be a good matchup. Yeah. Bishop Wordsworth <laughs> definitely trying to cause an upset. Wellington kick off up into the sky. And oh. Very good take and stopping it from going out. That was fantastic piece of play from Wellington there. And they move the ball wide now. Come back inside, great bit of footwork and gas. Here we go. And that is unreal in the first, how long, I, I can't see the clock at the moment, but in the first 17 seconds of play, Wellington have ran the pitch and scored with a great bit of footwork and gas. To be fair, this all, all stems off of Check, the kickoff sorry. with that fantastic take by the Wellington winger, allowing you. Wellington to come yeah. back inside, and then be, and then the Wellington player being able to pick yeah. off 
the broken field and uses pace to go underneath the post. We'll have yeah. another Wellington kickoff here. High and short again. Good Back challenge from the Bishop Wordsworth. Unluckily, unlucky. They have gone Back is off, Lee. straight out. Goal ball. <laughs> Defensive here, please. Here, please. Yeah. Just hold till they've. Wait. Okay. Here we go. Wellington on the ball Stay here. Back. Advantage over. Now Wellington with a chance. Fakes the dummy switch. Goes down this right hand side. Ball gets popped up. Wellington go blind again. Just trying out, testing out Bishop Wordsworth, see whether defence is coping or not. And a little offload. Scrum advantage. No. Just bring it back. Second yellow. Scrum gold. For a scrum Wellington. First knock on my blue. Guys here, please. And Josh Blackburn is the referee for this game. Just being showed there. Great! And we're about to restart here with a Wellington put in. Yeah, yeah Josh comes way down from uh, Norwich today. Nine offside. And another Wellington penalty, and they could advance here, coming down out into this wide channel. Lovely drift defence here. Uh, and and uh, it has uh, swallowed them up. Good feet from the Wellington man, jinking oh. his way onto the try line. Great feet there from the Wellington man. Unluckily, the Bromsgrove defence just wasn't enough for that electric bit of footwork. Um, right and they will attempt, attempt to convert now, Wellington. And it's just a bit wayward, unluckily. Yeah. You've gone past the ball, so you've got to stay behind the ball. Um. <laughs> I went for it. Please Freddie just ball, went please. straight into the thing. <laughs> it's just lovely footwork there to keep moving through and getting the space. Mm -hmm. Wellington to kick off again here. Down off, blue. into this Bromsgrove team. Charlie Pan couldn't down, quite take Got that blue. kick off there. Blue mark here. So now it'll be a Wellington line out. Yeah. That was really good timing last time. Hold well on. Okay, drop for me. Drop for me. Okay, hold. Let's go, guys. Uh, the substitution's coming in here for Wellington College and. Never straight. No, no, sorry, I didn't oh, see no, the advantage. But come. it was never straight, straight, never straight there. there. I didn't see the advantage come. Option scrum uh, line. No, no, no. Option scrum line. Now. Worst word. <laughs> we'll take the ball back there. <laughs> and the uh, scrum option taken Let's off go, the guys. top of the line. Out. Not straight. Not straight. So. Uh... Great. Bind. Ball in the Bishop Wordsworth nine's hands here. Early. They get the scrum penalty. Free kick, oh, free kick comes here. Leave early leave shove there, I think, from Wellington College. And it's a little dance through and a kick in behind as the ball bounces, but it is covered well by Wellington College. Good support there as well on the chase back. And now they're looking to exploit the space themselves on that far side. Great bit of gas on this outside here. Can Bishop Wordsworth deal with it? Can they get back in time? <laughs> just some, just absolutely scything through this broken field here this Wellington man. Goodness me, made about 50 metres up the pitch there from the 22 to the other 22. Great work as the ball just goes a little bit too high there, decides to put boot to ball. Kicks in behind, good chase back from Bishop's Wordworth here. Gothard getting down onto the floor and scooping up that ball and Never making tackles. sure it's nice and safe. Hi. And it forces the high tackle in the end as well. 
Fantastic work there from Gothard, just being able to clear up all the mess. And he's going to go off on his bike now and have a go. Oh, oh, lucky. lucky just slipping out the hands there again, that one-handed, tuck it under your armpit. And here comes out. Wellington again, here we go. Great offload there. New advantage. Oh, the knock on by Wellington this Run, time. Ball looped over the top and trying to find that space on the far side now. Going forward again, brought down to ground, and Loflo comes through. Loflo to keep it alive once again, charging forwards. 11, high tackle. A penalty for the high tackle. Second one, guys, keep them down. Yeah, reminded from the referee there, that's two in a row from Welly. They've got to be careful here with the high tackles. Obviously, it. Decent way into the season now with the new tackle height laws and reaching through one tackle is trying to direct his support players where to go. Fantastic <laughs> offloads there. Callum Logan could be in here. Oh, it's brilliant defence from Wellington as always. Goes for the crossfield kick. Oh, it's going to find the grass. It this is could picked be up. try of the day here. Oh. So let's see. I don't think this is a try. This looks like maybe a penalty. I think it might be a penalty. Great invention from uh, Bishop Wordsworth. There. Oh no! Just pulled into gold. Just so come down. Goal ball. So it's a knock yeah. on by Bishop Wordsworth first. Half time. And it does bring us to half time. Goodness me! A little bit of that drama at the end here, trying to work out what's going on that far side. But it is Wellington College that are strong in this first half. They have a 12 points to nil lead over Bishop's Wordsworth. And we've just seen another victim of the in front kickoff today. Um, that is becoming all the more. Move back, move back, move back. Thank when, you, Oswald. When, when will they yeah, learn it? Exactly. It's, uh, it's, it always happens yeah. coming back into seven season, but goodness me. Uh, we've had quite a few today, and the referees have been really hot on it. And uh, now, which is worth worth it, trying to start off this second half with a bit of a bang hit. Finding oh, space here. Fantastic offload. offload. Oh, goodness me. And here Oaks goes. to kick over the top. Oh. Thank you, yes, it's come oh. down. Oh, and it was <laughs> carried back over by, carried back by Wellington College, so it will be Sorry. a scrum to Bishop's Wordsworth. Fantastic bit of offloading there from uh, Bishop Wordsworth just to get down this flank. Um, but yeah. Wellington carrying it over, giving 
Wordsworth, another opportunity to get some points go, on the board in this game and cause an upset to the Wellington Wait, side, go, who are, again, reigning champions and oh, do and not want to step okay. up here. Crunch. No, but this is a cracking game of rugby, and uh, say it's Wellington at the moment that are holding out Set. strong, but a great attacking opportunity here. Go, and a free kick as well. <coughs> free kick comes in, and they initially went short. Sir, sir, can we just talk? No, 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 no. no. You haven't explained each Number 11, you are in front of his head. Here you can go, please. And we have a oh, yellow card. Yeah. yeah. Not. <laughs> Move back. No. Well, they tried the question. It's uh, asking if it would be a penalty try there, but it's not. Um, just being offside isn't warranted in the first place, but it has closed down the options. So they do have an opportunity now, and they do take it. Henry Knight goes over. Good chat now. It's not a penalty. You're clearly pushing. No, no. You're clearly pushing before and the ball in, okay? Can Bishop Wordsworth, who are only one try down yeah. and a, a one converted try down now, take control of this game? Beautiful strike, and the flag is raised from the assistant. And uh, they are now five points behind. Just see here, just a little dummy in a step on the outside and able to get over the line. Beautiful work to get the conversion as well from not an easy angle. But Wellington won't take this lightly. They will make sure they hit back with a bang despite being down a man. There we go. Wellington on the counter. Using that pace. Oh. The switch is... Oh! oh. oh and he's just, just running to touch, in touch, there. touch Unlucky. Beautiful little dummy switch on the outside as we have, have a look here. Defensive. Just see you later. And uh, doesn't quite oh, fall the for the slow-mo here and... Oh, oh just yes, about, the left foot. Just about the left foot. <laughs> Five margins, eh? Guys, how many? Two? Two, drop please. <laughs> drop please. Make sure you're in the line Even out. our the producer is in, loving that in. there. <laughs> a beautiful slow-mo. <laughs> No we get excited channel. by the rugby. They get excited by some lovely no camera work. Channel. Yeah. It's free kick. No one in the channel. Can't beat it. <laughs> to be free kick and here from the, no the line out. <laughs> and uh, Vicious Wordsworth with the opportunity here. Just how do you remind you have to take it on the 15? Oh, and a cut back inside. You can see that was always an option. Oh, and two missed tackles here. Yeah. I'm fantastic. Off, load off the floor, keeping that ball alive. Oh. And okay. I've got a scrum advantage for knock on. Stay back. Here go Wellington. Okay, Just turn the ball over after that slight knock on in the tackle. And now they can you know, go wide with, a, with the gas. Great feet again. And he's broken a couple of tackles. I think he might yeah, have. The just penalty had to be uh, awarded there as a high tackle. Pay number. Um, number. But it was okay, a knock on, so that's why the penalty had to be awarded. Are, are and the uh, yellow card is now back on for yes. Wellington, so back up to the full complement. <laughs> Ball is brought to this near side here, and uh, again, a little dummy switch coming into play, but Happy with that. dragged down by the shirt. Now, Wellington breaching into the Bishop's half. Oh, and tries to go straight through the middle and trucks off the tackler. Fantastic hand off oh. there. Straight under the post for an easy walk in. Just spotted a little gap, a little tiny gap in that Bishop Wordsworth defence. As we get a lovely replay of the post there. <laughs> but have a look here. Just sees a little gap which he can go. Unlucky Charlie Padden with the tackle. Yeah, you can just see both both men in front of him, both shoulders facing in opposite directions. So mm. to turn back in and make that tackle, both of them are going to have to do some strong work. So easy to try and break through, and it's exactly what they do. Yeah. And uh, Wellington hit back. That's ten. Oh, it was left there, uh, but here we oh, go. An opportunity here for Bishops. Oh, and it's just, just seemed to have been on knocked on. From Garfard. Oh. Very unlucky. Here? So difficult. He did such good work, but just unable to keep his hands on the ball there. Mm. 
Okay. Josh Garthard has been very impressive today. <laughs> Electric feet throughout the games. Probably been Bishop Wordsworth's Crunch. most exciting player. Bind! Uh, certainly, and now it's uh, right, come up. their turn to defend. Both go early, hold the gap on bind before we set, okay? Both people on this Referee side. Referee just again. laying down the rules at scrum time here. Crunch! Bind! Had a few issues in the first half set. with that. Uh, Wellington at scrum time. That one comes out cleanly, so we're able to play. <laughs> Very <laughs> clean ball from Wellington, and they're coming quickly on the counter attack here. It's just, just colliding past up. all Good. of those players, and they're keeping that ball hands. alive. Quick hands is coming out, cuts back inside. Oh, goodness me. There was not much that Bishop's Wordsworth could do there. That is just pure class from Wellington College. As we were saying earlier in the day, Tom, that really shows how uh, absolutely destructive a scrum in, in the uh, off the side of the park can be. Just able to, and then they play the dummy switch in the middle of the pitch, come round, try time. Yeah, absolute mayhem caused there, and. That secures the win then for Wellington over Bishop's Wordsworth. It's a little bit of a fumble underneath after us, but a strong win there in the end for Wellington College. It does, it does, it? Disappointing one, Bishop's Wordsworth. They did so much right, but in the end, Wellington College really showed their class. Coming out victors here, 26 points to seven. Just waiting for the comms, just wait. I can hardly see you, Dean. Can you light yourself up? It's all that suntan cream you've got on. <laughs> he's, he's been tanning oh, too well. Me. Okay, ready, guys? <laughs> Heads on. Here's Dougal Chapman me, mate. cracking the jokes to his assistants before we Behind kick him. off. <laughs> <laughs> it is Brighton College. <laughs> Against Reading Blue Coat. Knock on. Playing Martin's. Just see what happens. Good Bartage attempt to take over. it there. And... No, nope, we'll come back. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> That's an unlucky one from just about to call advantage over. Dower there, just calling advantage off. over as they knock on, so decides, you know what, let's bring it back, it's the right thing to do. And yeah, Find I agree, let's bring please. it back for a scrum. Bind to your props, don't bind loop in, that's not binding correctly. That's not binding correctly, yeah, bind over the top properly, thank you. So, uh, just making Crouch. sure that the, uh, the binds bind. from the front row of either side are done correctly. Too early. Off you go. Play. Early from Brighton. Ooh, the uh, second blue time. coats get the opportunity, but then offside. it's knocked on, and then it's offside. Just a wasted Just opportunity here. there for blue, there blue coats. Gives Brighton a platform yeah. to play now. Yeah, 13. and that'll be a yellow card, I think. Wait, 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 wait. For the blue coats. Number okay, 13, now, Joshua yeah. Lerner. It is who okay. uh, sent his marching Always orders. <laughs> oh. Oh. Unlucky there, Brighton. There's a lovely line. Just couldn't get into the hands. It looked like a bit of a heavy pass. Yeah, advantage is over. 
Here we go. Out wide for Reading Blue Coat now. Still hey, man down. Hands on the floor. Leave it. Ooh. Hands on the floor. his own body weight there. <laughs> Here come Blue Coat again. Going down this right flank. Good double tackle Away from Brighton now, College there. No. Oh, picked up and, and gone down the blind side. Contact. Patrick Wisner, the big high boy, choosing go. to go down the blind. And on come Reading again. Stripped and knock on. With a, a sequence of penalties in the in the Brighton half. Right, okay. And now we have a scrum. Can Bluecoat capitalise here last and scrum. cause an upset Push to last year's runners up? I'm sure Brighton will not let it happen lightly, but <laughs> so far, up, looks like Bluecoat have come out the more fiery side. You can't scrum yeah, Certainly, they've and definitely come into this game fighting. I'm going to step straight back, yeah? And uh, Crouch. despite losing a man, they're still holding Set. strong at the moment. <laughs> Ball's out now. Ball comes out the back, and it's Bluecoat to try and go down this blind away, side here. Away, no. Hands on the floor first. Again, there Brighton College caught ten. with their hands now on the run. floor, not supporting Five. their own body Five. weight. Adding to the copious amounts of penalties, and here we go. That Ball's time works. Yeah. Just, that as time. I, just as I say it. We're going to play that. We're moving quick. And uh, now Ball's Brighton have a man on the outside who's got some gas on him. And the referees are keeping up with the play. Yeah, I've, I've been I've been asked to refer to this referee team as the golden oldies because uh, these are the uh, more senior of the crew, but these guys also more senior and experienced. Said earlier, Daryl Chapman, a uh, professional referee, refereed in the uh, and assistant refereed in the Premiership previously. It's like a fine wine, Tom. It, it's well, yes. <laughs> we'll, we'll give them that. We'll, we'll say that. Well, they certainly proved they've still got the pace there, keeping up yeah. with that breakaway try. So, fantastic breakaway from Brighton as well. Just really capitalise after defending about four or five penalties in a row from Bluecoat, and then going down the other end and scoring with a, a great display of pace. Playoff. Oh, great work for Brighton to tap that ball back. <coughs> They're going to go, oh, coming back inside now. Oh, it's a little good. dummy in that ball keeps alive again and lovely step to avoid the first tackle. Oh, oh and just knocked forwards. Just unlucky there with the, with the pop coming round the corner. And again, the ball is... It Mark? is not hard or oh, very hard to hold on to today Let's as we up, as if you've been watching the most of the day you will know up. yeah it is uh, very slippery out there and uh, rain keeps coming in and out Crouch. of uh, play here Bye. certainly the surface will be set nice and solid from a, a day's worth of rain mm. up the side up the side and it's a penalty or a free kick to Thank you, Mike. Reading Blue Coat here. Yeah, it was a was a penalty there. Just uh, Brighton driving up on this near side in the scrum. Away now. Thank you. Call coming in for the Can assistant the referee, fire, Mike Mulroy. Cut through. Through the middle of the run. They come and Back trying to find space again. The ball comes loose, but it's open no, play, so it's picked up by the Blue Coats. Oh, oh, see what happens. Just knocks it on. We'll come back for here. Unable to keep his hands on the ball there. Come back for the knock on. Another opportunity, just slipping away Please from Blue Coat here. They're nice doing some really great things, aren't they? They're just not able to keep hold of that ball. Excuse me. No, no. We need to speed this up. We need to speed these scrums and, uh, up. Joshua Lerner there, forgetting he needed to be involved in this scrum. So uh, quickly uh, mix away from Crouch. Up you come. This side of the field to the Fine. other. Set. Thank you. Very tight game so far. Not a lot of scores. Blue Coat holding their own. Brighton now going round the outside. Oh. Got some good gas on them here. Everybody happy with that? Round the yeah. outside, round the outside, as what famous the rapper once said. And they do score. Half time. 
Fantastic score there from Brighton well, actually, again no, using the whip. 25. Um, just absolutely displaying all the pace that they need to be able to win this game restart. and score points. Let's go. Yeah, the uh, conversion added as well. We can see here no support on this near side, but doesn't need it. Just uses the pace and gets around. Just Speed a little, up. a little show and go. Brings that ball on the inside, then on the out. Guys. See you later. And a kick off Happy again. To contact. Yep. Good take from the Brighton again. And it's gr great feet as well. Can they move the ball wide again here? Always backwards, Ooh. always backwards. This ball's just bobbling along the floor now. And here's the gas man again. Is he going to go down in the corner? I'm happy with that. Oh, Fantastic lovely, offload. Lovely support. Unfortunately, that is hard Blue Coats have just given up a little bit there. A few of the players just uh, waiting behind and allowed them to get that offload gentlemen. away and get the score. That brings us into half time there. That is Brighton College up by 21 points. Yeah, half time here as we watch that replay again. We just saw it goes a bit loose, but look, just like a pick up and turn. It's just the way they can explode with that pace. It's and the offload. Beautiful work. This number 11 for Brighton today has been absolutely if fantastic. If only we had a team if sheet. If only we had a team sheet, exactly. <laughs> Again, for, um, leaping back on Tom's call earlier, if you do know anyone from Brighton, please, can we have a team sheet? Especially the way they're playing, who knows, they can make it into some... Uh, make it all the way here at the moment. A lot of these teams could at the moment, so it'd be great to see these guys. But it is half-time, so... Brighton College with a strong lead here, 21 points to nil over Bleeding Reading Blue Coat. And here we are, back into it. The second half, Brighton versus Reading Bluecoat. Brighton with the ball again, working it very nicely in the middle of the pitch, now going wider. Got a man outside, great offload there. Does he have the gas on the outside? Yes, he does. He can walk in under the tri under the post. Fantastic try from Brighton again, just working the hands. Lovely, languid rugby. And being able to trot in under or almost underneath the sticks for another seven points. You just have a look here. Great hands. Just sticking the man. Oh no, this is. Great take again from Brighton College. Oh, fantastic feat. Here we go. Could this be try of the tournament here? What a try from the Brighton College men. Number five using dancing feet to step round most of the uh, Reading blue coat team. And a great receive off kickoff and then dancing through the whole team. Absolutely fantastic from the Brighton College man. And a whole seven points as well for Brighton. Here we go. 
just gets up really nicely above his man, takes the ball, shrugs off a few, great bit of footwork, great lovely side steps, in and out, and we're under the sticks. Are we clear now? Yeah, there's a ball. Time's off. Here we go. We need that ball off. And there is a rogue ball on the pitch. I think it's being cleared now. There we go. Now Brighton can kick back off. Game slightly getting away from Reading Bluecoat here as the tired legs start to set in. But they are still pursuing that, those all valuable points as they go wide. And a great line in there. Fantastic line. Good carrying as well. Came in the side, you. And there we go. The penalty the for, for Reading Bluecoat's hard work. Can they move the ball now? It's gone forward. Let's see what happens. Nothing there. Just unluckily lost forward there for Reading. As I said before, the game's slightly getting away from them, but they still have a few minutes left. We never know what can happen in the magic of sevens. Bind. Set. Pulls out. We're playing. Okay, I'm going to play. We'll see. <laughs> That's the advantage. And a, and a great set move from, from Brighton. Good feet on the outside. Here we go. Could Brighton be in for another score here? Working the ball. Oh, just slightly slipped out of the hands. Working the ball again, going wide. They've got a man outside here. Good offload again. Has he got the gas to get him through? He's got the offload though. Great cover tackle from Reading Bluecoat again, forward which forces a mistake. It's forward off the floor. <laughs> huh? Crouch, bind, set. Here we go. That's the second time. Up, move. Reading blue coat. No, no, three here. Um, yeah. Now able to take the ball up. Good offload there as well. Get away. Get on side. Now they can bring the ball out. Just lost forward, unluckily. For Reading, now Brighton can break. They have a broken field here. The ball with the try scorer. Great pop up through the legs there as he's going down. They boot the ball here. Is it going to work for Brighton? They've got a great chase on the kick. Fantastic try. try. Yep. Great kick, kick great from chase there, from Brighton College. <laughs> yep. Stop. Stop. And that is just fantastic from Brighton Changes. College. Really exploiting the backfield there. Are you all done? Time is back on. And they will kick off again. Unfortunately, that has not gone 10, so Reading Bluecoat will get the ball back. Came off. Came off a Brighton player before it went. Oh. Great kick from Reading Bluecoat there. And they could be in for, for a great score. Fantastic yeah, score from Reading Bluecoat. Sort of a consolation if you if you get my drift, but fantastic score. For Reading. Great little dink in here. 
Great invention from the from the blue coat boys. Can you really both shovel? From uh, number nine, Lucas Dance um, has just put an absolutely sublime kick in for Ethan Morgan Back on the way. First. And playing the ball on the floor. Blue coat have another penalty now. Save it Here up. we go. Play. You're not ten. You're not ten. Now play. Careering down this right hand side. Thank you. Finding a lot of joy on the blind side well. here. Of his feet. But what Brighton have won the ball back and will counter clinically. Here we go. Use the, oh, oh, very unlucky on the outside there. Just letting the ball get away from them, and that takes us to full time. Brighton absolutely doing wonders on the pitch here against Brenning Bluecoat, who had a lot of opportunity to capitalise but couldn't quite make it there. Brighton were ruthless. Brighton College 42, Reading Bluecoat 5. Here we go. Next up, we have Worth School versus Hayes. Should be a very interesting matchup here. Worth having a bit of a tough time today. Um, Hayes having a few good results and slowly getting into their games with a lot of exciting rugby. Worth to kick us off here. As the floodlights beam down in Woking. <laughs> Worth to kick off. And it is a penalty to Hayes to start off the game. And here we go. Hayes have a scroll. It is a worth putting in the middle of the pitch. Here we go. Fantastic opportunity to capitalise from this scrum. Can Worth use it? And the ball dribbles out of the scrum. Slight disarray, but they're going to use it wide, quite deep. Ball comes off the knee. Here we go, Hayes are in. The ball's come off, bounced off the knee, and Hayes are in for the try underneath the post. What a calamitous error there. Very unlucky for Worth. The ball just slipping and sliding all over the place. Comes off a stray knee, bounces up very kindly for the Hayes winger, who just is able to walk the ball into the into the try line. Yeah, it was really good work there, and the uh, conversion added as well as we look at the replay here. Ball shoots out the side. Initial work strong there, but it just uh, ball comes off the knee, and it's just snatched out there by the Hayes player, charging forwards. And he's able to get underneath the sticks. <laughs> Here we go, work down the sideline. 
Massive tackle Outside. there from the Hayes backwards, boys. Man. Ball's gone backwards, off of nine. Ten is brought down. Now, can Worth use the ball wide here? Hayes have come up. Just unlucky, the ball slipped out, managed to recover. Oh, great pressure on there from uh, Ollie Dimond to force the error. And the ball does go into touch, so it will be a line out to Hayes now. On the line. Here we go, it's a Hayes line Chase, out. What do you drop? What do you drop? It is uh, on, you Laws drop? with the throw in. Can they build on, on the seven points they've already had? Good chuck. Oh, just unable to keep the hands on it there from Matthews. That ball is still slippery out there. Mm. As uh, Hayes make a quick substitution, Valente is off. Onto your hooker, please, not your opposite prop. Onto your hooker. Crouch! I think he's been replaced, by, Ke replaced by Kieran Finlay. But Set! I don't quite see the number on the back. <laughs> Worth the play out now. Here we go. Balls just ran into that wide channel. Worth just resetting, getting deeper. Balls taken in again. Very strong carry. And he carries on going. Yeah, charging forwards here are worth and they're set nice and deep and they've some lovely width on themselves but the pass comes away and it has been snatched. Oh, and underneath the sticks, that was oh so easy for Matt Namara. Identified that I really agree. early on. Pitched it out the air. Oh, was it Matthew? Sorry. 22 rather than two. No, I think it's actually Peter Towers. I think it's 21. <laughs> we'll play the shirts. The shirts yeah. are very difficult to read from Hayes. Yeah, light as well. They should They should <laughs> have Limitless shirts. Yes, exactly. They should have shirts from Limitless. Definitely It'll be easier to read then. Mm. Anyway, we crack on. Try with scores. Conversion was added. Very well read there. And now we, now we have Worth again trying to play out, which has been a bit difficult for them today in the rain. But let's see if this can come off to some, some benefits. Just breaking out towards their 22 now. Oh, lovely steal. But it's a great steal from Hayes again. I think that was McNamara this time. Who's put in an absolute shift today. Uh, just a little knock on there by oh. Hayes. It'll lead to a worth scrum. Another attacking opportunity here in the middle of the field the back, on the 22. <laughs> You've got to stay there if you start at the back. Crouch! Bind! Set! Wait. Wait. Here we come, Worth. Working it wide. That's, oh. a, that's a great bit of skill from the Worth winger there. A little control with the boots. Two, no, thank you. But the ball is just being fizzed out. And here is the Worth danger man. <laughs> using his gas and his feet down the left-hand side. Tackle. Gets brought down. Now Worth have some front foot ball. Very unlucky. Straight off feet. Oh, and just gone straight off their feet there, Worth. Straight off feet. Unlucky. Hear the groan from the uh, the bench on the far side, but penalty goes. Hayes ways. They charge forwards now. And here's the danger oh, man, Johnson. Great line. <laughs> Pure and utter pace. That it was... was Genuinely, just a switch on of the afterburners there, wasn't it? And yeah. dance straight through the defence. Pure electricity from Rocco Johnson there. See, it came here. We we'll see the tap from the penalty and a slow move forward. And it's just a turn. Brought down in a contact, but the offload and comes in. And just look at this pace on that. It's almost like he left a, a silhouette behind him. That's how quick he was going. And Kirk hoisted high. It's just going to make it over the 10-meter line and batted back by Hayes here. Now Hayes can move the ball again. Here we go. Hayes 
He's moving forward once again, charging forward, it's keeping that great offload. Oh, just, just not gone to hand. Just a little bit too low, I think, there, the offload. And that does take us to half time. Well, it's Hayes with a strong lead here in this first half. 21 points to nil over Worth. Which side? Uh, it's the Loose head side. I'll keep an eye out. That's right. So just one thing, at some time, with the defensive gone half, has to be within, uh, is it a metre or two metres? He was within the metre, he can stay at the back, okay. but if he starts out, he's just got to stay there, all right? Oh, is it? Under 18s. Oh, right. Don't make it difficult. <laughs> the laces were like that. No, they weren't. They weren't. It was a top 10. Jeff for Blake. Let's play some rugby. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you. Which way? Going left. Gold. Blue. Ben. Harry. And here we go. <laughs> Worth kicking us off. Oh no, Hayes kicking us off, Winger sorry. Off front. And offside we have another front. player 13. being caught in front of the kicker. In front, offside. As Back we down. say, when will they learn? <laughs> um, but gives Worth an opportunity to go at Hayes here, work, work the ball wide. Tackle. Great tackle there. Tackle was complete, holding on here. Back 10. And Hayes come out with the ball here, off that penalty. Knock on advantage. And knock on. Knock Hayes on. just not using that penalty, penalty wisely there. And we'll come back for a scrum. On the, on the halfway mark. <laughs> Just make sure you stay within a metre, all right? Referee giving out instruction to the two front rows there. Making sure they're staying within a metre of each other. Bind. Here we go. You're either in, you've got to be in. You can start at the back or stay at the side, but you've got to be in, you can't drop. No, gets one chance. Crouch! Set! And, ah, we have just recovered a Worth School team sheet now. So, we will, as they have just Not got the ball. Advantage. And it's very scuffy coming Going around. Under all the pressure, just a knock on. Uh, there it is. Knock Just on. a knock on there, says the referee. That is a blue scrum, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I take no responsibility oh, for the team sheets going, going uh, astray in my junk folder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, apologies to all the teams that I've been inadvertently uh, having a go at for, for not giving team sheets because you did uh, so apologies we'll now have I mean it's lovely we've got them for what the semi-finals that's the most important thing perfect um, that was the plan all along obviously off the knee play on anyway off we go carry on off his chest that's fine <laughs> he's uh, the ball going a bit loose but uh, offside presenting the tackle ooh. scrum goal and scrum, uh, scrum. it wasn't a knock scrum, on that ended scrum. up in the scrum accidental. it was an accidental it's offside mm. so uh, it's a uh, scrum as the ball came off the knee there we were able to play on, Mark's here. but the boys obviously weren't listening to the referee, which is not the best thing to do. Um, but we will have a scrum down here with a worth put in. Um, Quickly, please, 18. Quickly, please. Crouch. <laughs> Fine. Here we go. Can worth. Early blue. Free and kick. that's a. Back 10. Worth will get the ball here from that scrum. Can they use it wide? We got numbers, we got numbers. <laughs> Taken wide and down the blind side, but a great tackle from 
the Hayes man on the wide. Come on now. Let's go. And the subs come the rolling on for both teams here. Yeah, both sides bring in the uh, reinforcements, it seems. Holes. Well, Holes the put in and the chuck. Yeah, the referee making it clear there that yeah, it might Harry. not have been the most straight line out in the world, but it wasn't a contest. So therefore, we play on and the kick has got in behind and all oh dear. Both players there from Worth running into Lots each other. Competition. <laughs> and it ends up with a knock on in the end from Worth as well. Yeah, knock on scrum. So it will be a hay scrum. Three. Good hay, let's go. That's you there. You just can't Game step up just and take all the space slowly getting right. away from Worth here. Come up. Hayes have been electric all day. Yeah. Obviously keeping their muscles warm. Crouch. To get back on the pitch. Find. Set. Much better. Yeah, definitely. And here the ball is uh, picked out of the back of the scrum. And another kick in through. Cover from Worth coming. Oh, but yeah, taking the man without the ball. He's just trying a last ditch effort there. That gives away the penalty. Now can Worth move the ball down the outside lanes. Thinks about giving the pass. Great tackle there from, from uh, Ad Adamson as well, who's put in a massive shift today. Turn of the penalty as well, holding on in the ruck. So charge forwards and oh, the tackle just slips away from Worth and allows Hayes to get in in the corner. Fantastic work from Hayes again. And it's that man, Will Laws, goes over the try line. He's been fleeting round all day. But, work, but Hayes with another try, more points to add on to the scoreboard. The five, right? looking, very, looking quite likely now that they might progress in this tournament. And the, conver and the conversion goes over as well, I think. Yeah, Hayes are uh, second in their pool. So a win here secures them through to the cup semis. And we'll uh, ensure that Worth Tackle end up in the play competition. Good work. Play on. Advantage knock on on the floor. Now here's the electric boots. Can Hayes use the ball? Oh, just, just a slight fumble there. Worth coming out now. A huge tackle from, uh, I think that was McNamara. Well, they're going to move that ball again, just trying to shift it around, trying to find the space. The uh, result of this game looks like it's uh, tied in now with less than a minute left to play. You see a lot of tired legs out there. Yeah, they've still got at least two more games, well, at least uh, one more game to play. Yeah. If they're successful in their semi-finals, it'll be two more games. And that'll be full time there from the referee. So that's secured for everyone's places. That is the last of the pool games. And that now means that we are going to end up, it looks like, with... Give me a second to consult. Looks like we're going to end up for this next phase of games. I think you're caught, I think. Cheers, boys, thank you. So, I think we're going to have Reading Cheers, Blue Coats score versus Bishop Wordsworth <laughs> so next. As so uh, yeah. Reading Blue Coat yeah. coming so, fourth in, in there. Pool the one. Under 18, he's got to be. This is one. Uh, Wordsworth coming third in pool two. Then be followed by Rams versus Worth score. Before we move into the cut competition, Gordon's Brighton, Wellington, and Hayes all progress through to that cup competition. So. Confirmation of fixtures coming up very, very shortly. But it looks like here we are going to have... I'm trying to just double check these teams in front of me. Yeah. 
Who's playing yellow? I am assuming. Well, I'm trying to check, but from what I have in front of me, I believe this is red and blue coat against Bishop Wordsworth. <coughs> that is red and blue coat playing in yellow. Yeah, must have a little chain strip in the uh, back pocket for these games. And uh, yeah, we've just had an update. So, red and blue coat against Bishop Wordsworth. I never got to travel with two kits when I was going to a sevens tournament at school. <laughs> I don't know about you. It's obviously a luxury they get in, uh, in a blue well, coat. Well, you never know. It could be a reversible shirt, modern technologies and all. Very true. Very true. Obviously, it should be a limitless shirt, obviously. <laughs> but uh, it uh, could well be a reversible shirt. But it looks very nice. Mm. Doesn't quite fit the blue coat name, but, yeah, but it, it works. We, they've got blue shorts on. We'll, we'll give yeah, them that. We'll give them that. Anyway, sorry guys, we will have this uh, next game, red and blue coat. We'll be kicking from right to left on your you screen, as we said in the gold kit. Cool. Captain ready? Bishop Wordsworth receiving on the left-hand side. This is the plate semi-final okay, one. <laughs> and we're getting underway with the knockout stages and straight away the board is not gone 10 meters. So unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Move, 10 meter line. Leave him, leave him, leave him, thank you. Ball goes out and it's a carry forward and it will be Bishop Wordsworth. <laughs> who do get on the scoreboard first. <laughs> Great pace down the middle and the conversion added as well. Quick tap, a little bit of footwork, and then charging forwards and gets that ball down underneath the sticks. Guys, timing on the kick. <laughs> scrum advantage. And now... They have the scrum advantage beside entry from you. So, uh... No advantage coming there, and it okay, is a side Sorry, entry ball. through. Blue ball. Ah, there Thank we go. you. And uh, we've been Sorry, corrected. <laughs> so it will be a scrum. Two bishops. Okay. They did infringe afterwards, but that just uh, negates the need for the penalty, and we Great. just go straight back for the scrum. Mm. Find! you got to bind, please, yeah? Mark here. Let's go again. Referee just Great. informing the, the scrum that you bind. have to bind. Set! Always handy. Yep. Pretty self-explanatory. It's gone backwards, play on. Little it's scrum backwards. 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 Yeah, coming out loose there, but it's all backwards as the referee, but it has gone into the hand of the just, just. blue coat. Scrum advantage. <laughs> Come back. No advantage going. So there's Come a there, guys, slight knock on there yeah, yeah. from red and blue coats. Knock on by gold first, scrum blue. So we'll be a scrum down to Bishop Wordsworth. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. Uh, loose head, loose head side. Ball in the hands of Fraser Wilson waiting for the put in. No. Just having a word with the referee. Great! Bind! Set! Here we go. Stay on side nine. Yeah. Oh. It's a slight yeah, knock on. Scrub. Yeah, I didn't wonder what was taking so long on the base there, and it has been knocked on. There was a lot of pressure coming from the blue coats nine, but at the end of the day, he's only got himself there that's in charge of that ball, and it's just knocked it on and trying Great. to gather it. Bind. Set. Penalty advantage. Blue coat have got the penalty advantage here from the scrum and <laughs> we come back for the penalty. No advantage. Blue so not driving straight. Yeah. Blue not head. driving straight from the uh, far side. And the blue coats now charge forwards. Sprays Lock. the ball out wide there. Ball's coming back in midfield for blue coat. Really keeping this ball alive here, are Reading Blue Coats. They look to move it to that far side. A lovely 
offload out the back, but it is covered well in defence and tackled into touch. Great D there in from Bishop Wordsworth. It really is great to see. Defensive. Front, yeah, inside foot, inside foot. Move back. Yeah. Now you have a Bishop Wordsworth line up. Happy. Ball comes through and now they can play. A lot of pressure here from Blue Coat and it's. That backwards. Told. I'm happy that's backwards. Morse. Oh, gone backwards, says the referee, so we play on. Now some pace here on this near side. From Bishop Wordsworth. Charging forwards. Goes Gothard. Oh, ball Knock comes loose sides. and then knocked on and the man in front picks it up and that's an offside so penalty rather than a scrum we keep this ball moving again now from the blue coat there's a the big man charging forward again alex may strong carrier for the whole of today okay tackle release now lovely roll. offload out there as well and the ball gets placed back oh just unable to get that ball out quick enough Cross breaking through that first tackle though and brought down in the second two men to bring him down 20, no release. Again, no release there. Off the foot, play on. Here we go, blue coat down into the corner. Oh. Will they get in? Pulled up short there. Trying again their hardest to get that ball out cleanly. And they've been Time awarded off. a penalty um, for their troubles. We've had a double peep of the whistle, which typically no means that someone is going to spend some time on no the naughty bumps. step. Right time. Fantastic yeah. carry there from Blue Coat. Just getting over the gain line. Chose to just tap and go. <laughs> and they got over. 7 0 up. I'm taking my earpiece out. I've got nothing. I think you're forgetting a, a, a score. Oh, seven, five. Had. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. So engrossed in the game. Yeah, and, exactly. And what's going on that the uh, score exactly. got mislaid there. But yeah. Conversion not successful. No surprise really from the fact that it was right out wide. Yeah. And the kick goes up from Reading Blue Coat. Tatted back. back by the Bishop Wordsworth men. Now we're thinking of going blind. Great feet. Can that offload come in? The offload has come in. Bishop Wordsworth stirring something up here. This is lovely work from Bishop Wordsworth at the moment. This is nice. Go back inside. This is lovely language rugby Scrum from uh, Bishop Wordsworth now. A lovely sporting yeah, line, but unfortunately, the ball just, just lost okay. forward in the tackle. First knock on, then a full pass. Scrum down. Go ball. First knock on by blue, then four off gold. No, no. Target hook. Great! Bind! Set! Ball comes out. Oh Just dear. very unlucky from uh, Jack Brand there. Hey, we're we go into half to time no with the score at 7 5 to Bishop Wordsworth. Um, both teams yeah, very even here. And, uh, kind of expected from obviously a, like, a semi final. All I could hear was like static. Both teams kind of being their own worst enemy in that final third, not being able to get that last pass off or or being able to carry through contact without losing the ball, just slipping up. Very frustrating to see, but it comes with the conditions of today, doesn't it, Tom? Yeah, definitely. And it's what you expect to say in this uh, semi-final here. It's the plate semi-final, the first one of the two. Both these teams came third and fourth, respectively, in their pool stages. And, you know, it's a difficult competition. This. We've got some absolutely quality rugby going on, and these guys are not an exception to that. Um, but this does mean that it's a bit more of a balanced game compared to some of the other games that we're seeing. 
it obviously means we're going to have much tighter margins and two points in this at the moment. All it was was a wider conversion attempt that wasn't able to get over. So yeah. really, really tight game and really looking forward to the second half here to see actually who comes out on top. Exactly. Just Limers. Yeah, just Limers. Here we go. Mark, happy? Bishop's words yeah, were to um, kick us Captain. off in the second half of this uh, plate semi final. Yeah. Time's on. Really, really cagey affair so far. Plays in front. Oh, numbers, numbers. Caught again in front. What do we say? <laughs> what do we say, Tom? This, this is a. Uh, it's uh, feeling a bit, bit of a repeat. I should just record myself saying oh, it and no! just play it over and over again, perhaps. Stay back, stay back. No, it's been a theme of today. No, no, no. It is difficult. We do see it a lot when these early competitions come in, but some of these boys have been playing sevens for the last couple of months now. And we see a lot of the, uh, the public Tackler schools assist, will end no up playing sevens after Christmas break. So you hope these be a bit more used to it, but it's just that eagerness. And it is great to see that they're so eager to get in, but... Making those mistakes is difficult, but they do get over in the corner. Fantastic try from Jack Brand, who's been the maestro for the whole of today for Reading Bluecoat, just controlling things at 10. And the kick just to Tad Wayward. Ball, please. Um, there, but brilliant score down this right flank for <laughs> Reading Bluecoat, just got a sum of penalties and, and capitalised. Yeah, this is where uh, penalties in sevens can make all the difference because just look at the space they've got. Bishop Wordsworth has just decided to hold off there and try and let them come to them and cover that space. Didn't want to rush up and lose the uh, space on the outside and give it to the uh, blue coats Sorry. to run straight through. But it's gone out into touch from the kickoff. It's bounced out. It's been taken quickly by Bishop Wordsworth charging forwards now. The mullet flying in the in the winter of course. evening wind, but unfortunately, just gone forwards towards the end. I have to say it again. Josh Gothard has been electric for the whole of today. It's the mullet. It's, it is the it, mullet. It, 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 gives them, it gives them like a five percent power boost. <laughs> five percent flare boost. Yeah, I think. flare boost, a bit of a speed. <laughs> Definitely, it's uh, it's, like, it's like Mario Kart. <laughs> Set. But it hasn't resulted in a scrum, but it's deep inside and a strong Shout shove. Kind of and a good shove <laughs> from Bishop Wordsworth there. Caught up by the referee. They can see that there's still it's a way into this game. They're only three points behind here. So if they can just get back one score, they should be okay. Great. Here we go. Bind. Blue Set. coat put in here in their own half, just behind their 22. Another strong scrum by Bishops, but plenty of advantage, blue offside. Red coat do get it out, and there's plenty of advantage coming for blue coat. Advantage over. Oh, lovely little dummy, but uh, brought down to ground in, in the end. And the ball comes out the ruck here. High tackle. Bit messy, but oh, blue coat getting the advantage. By. High tackle. Or oh, the penalty, sorry. And he's chosen to play it play off on, the boot there. Play on, play on. Tripped himself up there, unfortunately, and. Uh, now Good Wordsworth on him, have a lot of time and space in their own 22. Broken one tackle, breaks two. He oh. keeps going. Charging forwards, can he make it all the way? Fraser Wilson, through. what a try that is. Reminds me of Van der Merwe at... Oh, the pressure coming on there and just at the end is stopped just before the tackle comes in. Managed to get that ball down and then adds the extras with the conversion as well. Yeah, what a try from Fraser Wilson there. Breaks one tackle, breaks two, then has the gas to go all the way. It's uh, lovely, lovely to see. And that does put Bishop's worth, worth into the lead. 14 points to 10 hit. With uh, three minutes left on the clock. When you ready? 
Okay. Yeah. Kick hoisted high, but it has gone quite deep, just outside the 22, taken well by Bluecoat. Straight over, over onto ball. that ball, a beautiful turnover. Fantastic work from Warren Smith. Tell you what, if you ever want to see how you're going to turn over, that is exactly how you do it. Not 10. Oh, and a penalty again for not 10 metres from that original slow, penalty. Slow, 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 slow. Not 10 penalty. Yeah, go now. It's fine. Referee just reminding no, 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 no. the uh, yeah. Worthworth lads, they can't go quickly on this one. They have to take their time because it's a not 10 from the original penalty. And here we go. Oh, just, just to keep like the it. hands onto that ball and leading to the knock-on, it will be a scrum. We know that... Yeah, we're just watching the turn over there. Beautiful, Come lovely wide Fine. base Fantastic. on the feet. Gets himself in a lovely low position. You can just see the blue coat players actually on top of him there. Mark on the blue line. Can't get underneath him because he's such, such a lovely Thank low you. body position. Textbook. Set. Still side nine. Yeah, a strong shot, but the ball's come out the back and <laughs> it's scored. Goodness me. One Lovely them, footballing skills there. One of the most bizarre tries you'll see today, but a great piece of technical skill with the boot to be able to do that from the nine of uh, Bishop, Bishop Wordsworth. Yeah. See if he can slot it away with the same boot. Ooh, that's gone a little bit <laughs> lightly bailed. He's got the retro retro boots on, the old Pumas. The mighty Pumas. So uh, maybe adding a little bit to his flair. <laughs> Great. Oh, just fantastic control there. And then to bring it back inside. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing that the blue coat players can do there, really. They can't get the other side of the ball and they can't touch the man. So mm. powerless, really, there. Blue coat receive again. Here's a big carrier, Alex Main running truckloads again through this. Need a clear release. Bishop Wordsworth defence. <laughs> Charging go forwards round, again, round, and ball comes down. Still Country clear advantage. for the blue coats. They keep that ball alive. Offload out the tackle. Blue twenty, never on side. Caught offside now. Back, 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 back here, here. And. Uh, 10 meters. Blue 20, never on side. Blue coats once again tap and charge forwards. They need to get themselves. Thank you. Another score hit. Blue 20, not rolling. Second penalty. But Blue 20, not rolling. On our clock, this is full time. So at the moment, there's little they can do. Need a clear release. Move away quick. But they can try all the same. You never know what happens. This is such a vibrant and ever-changing game we want to make sure that we play through everything give themselves the best opportunity possible but they do go into touch and that will be four times that does confirm Bishop's Wordsworth are into the plate final unfortunately Reading Bluecoat just unable to get it over the line, only one try, but uh, it was gonna get the, thingy over today. the conversions that made that extra bit of difference well, as well. It really made that lead seem that little bit longer. Yeah, fantastic effort from um, from uh, Bishop Wordsworth there, really exploiting their danger men through the middle, allowing them to use their gas on the outside. And unfortunately for Reading Bluecoat, uh, just wasn't enough today. And uh, although they show really good signs, some positive signs throughout the match, uh, Bishop Wordsworth come out on top. Yeah, it certainly did. And the uh, next fixture then hit in the plate semi-finals, the second plate semi-final that is. This is the will be Rams versus Worth school. Yeah, cracking fixture here, and uh, we'll be back here in one minute's time.
Knock on. Option. Yeah, Option. just unlucky Knock off the kickoff there. This is worse versus Rams. Make your mind up. Strong Great kickoff in into into the touchline by the Rams uh, ten there, um, and Worth just can't really deal with it. And now it is a Rams put in. No, start alongside him. Crouch, bind, set. Here, taken down by. Here U5. we go. And now Rams have a chance to capitalise on this broken Worth defence. And he's broken two, try. broken three, broken four tackles. What an outstanding try that is from the Rams player. And he converts as well. Lovely work. We watch the uh, replay hit. Ball, Ball just cleanly, comes out. But it's, uh, it is a penalty. penalty. Quick tap and go. Charge forwards. And it's Theo Petridge under the post with a with a great outstanding <laughs> bit of uh, display of show uh, display of power just there. Knock oh, on here, retain. really close, and unable to get that ball there. Just knocked it on slightly, so it will be a scrub to Worth score. Great work to leap into the air. Just wasn't quite able to get his hand onto it, unfortunately. Not quite. Okay. Well, they've had a tricky day there, today. I feel Crouch. like they come up against some uh, tough Fine. opposition, but they've fought through and Set. they've carried on fighting for the whole day, which is testament to their character. Yeah, it certainly is. Lovely step back inside and charging through. And a beautiful offload to the supporting player. Fantastic. Great work. You came in the back. Yeah, Go out of the space. You. <laughs> Swap him, Ole, swap Louis out. Huge charge by Maynard there from Worth and Maynard again with the ball and a lovely oh. offload. Pass out to the outside. Awesome. Lovely cover there from Rams, but it does get over the line. And it is Max Morgan. Thanks, Ben. Who gets down over the line in the end. Great bit of endurance from Worth there. Careering down the pitch, yeah, lovely line. little off road main on steaming through, and then they uh, come work it, work the ball down this right hand side, and then Max Morgan okay. goes over. Yeah, the uh, conversion pulled the left hand side of the upright, so the score Rams seven worth five at the moment. Yeah. And you see that's lovely work. We can see the cover from Rams as they come across. But Morgan just fighting in every rich direction to find that space and eventually he Knock creates space of his own. Knock on by Rams though, so word ball again, a strong Move. carry by Maynard. Brought down in the end though. Play on, that's legal. Oh, eventually brought out lots of pressure here from Rams First and the person. ball is stolen. Away. Brilliant Play work. Foot. Don't pull him over. Knock on. Oh. There's no reward for pulling him over. <laughs> Knock on there, so it will be a scrub <coughs> to Worth. Let's go, guys. Speed up. Sevens, yeah? Get colder, boys. <laughs> Let's get ready. Crouch. Bit of light banter from the referee there. Yeah, Bang. it is sevens indeed. Set. <laughs> Not quite fifteens. No. Driving too early, you. Oh, and to go. Early push Fair there play. from Thank you. Worth, so Rams get the ball. Good play. Thanks, Dan. Good carry from Rams here. Can he go? No. He just gets brought down in the tent. Your optimism and then the, uh, the yeah. drop there. Yeah. Yeah. No, he can't. No, he can't. Thank you. But uh, unfortunately, Rams do still have the ball as they move it out to this near side here, trying to find some space. Good ball out wide here. Oh, 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 carry oh, forwards there. Really and off from number four, Rams. Unbelievable from McLennan. Goodness me. I mean, he, he is a, a tall young man, but goodness. That was a fend off and a half. 
Yeah, that, that fend off definitely had some uh, some pent up something behind her. <laughs> Watches. And the extras added as well to extend the lead to 14 points to five as we Here look we at go. the replay. Lovely Lovely just held ride. to the last minute. <laughs> Almost trying to shove his face into the, into the, uh, well, but the dirt, guys. but the, the rubber crumb. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for this artificial pitch hit. Ball off his high again, and again, a little bit of a longer kick, which uh, gives worth a bit of time on the ball, and now they carry forward. First person lift. Trying to find the space, but now it's, it's was going again, but. He ran at me, there's nothing I can do. Fortunately, he ran directly at the referee. And uh, Mr. Chapman decided that actually, you know what, let's just have a scrum. I'm quick, but I'm not that quick running backwards anymore. <laughs> anymore, that's the gold <laughs> only coming out. Yeah. Not that quick Crouch. anymore, says Mr. Chapman. Bang. Anymore is the key word Set. there. <laughs> Balls oh, out. and the ball's been ball's out. turned Fantastic over by Worth by there. Worth. Lovely little hook on the ball there. And now they can go. If he has backs himself on the outside, but comes back. Now Worth working the ball out to the width again. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Does he have the gas? It looks like it. Oh, one man to beat. He steps inside and does beat him. Oh, the diving tap tackle. Unsuccessful. Worth <laughs> making sure that Towards the end of this first half, they are keeping themselves well within this game. She's done. And in the extras too. That's a fantastic solo display on this outside from uh, Gwyn Massingham. <coughs> Just pace, footwork. Let's go. No, and avoids the tap tackle as well. Time has expired. Fantastic. So confirmation from the referee, this will be last play. Ball taken just on the 22 metre line, so a high and long kick again. Both teams employing that tactic at the moment rather than trying to compete. Rams trying to go down this near side, trying to find some space, decides to carry Fire, instead. Ball down in the tackle. Move, move. Not rolling away, oh, says the referee. And off we go. Attempt to the tap tackle, brought down in the end. Pitch from the base, charges through. Who is it? Who is it? That's Can you tell time. me? <laughs> Are they trying to quickly uh, time, flip with the team sheets on the iPads? <laughs> Plenty of time. Oh, that's so cute, Stan. You're so cute. I think that's that Callum Dupree, wasn't it? I, I had my bets on Patrick Brown. I thought I saw 10 on his back. We'll find out in a second. Well, the, it's, it, it was 11. 11. I was correct. There we go, Dupree. Uh, not being smug at all, but they do get the uh, extras as well to. Uh, to just extend their okay. lead before half time and Rams really okay. round that home really to make oh, sure sorry. that they are in the driving seat in this second half. So Fantastic pick half off the base there actually. With it number 11. Um, uh, Dupree. On the full first yeah. yeah. I will take, I'm not a sore loser, I'll take that one to the chin. <laughs> and, uh, so half time score here then. Let's go. Worth 12. Rams, 21. Let's go. Yes, mate. Yes, got it now. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Let's go. Nice one, mate. Yeah, you move. Yeah, you made the tackle. You landed the wrong side. The mine couldn't get the ball, could he? There we are. Daryl Chapman, <laughs> name up in lights. Okay, ball's coming left. Let's watch contact in the air. Time's coming on. So second half here of the second plate semi-final. Rams in the lead. 21 points to 12 here. Ball kicked into oh, space and picked out the air by Worth. Backwards always. Oh, the pass comes backwards, doesn't quite go to hand, but it is scooped up in the end. Trying to move it off to that far side now. A hitch kick and go, and ooh, diving over the top to try and get out of the way of that. 
That has led to the turnover for Rams as they look to go forward now, kicking into the space. It's now a foot race. Two players with insane speed, but it will be worth to get back there first, diving down onto the floor to scoop up that ball. You move, you move. Good contest, but yep. you move is the uh, call for the referee and see what that means. The tackle hasn't rolled away. And here we go, can work, work it wide now. There's some space out wide here for the worth man. And he's oh. got the gas on him. Oh, oh, not quite fantastic cover tackle there. Spoke too soon there, a little bit, I think. Just a little bit <laughs> premature. I thought he had it. I really it did. It looked like he did, but it turned on. He turned on the gas a little bit fantastic earlier. Fantastic cover tackle. But Rams on his turn there, gas on too. Here come Worth again, though. Still had the ball, have moved it to the opposite width. Here you go, Worth. Off to the width again. Good feet. Comes back on the inside. And outside oh. again. Brilliant feet from uh, Tag Martin there. Great oh, line. Lovely line. Beautiful work. Took that pass well as he careered no. forwards. Worth could be in here. Oh, trying to break through, dragged back and just not the ball on. Will be a scrum, five metres out from their own line for the Rams. Let's go. Fantastic carrying game. To and, the right, uh, guys. Great footwork to get down here earlier. Just see on the replay there, just dragged down by the shirt. He reached out for the line and was able to be dragged back. Here, here. Other side. Crouch. Bye. There's a couple of replacements Set. come on for Worth. Ball's out, lift. Ball comes out cleanly and... Rams oh. knocking on there and it's been scooped up by Worth. Away now, up then. to the five metre now, five metres from the try line. Oh, and... Oh, going another ten metres for Cute. chat now. Here. So the set from the uh, worst players to the referee has led to them losing another 10 metres here and space is king in sevens. They really can't afford to lose it at the moment. They trail by nine points. Open play. Now well, here's Rams to come back at worst, but that's a crazy pass thrown off into an opposition player's hands. Oh, and it's just come forward, unfortunately. This game, as more tired legs go through, is getting more and more scrappy. There's, if you can see on the, on the display at the moment, there's copious amounts of steam coming off each player. You can tell that they're working tirelessly to try and get this result. Yeah, they're not having a cheeky Crouch. base in the middle of the pitch, thankfully. It is just that it's so Bye. cold out there. There they Set. are. Uh, Let's go. Breathing steam. Pulls out. Ball pops out the back for the Rams hit. Thought about the kick there. Now decides to go straight through the middle. A fantastic invasion. <laughs> and he does go all the way. Fantastic work with the fake kick there. And then the go. And you could tell he's absolutely shattered after that yeah. as well. Down his Took his time on the floor. And this is where the uh, more clever of the teams as well. Once you can try and see a game out when you got a few minutes no. left on the clock, you tell how mad he is because he just couldn't get that kick over the post. Just went under the crossbar, yeah. Just, so, just um, fakes the kick there. <laughs> and then it Let's is Who's kicking this ball? such a strong Who's run kicking through. This ball? Let's move. Just pushing and pushing and diving over the line. Theo Petridge, fantastic bit of skill. Which players have been now. thinking with a couple of minutes left on the clock, they've got to be thinking about conserving some of their energy. They've still got one more final that's come up. And at the moment, it's looking like Rams, maybe that team, but there's still two minutes to play and two minutes and a lot of time in sevens. And Worth had space on the outside. Cover, tackle coming in across and brought down now just inside their own half. Ball picked up from the base here and good pressure coming in from Rams. Again, trying to 
shift that ball up down the line. They've got the numbers and they've got the space out here. Worth, can they keep their hands on the ball? Tries to run it himself and not use the support. And the last minute pass leads to the knock on. Really can't afford to be making those kind of mistakes. Worth hit. I've gone by five. Thank you. Let's go. Come on, boys. Nice, let's go. Yeah? Need one more. Come on. And with only a minute or so left on the clock, you've got to think that start next to it. Rams start can next start to, to see this one out here. Never know what can Crouch. happen. Never know. Bye. Set. Pulls out, we're playing. Off feet, always backwards. Here's Rams. Always backwards. Can he go on the outside? Does he have the gas? Runs into two. They put him down. Chooses to go blind again. And it's a very strong carry. Can he get the offload in? <laughs> Does get Just it Just about. Tackling without the ball. Let him run. Penalty given away and Rams charging forwards now. Oof, well, that's a huge carry from Jack Manda. <laughs> a little swan dive at the end as okay. well. Take your time on the kick and time's over. And a confirmation from Take the referee the kick, that kick time is up now. So kick they can take their time on the kick. kick. And that will see rounds through to the right, that's now. plate final. Time. Conversion we'll successful. Full time we'll whistle blown. We'll just, we just watched this replay here. We'll guys, thank you. Quick tap we'll charges we'll forwards. Forward we'll takes it into his own hands. We'll Good luck, guys. Yeah. Let's oh, does all the work coming, himself, just makes it look so easy. Get sorted, Dan. Thank you. But Good trust work. me, well it is not. Well played. Good luck, guys. Great work there from Rams, confident throughout and really flourished as they went throughout that game. And they have ended up with a victory here. They do put themselves into the final. They came out victors, twin, uh, 33 points to 12 over Worth score, who will lead the competition at the semi final stage. The next fix you hear, their first of our cup semi-finals and it will be Brighton College versus Wellington College goodness me so that is the final from last year Tom if I if I remember correctly and they are meeting in the semi-final <laughs> this is going to be a big game huge huge game this will be both sides will have full expectation for them to get through. They've yeah. put in some amazing performances today. And this is how tight it gets to this Cheers, stage buddy. of the competition. These are the semi-finals. This is do or die stuff now. Win this game, you through to the final. Lose, get the early bus home. Obviously grab a burger first, yeah. I do smell delicious. I do, I keep looking over it, it's really uh, <laughs> tempting. I don't think I can eat a burger and commentate at the same time. Now that is a skill. Here we go, Wellington to kick off. Reigning champions, Wellington College to face last year's finalists with them, Brighton College, and the ball <coughs> is in possession of Brighton now. It's a scrappy start here at the moment, but Brighton smooth things up and try and find some space on this near side here and some pace around the outside is getting through cover coming across and the tackle complete popped up to his supporting teammate there ball going a bit loose and eventually taken well yeah and the uh, hands going beyond as well as the tackler being late but this is going to end up with a yellow card early on I think never got back on side let's get that and we have some fantastic news for you as well. We do have a Brighton College team sheet. <laughs> to say, definitely not my fault, so I'm not <laughs> taking any blame. Uh, I blame Gina. <laughs> and as we, we're laughing at the fact we now have a team sheet, they score. <laughs> so uh, we'll just watch that on the replay. And we, we will be able... Considering the man that's turned up with the ball, I'm assuming that is Billy... Horsburgh, who has scored that. The notes on here are elusive and a great finisher. So if that's true, that's the one who scored the try. So it seems the notes are correct. He has been very good all day, actually. I will give him that. Conversion pulled to the left-hand side, and we can watch here now. 
charging forwards and yeah it's always there in support always waiting carry forward a little dummy and allowed to Stubbs. walk into the corner there and uh, apparently one player of the tournament last year did Stubbs lovely little dummy there to uh, put his teammate Holmesbury in for the score and uh, Brighton trying to tap back their own kick there from the kickoff, and it just bobbles out yeah, into touch. So it will be a line, line out the on line, the 10 metre line, line to Wellington. Not in five. Didn't go five metres, so free kick to. Uh, Brighton and a unconventional tap there for it to bounce on the floor. Again, that ball scooped out by Brighton there. Lots of pressure coming on from Wellington College here. But Brighton may have some space on this near side. Decide to cut back inside there. Here's Stubbs again making things happen. And oh. he's elusively worked his way through that Wellington defence. That is unbelievable. You can see how he was playing at the tournament Alex last year, Stubbs. goodness me. Side. A uh, yep. Quinn scrum half, you can see that sniping nature that gets himself okay, around the out, corner and here. darts through. And ends up with the try. Conversion added. Hey, have a look here. It went that side of the post. Just slows things up, out of, completely out of nothing. Plays that dummy, great hard line through the through the middle and just elusively walks his way through. Yep. And off into the sky again from Brighton. Great recovery off the kickoff. And they will go again. Brighton have really turned up today. They're playing very fast rugby. Just a little knock on there, unfortunately from Sam Cohen, Coxon, sorry. Yes. Here. We have a scrum down, guys. Wellington Crouch. ball. Can Wellington fire back after, after having Step been on the bind, on separation, okay? like hit with a quick go. double? Crouch. in this first half. Bind. Set. Can Wellington fight back Set here? Back. <laughs> Early. Yeah, very oh, clear and obvious there from uh, Brighton, Sam Copton. Strong from Wellington there, covering and supporting their man and protecting that ball. Step inside and uh, keeping that ball alive and passing it over. Still some space on that far side. Trying to slip through the tackle, but managed to grab onto the shirt and slow him down. And release. No, you're going too high. You. Too high. Oh, a high shot coming in there. So penalty to Brighton College as they uh, took the time here. A little dummy and a switch back the other way. Here goes Stubbs again. Oh, he's just weaving his way through players and gives a fantastic offload. Great support there as well from Brighton and they could be charging the forward here. still. The support fantastic line again. offload again and they will put the ball down. And that was uh, Arengo Jones who uh, the six foot five winger. Ooh. Goodness me. That is six for five. Wow. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I mean, that was all made again by the brilliance of Alex Stubbs there, just weaving his way through a defence. Yeah, you can watch here. It's just that support that comes in. Great work by Stubbs to set them up in the first place, but the support allows okay, no them to have that support just to come hold, through. Just hold. Okay. And then 
is the uh, the tall man who gets the ball down over the line in the end. Brighton kick off again. Here we go. Welly, can they punch back? Looks so good today. Can they hit back now? Breaks one tackle, gets brought down. Such a strong run forwards. They've got so much space on that far side. If they can get the ball there quick enough. Oh, and the crunching tackle comes in and the pressure there. Fair nice. Step away. Knock on first or just straight into And uh, these lads know what it means in this game. They know that a win here puts them through to the cup final. So a little bit of uh, pressure coming in. Last play. And so Last far, play. Brighton have looked all the more strong, even though this yeah, is typically sorry. an upset having seen last year's result Crouch. in the final. Yeah, but certainly. Five. This is the great thing about schoolboy rugby, Set. though, is that every year we've got a turnover of players, new fresh blood coming in, and never. yeah, you have your standard happen. teams that are always going to be strong, but you've also got the ability for that to chop and change throughout the uh, course of each year, and the kick taken into touch. So they do go into half time with a healthy lead here in a semi-final. 17 points to Nell Brighton lead over Wellington College. And we are back for this cup semi-final here at Gordon School. Brighton College are 17 nil up on Wellington College in the right. first half. We're go. about to kick off the second half. Okay, stay behind. Here we go, Brighton to kick off, up. And it has gone straight out, unfortunately, for the Brighton men. So this will give an oppor a free opportunity for the, the Wellington College boys to come back straight back at them. Breaking tackles quite quickly, Wellington College. Edging ever closer to the line has done very well there. Straight off the kickoff. Wellington College back in it and have put out a bold statement saying we are not done yet. And the conversion just a bit awry, unfortunately, um, for Wellington. But they will have the kickoff now. Kicking off to Brighton College. Now, can Brighton stun Wellington again and grab another quick try? Great take by Arengo Jones there. And Wellington have won the ball back again. Can they go wide and, and shock Brighton? Choose to come back the other way with some pace and some footwork. Good hand off there. Looks for the offload. The ball just spills out fractionally. Ball comes back. Weaving and dodging. A great hit there from the Brighton College man. But it's going to be a penalty 
I'm not sure what for there. Wellington College coming back at Brighton. Skipping and, and jumping over tackles. A long ball. Can Wellington work it out wide? They have got the numbers. Good handoff. He might be in the corner, he is. Wellington, Wellington College working it back in. They got hit with a quick triple in the first half, but they're slowly working back into it now. And not quite there, unfortunately. Well, goodness me, I've uh, been away for what two minutes, two, three minutes, and uh, Wellington have turned it on in this second half. Goodness me, definitely putting down a statement, Tom. That's a fantastic oh, take from uh, Arengo Jones again, the tall winger. Brighton are back on form now, and they will go at Wellington with all they've got. Here's the pace down the width. Has he got it? Not quite, but it comes back inside. Yeah, clear threat there being dragged into touch. So just trying to keep that ball alive and keep it alive, he does. Brighton still with possession and numbers here, but unfortunately for them, Wellington pressing hard in defence and got good numbers. And here's Arango Jones. Can he take the winger on? No, he comes back, pulls out, back to Stubbs. Wellington he pushing them back here. Really pushing them back. <laughs> and we've gone wide again. That's great oh. pace. Oh, but it's the linesman's flag has just <laughs> gone up on that far side. Unfortunately, that would have been an absolutely beautiful try from Brighton. But yeah. I think if we can get a, if we can get a slow mo as well, <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I, I, unfortunately we don't have a camera on that side. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. we can't quite get the beautiful <laughs> magic of the uh, the game earlier on. But um, I trust I trust uh, Mr. Groves on the far side. The uh, Assistant referee. Oh, beautiful dummy in straight through the middle. Oh, lovely handoff as well. Brought Fantastic down eventually. Fantastic tackle there. And a turnover oh, as well. Could very be. Very nearly. Just couldn't get his hands onto it and just knocked it on. He tried to reach that ball. Oh, and it will be a scrum, and it's a strong opportunity here for Wellington. This could put them in a draw. Here we go. Wellington pushing Brighton to the limit. Oh, and it's just a knock, small knock on there, I think. Yeah, knocked on first by Wellington. Now Brighton had the ball and the advantage. Here we go. Can they make their way out of the 22? Oh, they can. Oh, broken up. Here we go. Can he beat the last man? No. Fantastic tackle from the Wellington College. Man. Oh, it's a penalty to Brighton. Another opportunity here. A knock on in the steal from Wellington. And the man who picked up the ball was stood in front was offside. Brighton have got their own man down, but... They want to play rugby, they want to go. Now here's the big man, Arengo Jones. Moves it out. Just Oh, another penalty. Brighton charge forward again. Can they see out this game here? Are they going to put themselves in the driving seat once more? There we go. Oh, they do. Underneath the post. And it is that man again, Alex Stubbs, just weaving his way through a defence. He's going off to it again. He wants the title again this year. Yeah, I think he does. I think he wants the title. But uh, he might get the title player of the tournament. But also Brighton had the opportunity here to get themselves into the final. And... Uh, Still the conversion to come. I believe we will 
resume the play after this, yeah. But a 14 point lead here. Wellington would have to do something really special. Here we go. Just Brighton looking on the counter attack. Stubbs, one hand off. Confirmation for one, the referee. One dummy, two dummy. Sorry. <laughs> no, I don't know. I wasn't looking at the screen. I was looking what's in front of me. <laughs> and uh, rudely interrupted you there talking over the uh, replay. But this is a confirmation that is last plate. Not a lot oh. that Wellington do here. Michael Jones trying to get over the ball there. Knock on, and that will be four times. That sees Brighton through to the cup final. Brighton have stopped Wellington College in their tracks, and they will not retain the title of Gordon Sevens champion. No, and it'll be interesting to see who is going to end up against Brighton in the final. The next game coming up, Gordon School versus Hay School, two teams that have thoroughly performed today. The favourites have got to be the host, Gordon School. The home support are going to try and get them through it. But will they be victorious? We will find out in 30 seconds time here as we kick off the second of the cup semi-finals. Here we go then. Cup semi-final two. It's the hosts, Gordons versus Hayes. And the whistle gets us underway here. Oh, and a strong carry early on from Gordons. You can hear the support, the roar from the crowd. Ball drifting along and trying to find a space now. And Ooh. oh, just took his eye off the ball there. Rather late shot from McNamara as well, just coming in on that player. Such a difficult situation there as well, isn't it? The both players going for the ball mm. and uh, getting a bit caught up. But fantastic break down this uh, right hand side by the Gordons players. Really come out with the blocks really fighting for this place in the final. Uh, they'll definitely want to be there. They were snubbed last year and this year it's their opportunity to make it to the final, but not if Hayes can help yeah! it. You're going to hear the roar from the crowd. Here come Gordons again, working that ball. Good hand off there. Tackle being brought down and the ball comes loose. Ooh. Oh, and it's been kicked dead. But it has been kicked dead by Blue, so it will be a scrum. Two Gordons. And here is the perfect platform for Gordons to get some early points on the board from this Hayes defense. Here we go. Gordon's put in. Ben Sherry. Right. Freddie, it's on mute. And he chooses to pass. Here we go. And here's the danger man. Zuko Rob. 
Gordon's getting another penalty. He chooses to go long, out wide. Can he beat him? Yes, in the yeah. corner. Gordon school. Theo Povey has dotted it down for the home side, and they are five up in the semi-final. Great decision from Gordon's there to go wide, wide. The danger man in the middle, Zuko Rob, just creating and, and bashing up to put the defense um, on the back foot. And then going wide to Theo Pope, who's been, any, um, who's been so clinical in this tournament today. Yeah, there are certain names that we're hearing again and again from this Gordon side. Really instrumental in uh, their team success so far, and it is them that take the early lead. We've certainly got a real battle on our hands here. Scott Tan. Back was off blue, play on. Good challenge. Blue from away, blue there. away, away. Ooh. Entry. Ben, Al ben Allenson just coming through the side of the ruck this there. Here. I think Entry. he's trying to tell the referee that he thought the ball was out, but <laughs> not to any effect. Yeah, these things are risk and reward. If you uh, take the risk, you might get the reward. But in that case, he didn't. The reward went to Gordon. It's a beautiful pass. Lifted over the top of the defending players. It's go, Gordon again. still with the ball, trying to charge down through the middle here. Healy. Oh, the lovely step and go for Parnell. Gets underneath the post. Goodness me, even I looked the wrong way. <laughs> And you can hear the home crowd going absolutely mental on the sidelines. They want their Gordon's team in that final, and it looks like it's going to happen. Yeah, if they keep playing like this, yeah. it certainly will. Goodness me. Conversion successful as well, but just look, here, look at that. Oh, it's the cameraman. <laughs> cameraman's almost gone. Goodness me. Great work. So 14 nil here. Gordon. Two minutes left to play. Gordon's to kick off again. Hi. This time it is taken well, done. well by Adamson. And he's on the bike again. He's got support from Diamond. From Diamond. Yeah! 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 Adamson unfortunately tried to keep closer to his teammates, but. They just weren't quick enough to get in there to support. Maybe a bit of that fatigue creeping in now from the number of games they've had. Got down this blind side and... It's a good tackle. Ends up in touch, does Zuko Rob. We do have a uh, Hayes player down. So uh, they will receive some treatment. It looks like it's the captain and the big man, Ben Adamson, which is a real shame as he has been an absolute warrior throughout the whole of today. Just didn't have the support he needed there, but hopefully getting the support he needs from the physios now. Yeah, definitely, and uh, the uh, water comes on. Luckily, the rain has uh, subsided in the latter part of this tournament. But to the moment, Gordons at their home tournament are uh, the stronger here as uh, Adamson makes his way off the field, unfortunately. Had a fantastic day, though. Really Certainly has. I mean, really, really need to congratulate him. He's been really, really good today. Yeah, really strong player. It's uh, under the high ball as well as carrying forwards and that throw in never straight it is, a, it is a little bit of the problem sometimes when you have a scrum half throwing into a line out because they're used to getting away with it at scrum time that's very true but you can't that's get away true. with it here not with these referees as, no. as you say yeah and uh, that ball just not not going down the centre from Will Laws Gordon's another opportunity to score here. And here we go, the danger man, Zuko Rob again. 
careering down the right hand side. Has he got that support? Oh, it wasn't there, but luckily the, the uh, ensuing man came in and. The penalty and a yellow card here. I'm trying to see who went off there. Didn't quite catch it. But it was uh, never 10 metres, trying to track back, but not being successful. So a man advantage here for Gordons Here's for the next long, two minutes. Long ball out to the big man. Crashing forward, Jed breaking Saunders. through. And a, oh, it was a lovely offload, but just knocked on. And that takes us to half time. But it is Gordons who are the stronger here at the moment. 14 points to nil over Hayes in this second semi-final of the cup competition. So back underway for the second half, and it is the host Gordon kicking off from left to right on your screen. And uh, taken well in the end by Hayes. As they look to move this ball out, cut back inside. Well, basketball pass to get it out to the wide spaces. Is brought down though by Gordon's. Hayes just trying to work the ball slowly here and find gaps like those in the middle of the pitch. Oh, the ball just being flung out the back there. Oh, and then the ball just comes forwards. Gordon's do sweep it up, so they continue to play in. Oh, they've got space Straight through the middle. the middle. Oh, he was nearly brought down. Oh, he has a strong chase as well. And it been Ooh. pushed afterwards. Bit of handbags afterwards there, but just being calmed down now by the referee. And it was uh, oh. a as well. Yes, wow. That is definitely going to boost Gordon's confidence. Protesting his innocence there was Valente, but and that's three tries up now for Gordon's school. The old, reliable, trusty nine. Will Sherry going underneath the post there. Ball just pops out from uh, the hands of the Hayes man. And Will Sherry sees the space, goes, almost gets picked up, then goes underneath the post. Here's Gordon's going again. Here's Oh, a lovely offload out the back and charging forward goes Baldwin. Oh, jubilation on the sideline. Game slowly creeping. They know this could mean and then. Oh, dear. 
Hayes getting a bit away with themselves at the moment, kicking the ball away. Frustrating, I know, but this is really not the way you want to go out of the competition. Hopefully this doesn't creep into their game and they lose their heads a bit because they've been playing so well. It's just Gordon's have just had that edge on them. Yeah, game just slowly going away from Hayes here. Um, I think probably losing their captain early on would probably have a have an effect on them, which is a it's a massive shame. But always carry on is probably the way to go. The yeah, show, the is, show must go on. We all know rugby is a is a team sport. It's that old cliche, as it were, that one man doesn't make a team, but. You've got to soldier on and make sure that you continue forward. There's some top quality players in this Hayes side. They've just struggled to be able to keep it together here. But with much of it, it has been some dominance from Gordons. They have played oh so well. And with the backing of the home crowd as well, it's certainly helped them along the way. Oh, that is a humongous shot from Gordons there. And they keep, and it's positive tackle after positive tackle here. And Hayes are really struggling under the pressure. And something needs to happen here. Certainly does, and Hayes needs to do something soon. Three minutes left, it's plenty of time if they want to be able to get into this game, but it's not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. Gordon's have won the ball back now, oh. and could be down the left flank, and they are. And it looks like they're in for their fifth try of the game. I think it's Baldwin again. Scoot that ball up and found the space and charged forwards. We know Hayes were down to six men after an unfortunate incident underneath the posts. I was chatting to uh, Tom Baldwin's dad earlier, actually. Apparently he's a bit of a cricket star as well. Well, no playing cricket in this weather, so <laughs> I'm glad he's playing rugby right now. <laughs> Yeah, so Hayes back up to the full complement of seven players. But 33 points to nil is an almighty result to try and overturn. <laughs> okay, so conferring between the uh, assistants there, it's a scrum. It was a knock on by Gordon, so it will be a Hayes scrum, but as you say, less than two minutes left in this game. We look like we've got Brighton's competitors for the final, mm. or the cup final, rather. Plate final's already had its teams decided. Here, Hayes put in here, and a great scrum from Gordon, but the ball's come out for, for Hayes. Good line there. Now can Hayes play on the front foot? Picked and goad. And just a battering, a continuous battering ram of tackles from the from the Gordon's defense. Hayes come out again though. Now ooh, just missed the pass to Rocco Johnson there. Yeah, the pass just going in behind him there, unfortunately, and unable to. Reaches hands back, a lovely offload. Pushing through. And here's Zipa Rob out wide. Can he finish it? Of course he can. He's like lightning, isn't he? Really is, and for such a, a big man as well. To be able to have that pace as well is really a, a threat out on the wide space. He's going to back himself for a, a strong carry if he needs to. I think it might be between Alex Stubbs and Zuko Rob this tournament. Yeah, certainly it's uh, shaping up to be a, a matchup of the wingers in the final if Gordon's can get there. Well, I think after that, with that play nearly dead and 40 points on the score. It's a real shame for Hayes. They played so well in this tournament and again, taking their eye off the ball. And that is full time. 
There we go. Gordons are through to the cup final. They have done it. I mean, goodness me, they did it with absolute style as well. But it's an absolutely thumping victory over Hayes. 40 points to nil. It's a shame because Hayes have played so well in this tournament, but just weren't a match for Gordons in that final. Yeah, I mean, exactly as I said before, I, I really think the, the um, sudden disappearance of their captain, having gone off injured, probably had quite an effect on the boys. But um, yeah, very unlucky and they played some fantastic rugby over the day. Um, but Gordon's deserved winners and deserved finalists today. I'm sure the home crowd will be very happy about that. Sure they will. And uh, we've got the plate final coming up next. Bishop Wordsworth versus Rams. This should be a cracking game. Rams have really shown us how they can uh, play with some real class. Mm. Certainly challenge some of the top teams here, the top schools. And um, you coming into this competition, perhaps wouldn't have put them, pegged them early on for the success they've had. But through to the plate final, be a really tasty encounter. Mm. I think uh, with Rams, definitely it probably helps having a plethora of schools, where because it's obviously a club side. So having a plethora of schools playing inside one club team uh, is uh, is definitely an advantage, but also a disadvantage at, at the same time because they don't play with each other every week. Yeah, so it's uh, it's Ram Schools Federation. So it's a mix of uh, your players, but certainly great to see the way they've. Uh, progressed throughout this tournament and done really well. Mm. Certainly made a name for themselves here. So, final coming up very shortly in the plate competition, Rams versus Bishop's Wordsworth. Black behind the kicker blue. And we're back for Rams versus Bishop Wordsworth in the final of the play. Scrum advantage. Tackle! The whistle of Dan Evans there getting us underway. And uh Patsy drop, drop, awarded. Drop. Onside. Two bishops as they now try to charge around the outside and charging forwards and taking into touch. Uh, black and blue. Uh, black on the line, please. <laughs> Halfway then. Yeah, you're fine there. Let's go. Time is no, off. So the line out comes off and down to uh, Bishop Worth, worse, worse, worse side. But they need to move that ball out to that far side and cover coming in. You can see the fog that's rolled in now on the far side of the pitch. It's just descended quite peacefully for our final two games here. Um, almost promoting a theme of pathetic fallacy, oh. kind of Option. zooming in as no we uh, come into the final 
final game. Scrum. Yeah, it certainly is. It certainly creates the uh, the tension and the suspense that these Crosses sorts of games give us. Yeah, on the blue line, thank you. Crouch. Bind. Set. Blue set. There we Stay go. straight. Oh, penalty at scrum time and Rams. Quick tap and move forward with the ball. And here we go, down this left-hand side. It's the danger man from Bishop Wordsworth again. Josh Gothard, who has been electric all day and we have been saying that, who has just absolutely turned on the Jets down that left-hand side and dotted the ball in the corner. Yeah, it certainly has been. He's been instrumental for Bishop Wordsworth today. It really has made the difference. Just finding that space on the outside and scoring the strong strike on the ball, but it's Ooh, pulled to the left-hand side. Just unlucky on that conversion. Here we go. Rams running. Great D. Ball gets turned over, and there is Gothard. Yeah. Make the use of the space. As we said before, the mullet does add five-plus flare points. Yeah. Certainly does, certainly does. Great take there from Rams as they secure the ball from the kickoff well and playing with a little bit of space in front of them here and just taking an option, just a little bit of a slip and down. Almost took a knee there. I thought, he, I thought he'd pulled something up for a second, mm, he was just taking so a knee, but no, I think it was a bit of a slip. Here come Rams. Rams really making some ground here, 20 metres further forward now. As I look to move that ball out, but there's a... Oh, it comes up a little bit early there, but... Oh, it has just forced the knock on. A slight dog leg there as well. Rams could have used that. Because the Bishop Wordsworth defence really rushed up. So it was a small opportunity to get down the whip, but unfortunately weren't, weren't able to use it. And now we have a scrum. Just off the halfway line in Set. Rams territory. Bishop Wordsworth put in. It's a strong oh. scrum. A lot of competition in that scrum there, but it is scooped out for Bishops as they look to move forward now on that far side and again sliding down on the floor. And it's been turned over here by Rams and they've got space on that far side. Covering tackle coming in well and the ball comes loose Can't and it has been knocked on. Both teams here just really showing that they have a lot of potential, just unable to execute it when it comes down to it at the end. Mm. Uh, on this player, please. That's the difference, really, between these Crouch. teams and the teams in the cup competition. Bind. They could just execute that a little bit more. Set. Mm. The ball was out and opting for boots of all now and to the space in behind and off goes Gothard again. Can he get, he can get this ball up? Drop he back. is surely clean in. Oh, oh it's a advantage. great tackle, great cover tackle. But Over. Bishop Wordsworth is still able to get in through Callum Logan, who picks up the pieces after his mate made a massive kick chase and is able to dot the ball underneath the post. Yeah, great work. And uh, able to uh, keep that ball alive and keep going and keep working hard and reaping the rewards in the end. Conversion successful as well. Come on, Raz. And the uh, ball once again going over the fence. I think Gordon needs to invest in a uh, taller fence. On or that maybe far one side. of those, uh, maybe one of those nets that you have in the NFL. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because a uh, few times I've seen a few uh, guys have to be sent round the back into the uh, into the woods into to the try up. and retrieve the balls into the undergrowth. Backwards. Oh, a really good lunging attempt to just to uh, retrieve that ball out of the sky. But it is Rams' ball in the end, and they carry forward up to the halfway line now. 
And we seem to have a head injury, which is never what you want to see. But, of course, referees have to stop play. Yeah, an ideal here. He uh, makes sure he gets the attention he needs. Physio is on its way over. Uh, a, uh, a ankle injury, which is a real shame. Mm. So uh, it's getting the attention he needs at the moment, but there will be a bit of a, a stoppage here. Ankle. So, uh, yeah, we don't know the extent, but hopefully the uh, rounds player will be okay. No, they were in possession. Okay. So uh, it is a real shame to see, but the rugby today has been has been brilliant to watch. I mean, obviously both competitions, the oh. eventual plate competition and the uh, cup competition, separating the two. But as I was saying earlier, both these sides, you know, the, the real difference that they can make here is their execution at the end. I mean, it, the skill they've got, the opportunities that they can offer, is really really strong. It's just that last minute execution. Yeah, as we said, kind of just. Um, in this uh, in this plate competition, both teams being their worst enemy, just not being able to make that final executed pass, or being able to pick out the space in that in that area, which is again, yeah, as you said, Tom, the the difference between the cup competition and the plate competition, just being able to finish off those little chances and stuff like that. Yeah, it certainly is, but we know we've got a cracking final coming up. I mean, two teams who really have worked hard. Brighton College just dominant, really, and I mean, Gordon's even more so in their cup semi-finals. Who have you got your money on? Who do you think is going to come out the victor? Obviously, the home side got the home support, but are they going to be able to get over Brighton? I mean, it is tough. It is tough. And I think we've seen today from Brighton College that they can go all the way and they can put it past this home side, Gordon's. I'm not saying that Gordon's will not put up a fight, but Brighton have showed us today that they are the real deal. They are that real deal. And uh, they've got the players to do it as well. They've got the players to do it. All right, so I feel like I've got to give him a bit of balance now. I'm going to have to back <laughs> Gordon's then. Usually, I'll let you have that early one. We'll see how it goes in the uh, cup final. But right now, we're going to get back into this plate final. Thankfully, the uh, injury has been uh, sorted out and he has made his way off the pitch to a round of applause from all players and supporters here. So hopefully he uh, will be okay. Now a Rams put in just on the halfway line here. Yeah, absolutely perfect attacking opportunity here for Rams. Ball came out and bounced off the nine's foot though, so not exactly the cleanest of scrums for Rams. Bit messy on the floor as they try and get that ball out. They now have numbers on that far side. Trying to break through the middle. Brought down to ground. Rams just uh, got the numbers in the space on the outside here. If they can get the ball over. Does he have the gas on the outside? Here we go. Oh, great feet. Weaving in and out of players. And he's carried on as well. Yeah, absolutely the right decision to step back inside. Those yeah. players were dragging across. And we go for the boot option. Oh. Wide. Oh. <laughs> Lucky they had the penalty advantage. I think it's more luck than judgment. But mm. kick to no one, really. No one up there Time in support. The uh, pass coming loose and backwards. And this is last play of this first half here. Tackle coming in. Just a tad high there. Yep. Yeah, just drawn out the, the uh, penalty there. And he goes the big man charging forwards. Can he try and find some space? And the ball's just been knocked forward oh. there, very unluckily. And that ends the first half. Yeah, we know what uh, McLennan can do. And unfortunately, he just wasn't able to keep his hands on the ball there. But that does take us to half time here. And uh, a, a narrow game here. It's uh, a really close encounter. Both sides showing. It's a decent flair, but it is, yeah, it is uh, 
Fisher's worst work who are at the moment in the lead 12 points to nil yeah fantastic and we are uh, we're getting on with the second half pretty quick oh we're straight into it are yeah, we yeah it seems so they're trying to uh, you're going to have to learn to have a bit more authority from the injury <laughs> I mean, that first half completely ran by the star man for Bishop Wordsworth, Josh Gothard, making that break down the left-hand side and then also following that kick up with a fantastic ch kick chase, receiving it and then passing it off to his mate. I just wonder whether he can bring any more magic to this second half. Yeah, certainly it's uh, a tale as old as time that... It's never over until the last whistle. We've got another seven minutes of rugby coming up and those seven minutes can change everything. And oh, oh. beautiful work from a gun in there. Charging forwards, batting the ball up. Rams have come out firing in this second half. Scrum only, advantage. Loose ball coming here, knock on by Bishops and Rams are moving forward, brought to ground in the end. End of the advantage, now trying to find some space on the far side. They've got the numbers, but have they got the space? Oh, and he's charging through, brought down to ground now though. 15 meters out from the try line now, Rams. Seven offside. Here we go. Oh. Can Rams break this defense? Gent off the knee. Oh dear, McGlennon oh. took it off the knee. Yeah, tabs off the knee. When will they learn? <laughs> the phrase of today, when will they learn? Yeah. No, these, are, these are young lads and uh, they are going to make these mistakes and a high tackle comes in afterwards. It's mad how quickly in the game of sevens, one, two mistakes can make such a difference and now Bishop's in a strong attacking opportunity coming down this near side, charging forwards. Strong tackle there, bringing Payton down. Rams have managed to turn the ball over, but Bishops have turned it back over again. Ooh. Oh, again, ball going backwards. Here's Payton again, giving the ball off. Fantastic Lovely work. Offload. Carry oh, great forwards. carry by Tristan Jones. Oh, and just unable to keep a hold of that ball. Time. See the carry here and the tackle that brings him down to ground and tries the offload and oh it's just supporting player coming in oh, yeah, there yeah. i think that's ed felton who just okay. knocked it on or was it henry knight henry knight i think <laughs> it's five or fifteen one of the two one of the fifth one of the fifth. <laughs> it does lead to a scrum for rams 10 metres out from their own try line. And uh, McGannon's just coming off with a little bit of a now we've hammy pull, it looks like here, unfortunately, limping off to the side. Now, we saw in the last game what happened to Hayes when they lost their big man halfway through. Will Rams be able to rally here and replace their big cap ball carrier? That is the question. McGlennon is replaced by Dan Sawyer, so... Crouch! We'll see uh, what impact he can have here. Oh, there's a penalty straight away. Two bishops tap and go. Surely they're going to score here. And yes, they there do. We go. So quickly things can turn in this game. And I think that's Fraser Wilson, the hero of the last game, dotting the ball down. Conversion gone wide, so score remains at 17 points to nil as we watch the replay here. Straight away, just pulling that scrum down. Really obvious to see even from this side and quick tap and go and charge forwards. And diving over the line. Okay, then, let's go. Up the ball goes. Oh, is it going to make 10? It does make 10, but it's been knocked on slightly advantage there by over. Bishops. The advantage is now over. Oh, and he's raced up. They created a dog leg here. Can they use this space on the far side? Up too early in defence, Bishops. 
Offload comes in, the ball is still alive and calling for it on this near side hit. Living in decision initially, tries to go on his own. Is he going to be isolated? Or oh, luckily manages to buy some time on the floor. Strong carry through and Rams really to something special now, but unfortunately he lost the ball. Stolen. Oh, it's gone off the boot though, and we carry on. There goes Charlie Padden again, and he throws in a little goosey for good luck. Can he make it? Oh, I thought he was short for a second there, and then he's just got in. He has got over the line. Uh, two and a half. This is turning into a bit of a dominant display here from Bishops. Fantastic break from um, from Bishop Wordsworth again. Let's see if Padden can make this. Not quite. Yeah, pulls it wide to the right hand side. So but two minutes left. Then again, fantastic pouncing on the loose ball, and then the pace to get into that wide channel and power to be able to overcome that last man is. Really, really good. Yeah. Called really quickly there, and just Henry Knight just caught in front of the kicker. Ten meter line. A tap and go, and I don't want to panic here. Rams, they can still get something out of this potentially, and great ground made here. Can they do something? Can they? Dart through, no, it's covered well by Bishops. Still space on this near side, is there? Fine. So, Scrag around the base and again going around the outside, just trying to go down the edge of each of those rocks. Now the ball is moved out, can they find some space here? Oh, Great ball down short there. again. Cam Rams capitalise here. Oh, lovely work to loop back around. Great little offload. Oh, and a lovely oh. offload out the back there. In Beautiful. the corner. Try in the corner. One minute left on the clock here and can't imagine that there's too much that Rams can do at this stage, but you never know. Oh, conversion successful. Wow. Goodness me. That was from downtown. Absolutely slotted it. From uh, Theo Petridge. 30 seconds. Kick off did high and taken well by Bishops, and they only have to see out the clock now. No, no, not yet. Oh. They decided to kick. Uh, very again. interesting decision. Yep. In time. Very nearly dead. Oh, and he's going to charge straight through the middle. Oh, it's still going. Evades one, two. Oh, brought down in the end, but now still going forward. Wasn't held in the tackle, and the no, penalty tried. is one. And it's gone. And now they decide to kick it out. Callum Logan puts the ball out. Sense prevails and they realise that they can just see this out here and now. Well, a strong performance in the end, a dominant one by Bishops. <coughs> by Bishops, but Rams a worthy opponent in this plate final here, but it is Bishops Words worth who come out the victors. 22 points to seven here over Rams. And now. We have the special one for you. We have the cup final. Yeah, just a bit more on that game. Like, I think Bishop yeah. Wordsworth have really Thank rallied you, today, and they well came Thank off you. a few bad results to start off, uh, start off the tournament, and just really, really got on their bike and and started to do some, play some really nice rugby uh, as we went on. Um, Rams just, I don't think. Um, they they uh, they showed their full potential in that final, um, but obviously Bishop Wordsworth will be very happy with that um, that win, and will be going home with a trophy back to back west. Yeah, they certainly will. So uh, congratulations to those guys, and uh, it is now the cup.
Cup final. It's the big one. The hosts, Gordons, against Brighton College. This is going to be an absolute steamer of a game. As the teams are about to run onto the field from the left-hand side of your screen. Here we go. And this is the big one. Here they go. Both teams out onto the field. Brighton College are going to be on the right-hand side of your screens, kicking from right to left. And you Gordon's can hear... On the left-hand side. The home crowd are here. The drums are out. The fanatics are here. <laughs> They're making a lot of noise. They want their name on this trophy, and they want it to come back home. The current holders, Wellington, have been knocked out last round by Brighton. Yeah, and Chris Mulroy, the uh, man in the middle here. Referee, by the by, sevens referee. And uh, they've been, uh, they've been okay. They've been all right. No, I'll take, I'm uh, being harsh there. That's they've been hard. pretty strong That's all day. Here we've we go. a good standard. And we get underway. Oh, what a take in the air by Gordon's tap back. And they're starting this game off with a bang and trying to break through the Brighton College defence early on. Ball comes out to this near side now, trying to move it across. See what space they can find. Here we go, in that corner. tackle. Zuko Rob, can he finish? Oh. Yes, he can. Same old story for Gordon School. Give the ball to Zuko Rob and he will finish it. I do want to, I need to go and see when they've left later on, check the change room. There's going to be a whiteboard that says, give it to Zuko. That's, that's it. That is the game plan. <laughs> that is the game plan. <laughs> yeah, on you. I mean, great try early on. They have come out absolutely beaming, Gordons. And two right, too. They've got to impress this home crowd. What's so they have the conversion pulled to the right-hand side of the upright. So score remains at five points. So now, but you look here, they just move that ball out to the space. And great it's not work. an easy finish. He has to go through a few. But the leg drive and the power just gets him through that first tackle. Yeah, and it's that space created because the uh, the last defender just doesn't quite trust his inside man and mm. cuts in from Brighton there, which creates the extra space for Rob to run into. Here we go. Brighton back on the ball, though. Just playing with fire a little bit in their own five. Tackle! Certainly are getting two. close here Outside. and Gordon's are trying everything to get their hands onto the ball, but Brighton have it securely. Here we go, coming out. Back inside and... Oh, that ball... Backwards, player! Quite going a hand there, but it does go backwards. Charging Great forwards now, yeah. step back inside. And it's that man, Alex Stubbs, here we go. Oh, oh dear, it's crossing. Sorry, that was... Okay, so hey, it's going behind, Ted, crossing. Mar. On the 10 there, no. Yeah, just uh, clearly crossed each other out there and taken the man, yeah, and yeah. it's... Uh, Led to the penalty. Brighton will be frustrated with that, but it's their own forced error. And here's Povey coming down this right hand side flank, oh, and he is just carved through that Brighton defence. Thank you, mate. Theo oh, Povey again. To a Povey, moved down that touchline like he was to walk into the shots. Yeah. He had absolutely no care in the world apart from just getting to that try line, knew where he was going to go, and he got there. Yeah. Also, another big... We talk about Zuko Rob today, but Theo Povey has been absolutely excellent 11. as well. 11. Kind of an unsung hero, scoring those ones that you don't really want to score where it's putting your body on the line. He's been unbelievable as well. You just watch it here. Nice little dummy. Povey on the ball. Hop, skip and a jump. Send your man inside out and he's in. Yeah, the conversion was uh, sent wide, unfortunately, so the score remains at 10 points to nil to Gordon's here. Kick hoisted high again, and Pinboy just over that 10-metre line. And it's forced a knock on there from Brighton as well. Knock on in the air from Red Goodness Scott Green. The momentum is just really with Gordon's at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, well, I think this crowd might be getting to Brighton College a bit. They're making lots yeah, of noise decide. with their drums. But... They do have the power to get back in it, I do believe. 
Break feet, please, fellas. Hookers, let's have them up. Thank you. Yeah, I've got to remember your uh, your prediction at I, the start. I do believe Five. they get they they have the they have the manpower. Good space. Balls out, play on. Strong, strong scrum oh, time yeah. there and penalty oh. one by Gordon's again. That momentum shifting play in their direction. Play on. And they'll go quick here. Shifting the ball out. Here's Rob on the ball again. Gliding past players. Onside, gets red. brought Get down. On. Textbook though there, just getting around the ankles. That's the only way to bring the big man down. Yeah. Done really well by Brighton, but Gordon still had the ball in. Just looking now, not much space in front, so taking their time. Oh, that pass going a little bit loose and see that space is out here and it goes out to Rob, bounce pass and inside to Kobe. Strong carry again, oh, lovely offload. Oh, it comes back it was all back it was. then went forward. Oh, it's right. then just knocked on. Harry Stevens just couldn't keep his hands on the ball. Beautiful offload from by Bovey. Once again, yeah. having an impact in this game. That is real dangerous right hand side with, with Rob and, uh, and Posey. Yeah, certainly. Cut. I think that's the difference in those two players is that Rob's made some really key individual Set. work here, but Posey's been working. He's a workhorse. Work He's getting course. that ball in there. He's working hard to get those offloads away and be able to put his team in positions that are made successful. And he just got <laughs> under the post again. Goodness you me. weren't even concentrating, Tom, when you talked about him and he goes under the post. Honestly, talking about his uh, ability to help the rest of the team, goodness me, he just did two, himself two. there. Turn I mean, off. beautiful work. Again, Brighton got away with playing playing kind of fast and loose in their own five in the in the latter round in the former rounds of this tournament. Seconds, when you're we'll playing against a team like Gordon's who give a lot of pressure off the Tab back of these scrums. Seconds, you can't be kick. just knocking the ball around. Yeah, it's uh, an opportunity to retake the uh, conversion, which is successful, have a, and now we can see the replay. Have a look here. It's just a bit too loosey-goosey, if you ask me. Great scrum from Gordon's, but just a bit of a wayward pass and oh, allows, allows Povey back in under the post. Play on. Okay, this time I see by Brighton well and uh, moving forwards now and a lovely cut back inside and a cut again oh, but beautifully caught round the ankles, brought to ground. Brighton still with the ball. Fantastic tackle. That is a fantastic tackle by Zuko Rob. That is a fantastic on the danger man for Brighton. Quick still on. Horns, bro. Full still alive. You can see how much it means to them as well. Zuko just jumping no, up no. there with Fred. jubilation. Knowing another opportunity has been scarpered. Now we have a line out. There's silence around oh. this park now. Oh, clean off the top for Gordon's there and Zuko in the midfield and decides to try and run up himself. Strong carry forwards. Good Stay clear as well. Ball's out. Well done. Not Just unlucky. Just unlucky. Oh. And that and takes us into oh. half. Goodness me, what a half of rugby we've had. It's been strong for both teams. Look at this, me, Gordon. <laughs> they have come out bodies. absolutely firing. I don't know what team talk they've had in there. But uh, I think they need to give it some of the uh, the teams this weekend from the Six Nations because goodness yeah. me, they came firing out the blocks. I mean, Tom, I think you know what I'm going to say. I'm going to pick out two players. Um, Theo Povey and, and Zuko Rob have just been unreal. Yeah, uh, I mean, for, for Gordon, it's been it's been a team effort for sure. But I mean, everything has been about getting those two players into the right position the and yeah. giving them the opportunity to do what they do well. The rest of the team has really supported them around that. You know, it's no sort of besmirching to them, but we exactly. can't deny the, the the pure skill from those two lads. It's been really, really strong. Yeah, yeah. And I think also Brighton just need to work out a way to stop um, the ball from getting so wide so quickly. Um, Gordon's are really utilising getting the ball wide fast from the base of the ruck. And that means they have numbers out wide and they can use the pace. Although Brighton have that as well. We haven't seen much of Alex Stubbs. 
No, I think the problem is the Gorms have so much of the ball and, very true. and their pressure in defence as well has really shut down a lot of Brighton's attack. Yeah. It's, but here uh, we go. We've still got seven minutes of right, to play. 17 points in a game of sevens. A lot can Considering happen. Considering the Gordon scored over 50 in the first game of the tournament, we Green. can see something really special happen. Red. Yeah. Anyone's game. And it is Brighton College who get us back underway, kicking from left to right on your screens. Backwards. Yeah, taken well by Gordon again. Oh, but ball's been offloaded. Now is the opportunity for Brighton, but again, just. Unforced errors here for Brighton, really causing them issues. Again, it's getting to that point in the evening where you, your fingers start to get a bit stiff and the ball's a lot harder on your hands as well. So it's harder to catch. Also, the ball's still wet, so it stings when you're catching it. It's a lot more difficult than playing in the middle of the day. Set! Out, play on. Good and a good take from the first. Brighton nine. Lots of Tackle pressure movement. on this one here. Ten side entry. Yeah. Where you are, Clear where you side are entry there. from Brighton College there. From uh, Coxon. And the penalty is yielded. There we go. To the big man. Chad Saunders. Oh, a lovely pass out and, a, and now on the outside. Tackle! For Goldsworth, brought down 10 metres short and the ball and brought out now and Zuko Rob charging forwards. Stay Beautiful there. textbook tackle coming good in contest, there from Brighton. Good, good counter up from Brighton there. It's completely fair. Ball's available now. Good contest. But it does still come out the way of Gordon's. Ball picked up and a little step on a sharp. All goes backwards. AR call cool, knock on. And it has gone forwards. Brighton escape once more. <laughs> Excuse our cop and they fired up the barbecue again. As much as it smells Watch nice, it. it's a little bit smoky around here. <laughs> but a, a let off there for Brighton, really. It's, uh, it's good in defence from them, holding that pressure, but at the same time. Crouch! They've had so many opportunities here, Gordons, and Set. unable to just execute on that occasion. A strong yeah. yeah. and the penalty. On the five. On the five. five stepping away. Oh, just stepping away and out of that scrub. On the five. Stepping on off the, the contest. Of the and here we go. What's going to happen? And it is the big man, yeah. Jed Saunders, over the line. Who else should it be if you want the crash ball? They're going through legally. Your five has kicked his hips out to stop it, and that's why it's gone yeah. down. Really is a, uh, a strong performance here, and they've continued the second half as they did in the first. It's now me. I mean, this Gordon's team have come out absolutely firing. Red, come on the line of the post. Oh, and that is a great slot by Tom Baldwin as well. Absolutely bisects the, the uh, post there, straight down the middle. And can Brighton just wait, wait, get a wait, morsel wait, wait. or something in this game Becky. that will claw them back yes, and give them some more confidence? Yeah, there's still the opportunity, yeah, you know, you can never write side, them right? off. And the time we've got left in this game, around four minutes left, means there's still the opportunity and it just takes one little break. So one opportunity. On. Oh. Knock-on is it's a, good, a good competition, just a knock-on scrum red. Genuine attempt for Knock-on by Gordon's there and it will be a scrum to... Brighton oh, College. <laughs> Come off, touch red. Crouch! Bye! Set! Again, a Balls strong out, scrum out. from uh, Gordon's then. Hi. Just a penalty to uh, Caught Brighton. offside there. Gordon's and Brighton with the quick hands now and the pass out wide and trying to find a space on this near side. 
as Moss carries the ball forwards and brought down a tackle. tackle from Pernell. Good hands there from uh, Seb McNamara, just to play on. Shifted out wide now. Another big hit from the Gordons' defence. Oh, and another error coming in here. The knock on as we... Back, they're just trying to find space wherever they can at the moment. A lot of these passes are coming in at really nice timing, but... That one, it just wasn't quite ready. You've got to have your hands up ready for that ball. As I said, Tom, before, it's getting to that point in the evening where your, your hands are starting to get really cold. I don't know about you, mine, mine are getting pretty cold right yeah. this microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Crouch! Two more minutes to go, though. Set! Before we will know who has won this year's Gordon Sevens. No seven, get out. Championship. Play on, he's lifting and playing his arm, that's fine. Here we go. Oh, and it's a step back inside, a carry through. Is it the mullet 5% flare coming in here as he carries it to the 22 now? Finally brought it down to ground. Here's Pernell on the ball. Has an inside option, not choose not to use him. Goes wide to Goldsmith, Goldsworth. On side. Good hands from the Gordons team here. Can they move it wide? Oh, oh, oh it's totally going to go again. Step inside and off he goes. But it's that man, Povey. Goodness me. What God? <laughs> Absolutely brilliant work. I think the microphone has entered yeah. the Gordon's <laughs> fanatic section. Yeah, section. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The. Uh, no, no, it's fine. High pitched so cheers of a year eight that sounded like to me. <laughs> um, the conversion went wide. But Gordon's really making the most Outside. of this home advantage. Yes, please. And just putting Brighton College yes, to the sword here. Over again, that beautiful line on that replay. And again, oh on, my Red. goodness me, he is everywhere. Knock on in the air from Red. There we go. That is it. Goodness me, full time. Gordon scores coming out of the victors here in their own competition. Absolutely dominant display over Brighton College. 29 Cheers points to nil. You can just see what it means to these players as well to win a tournament like this to nil the opposition in the final as well, but also to win it on home turf. Please Goodness please. me, Thanks what a result. Thanks. There's Thanks. nothing Thanks. like it, to be honest. Thanks, uh, school rugby, Thanks, Thanks, if you win something on home turf, Thanks, go Thanks, back and you celebrate Thanks, with your whole school. Thanks, it's just Thanks, magic. Thanks, you can't really beat it. But um, no qualms on Brighton College today. They played absolutely fantastically for the whole day. Don't think they showed their full potential in the final. Kind of Gordon's shut them down very well. But um, some absolute standouts today. Brighton College um, has some really great games, especially that semi-final, where they really outperformed their, their opposite numbers. Um, but yeah, con big congratulations to Gordon School. They have been unreal. Yeah, they really have. And we know which players have uh, really stood out for us. I mean, Zuko Rob with his hard, carrying strong, carrying lines, but you know, I think Theo Povey, I mean, the skill that man has in terms of his versatility, his ability to set up tries, to assist tries, or score them himself, he can do all of them. Yeah. Um, and he's just such a well-rounded player. He's really, really shone out, I think, in this tournament. Yeah, I think I think both those players you just mentioned, we mentioned them at half-time, we mentioned them now again. Uh, Rob's ability to just finish anything and not even some of the stuff on a plate for him. It's just out, outstanding, but then you go into Theo Povey and the guy has just been magic today, doing all the dirty work throughout the whole game and, uh, and then being able to just create something out of nothing. We saw several occasions today in this final, just getting the ball and then, looks, as you said, looks like he's walking to the shops, little hop, skip and a jump, and then he's under the post. Absolutely magic. Yeah, it certainly is. It just looked like it came so naturally to him. He was enjoying what he was playing and wasn't forcing anything in particular. You can see the Gordons team together there and, um, you know, we're working out 
what went so well there. Obviously, they want to carry that through for the rest of the seven season. Um, but such a huge result for them and an ability to be able to do that on home turf as well. I mean, we've seen the support we've had on the touchline here and mm. how vocal they've been. It's a, it's a real pleasure for them. And obviously, as you said, at scoreboard level, I mean, the celebrations I'm sure these lads are going to have is going to be absolutely legendary. And hopefully these boys will remember it. And it's a pleasure to be able to to be able to show these games and obviously these games will be there for them to watch back for years to come and exactly being able to see these on next gen 15 is, is a huge opportunity yeah um yeah I, I, you can't you cannot beat the celebrations after winning on home soil it is just something magical and you see all the players going and jumping all the family members come to watch today all your mates come down to watch i think it helped because they uh, their first game was at 3:30, and I think the school day finishes at four. <laughs> so all the uh, all the all the support kind of came down after their first game, and that was when they really started picking up their form. Um, but yeah, massive congratulations to the boys today. They they've been really good. Everyone, even though we focused in on two players towards the end there, all the whole squad were fantastic today. Um, yeah, certainly some great honourable mentions that go throughout this. I mean, just looking down here as well, you know, Gordon's got Theo Bovey for another year. He's only an under-17s yeah. player, you know, but there's some really strong players in there. Goldsworth sh shone out at various times as well. Saunders, Pennell was really strong at various different times. So mm. a really good, strong group that the uh, lads that they have here and say a good mix of under-18s and under-17s as well, which means good work and... Uh, possibilities for the future and next season as well could they do back-to-back -back champions maybe well well you never know and obviously <laughs> as we talked about the f before with the spike of harlequins academy through the school they will always have new talent coming through which is very promising and yeah these are uh, these are uh, under 17 boys who are in year 12 who uh, got another year they are all always uh, looking forward to coming through yeah, certainly are, and uh, lads here just uh, lining themselves up, getting a few photos for the parents, I think. Um, for the press. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the baying press and uh, getting packed. And we will have uh, presentations here to finish for you as well, so we'll be at scenes of celebration and jubilation, I'm sure. Make sure you tense up, lads. Want to look in the photos? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a great opportunity for these lads. Obviously, to say in front of their home crowd, it's a uh, be a pleasure for them. The uh, coaching staff will be pleased with their performance as well. And obviously, last year not making it through to the cup final. This year, not only making it through but winning it, and mm. in such style as well. You know, there are so many elements of that game which showed the class that Gordon School were able to bring into that game and it's uh, it was brilliant to see mm. uh, as we just have the uh, presentations are coming in now and uh, we'll obviously include the uh, both the plate and the cup competition presentations here I think Bishop Wordsworth are about to receive their plate. Yeah, I can see actually the uh, member of staff who is delivering the uh, the speeches here is got a big smile on his face as he asks his Gordon team to come up and collect their medals. Gordon Scott, go. under 18 sevens. 2024 Cup winners. So that is the way to do it. Yeah, it certainly is. Yeah. And these boys have worked hard. They played some tough games that they've gone through. It's been they've been tested, but they just were able to just bring out the class at the end and really show they were a cut above the rest. Mm. Big word to uh, to all the schools involved today, especially the ones that made it into the finals. It was. Uh, quite something to see we had a we had the final um from last year in the semi-final this year wellington versus brighton um and brighton obviously knocking out the, the champions from last year um but yeah you can't cannot take anything away 
as Gordons lift that trophy and give it some milk. Yeah, certainly would. Well, that's everything, guys. Great to have had you with us this evening on Next Gen 15. I mean, it's been a great evening. It's been cold, yeah. but it has been great watch. I mean, there's been some cracking rugby on. It's been a pleasure to have you um, at home watching, listening in. And uh, we hope to see you soon again on Next Gen 15 for our upcoming fixtures. Thank you very much for joining us, and we'll leave you with the scenes of Gordon School as they get their photo taken in front of the winner's plaque. Thank you, and good night.